Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself Neha Gupta and I am going to take your Maha Marathon session of G. And as you all know that this is the last session, last minute revision. That's why it is very, very important for all of you to attend in order to revise what you have learned so far. So before that, just quickly tell me whether I am clearly audible to all of you or not so that I can begin with the session. Very good morning, Nilesh, Rajat, Yash, Anu, Padmini. Very good morning, guys. Quickly, please inform me whether I am audible. Okay, so Nilesh has given me a thumbs up. That means everything is good. So let's begin with the session. Let me inform you guys that in this particular session, we are going to cover GA and ESI important questions. In your GA, I have taken the spotlight of the month of September, October till 10th of October and August. Okay, so the questions from these three months we are going to cover in this particular session. So let's begin. I hope all of you are very enthusiastic to revise with me. Okay. So the very first question is, in collaboration with which organization has NCRT launched the comic book, let's move forward to impart life skills essential for fostering responsible and health conscious behavior among the adolescents. So what is the right answer? Is it Niti Aayog, UNESCO, World Bank, UNDP, USAID? The right answer is UNESCO. Okay, you must be knowing this fact that UNESCO is the one organization that works with the different nations organizations which work for the children right so unesco has partnered with ncrt and they have launched this comic book ministry of textiles has approved startup guidelines for technical textiles okay i hope all of you know about the technical textiles we have a national mission for Im uh, improving the production of the technical textiles and i hope all of you have heard about it right so startup guidelines for technical textiles grant for research and entrepreneurship across aspiring innovators in technical textiles okay so great is the acronym okay it aims to develop the startup ecosystem in technical textiles how much grant in aid will be provided to startups under it for a period of 18 months so here guys 0.5 crores that is 50 lakh rupees will be provided to the startups as grant and these startups should work in the field of technical textiles okay with which ministry has national safai karamcharis finance and development corporation in that mou for fi24 and fi25 to enhance the socio-economic upliftment of Safai Karamcharis, manual scavengers, waste pickers and their dependents. Focusing on empowering these marginalized communities across the nation. So what is the right answer here? Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. And this is a very easy guess guys because uh, it is the Ministry of Social Justice which works for delivering the justice socially right so if we are uplifting the safai karamcharis then obviously it is a justice to the uh, downtrodden or oppressed people who have been in this particular profession in the manual scavenging for a long period of time okay so it is ministry of social justice and empowerment with which country has india launched renewable energy technology action platform under its strategic clean energy partnership Okay, so basically India has formed this strategic clean energy partnership with which country? And this is a very obvious question because this partnership has not been formed in this year. This is a very old partnership that India and US have been carrying out. So what is the right answer here? It is US, option B. With reference to project 17, alpha projects, you must have heard about this project many a times. It remains in the news. Okay, consider the following statements. First statement is that the project is launched to construct a series of stealth 
guided missile warships with a specific technology that has radar absorbent coatings and low observable mechanism the technology used increases the infrared signals of the ship mahindra gri is the latest and last warship under the project so what is the right answer here the right answer is option c only first and the third options are correct and this is a wrong statement okay consider the following statements regarding nav mitra it is a two way messaging service device that uses satellite based communication to ensure safety of the fishermen the device is developed by the department of fisheries beyond safety the device will empower fishermen with valuable information that can optimize their fishing activities and routes okay so what is the right answer the right answer here is option c uh, first statement and the third statement are the right answer okay nav mitra is the initiative for the fisherman which will help them basically get safety information and at the same time it will also empower fishermen so that they can optimize their fishing activities now there is one scheme that is specifically for the fishermen and that is the pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana and i hope you have covered this flagship scheme with regards to the fishery sector which is a very important sector in your ard syllabus so this scheme if you haven't done please have a glimpse of it before going to the examination india's first indigenously developed 700 megawatt pressurized heavy water reactor at the kakrapa uh, atomic power project unit 3 in dash has commenced operations at full capacity fill the gap so here guys option b is the right answer gujarat uh, is the state where kakrapa atomic power project which is one of the flagship nuclear atomic power project in india is located now be, uh, now moving before moving ahead to the next question let me inform you that india is planning to increase its nuclear share in the total energy mix i hope you already know about it and with regards to this the government of india has announced that it is going to set up 10 more nuclear power reactor to create nuclear energy for clean purposes theek okay? hai which ministry is set to organize the first edition of the global india ai 2023 conference in october 2023 so what is the right answer here the ministry of electronics and information technology is the right answer and this is a very easy question guys and in nabard exam you know that there are 20 questions and not all the questions are very difficult you might get such questions as well and pray to god that you get such questions in your gfa section Uh, wherein you have been asked the ministry of various initiatives and the name is very easy theek okay? hai which company has recently launched the dsca 20 yard 325 the first driving support craft for the indian navy so here guys titagarh rail system limited is the right answer so this company in bengal has launched this dsca 20 driving support craft for the indian navy which life insurance company has recently launched a protection and saving oriented life insurance plan including options related to the money back benefit and guaranteed income so what is the right answer icici prudential life insurance whenever such initiatives are there you don't have to go into the details you can only uh, go from you can only skim the facts from the news consider the following statement about the aditya l1 the india's first solar mission lagrange 1 would be the location of aditya l1 okay it is world's first mission to study the sun it has been launched by, by the pslv xl launch vehicle the spacecraft shall be placed in the halo orbit around the lagrange 1 uh, lagrange point 1 of the sun earth system which is about 5 million kilometer from the earth okay so halo earth orbit mein nahi place hoga it would be in the exact l1 uh lang range 1 position okay because here the magnetic pull the gravitational pull of the sun and the earth are equivalent okay so it will help the satellite to stay in the same position for a long period of time so that's why only option uh 
this statement is the correct statement okay because it is not the world's first mission to study the sun so this is a wrong statement option b the statement 2 and option e is the correct answer moving ahead which of the following are the objectives of the national nutrition mission to create awareness relating to the malnutrition among pregnant women and lactating mothers to reduce the incidence of anemia among young children adolescent girls and women to promote the consumption of millets coarse cereals and unpolished rice to promote the consumption of poultry eggs select the answer using the code given below okay so this might look like a upsc type of a question but nowadays we know that rbi nabard sebi all of these especially rbi and nabard they are following the footsteps of upsc so that's why we have tried to create similar questions on the level of difficulty okay on the same level of difficulty so here we have these options which of these is the correct answer so correct answer is option a obviously why would the national nutrition mission promote the poultry eggs especially uh, because this is a government funded mission right so this is the wrong answer this is also the wrong answer the consumption of millet is promoted by the government of india but that is not a specific target of this national nutrition mission the main target of this is to create awareness relating to malnutrition among the pregnant and lactating mothers and to reduce the incidence of anemia among the young children adolescent girls and women so these two are the main objectives of the national nutrition mission okay september is celebrated as your poshan ma theek hai consider the following statements india is the first fastest growing major economy as china's gdp growth in the april to june quarter was 6.3% the fiscal quarter data is released by the ministry of commerce and industry rbi has projected 8% growth rate for 23 to 24 so this is wrong statement upfrontly wrong statement okay rbi has projected 6.5% growth rate for the current year now here what is the right answer has this data been released by the ministry of commerce and industry no this is your question do tell me which organization has released this data okay this statement is correct india is the fastest major economy fastest growing major economy okay do tell me which organization has released this data there is one thing guys that you need to understand that it is not always the facts or the nature of the question that is always tough they can increase the length of the question also but at the same time can ask you very basic things from the news theek hai in order to increase the level of difficulty and the same thing happened in your rbi examination the things that were asked from you were at the same time detailed but the length of the questions was also increased that made the entire paper very difficult because you have 25 minutes in uh 25 minutes to do 80 questions and when they increase the length it becomes very difficult okay in the nabard all exam also you can expect lengthy questions <coughs> or questions like these where you have different statements and then you have to select from the options like these yes nso has released the data which of the following points is not a winner of the 65th edition of the raman uh, magsese award announced in august 2023 so what is the right answer option e this person is not a winner of the 65th edition of the raman magsese award and which country gives this award so philippines okay philippines theek okay. hai name the autonomous organization of the government of india that has been recently granted the deemed to be university status by the ministry of education so it is guys ncert ncert has now got the status of a deemed to be university which company has recently signed an mou with the directorate general resettlement to facilitate employment opportunities for ex servicemen of the defense service so here genpact india is the right answer okay very factual questions these are so you don't have to put a lot of brain to cover these questions who has been recently honored with the world innovation award at the first brics innovation forum 
held that moscow russia so what is the right answer shanta thotam has won the world innovation award okay and uh, you must know this fact that this year during the 15th brics summit in johannesburg south africa the brics forum was expanded from 5 to 11 theek okay? hai and which countries were included into the brics forum this is your question do tell me right now in the meantime i am moving to the next question in september 2023 the uni union government has formed a committee under the leadership of dash to explore the possibility of one nation one election to hold the general and the state elections simultaneously and this was a very hot topic that was doing the rounds in the month of september so that is why this committee has become a very very important committee now what is the right answer here so here the right answer is our former president ramnath kovi name the company that has recently signed an mou with the national thermal power corporation limited to collaborate in the areas of renewable energy green hydrogen and decarbonization okay so here guys oil india limited is the right answer many a times you look at the mous and you skip the entire section in the spotlight magazine please don't do that एम ओ यू से क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं नवाड के एग्जाम में तो प्लीज कवर एम ओ यूज ओके एंड डोंट टेक स्ट्रेस इफ यू हैवेंट कवर दैम सो फार दिस सेशन इज स्पेसिफिकली फॉर दैट ओके सो जस्ट लिसन टू द क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली ट्राई टू जस्ट रिमेंबर द की वर्ड इन केस यू हैवेंट प्रिपेयर द एम ओ यूज सो फार ठीक है विच कंट्री हैज रिसेंटली इलेक्टेड थर्मन एज द नाइन्थ प्रेसिडेंट ओके सो हियर गाइज सिंगापुर इज द राइट and this person belongs to india it is of indian origin matlab this person is of indian origin consider the following statements with respect to the digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing diksha platform it is a national platform that provides e content for schools via online portal and a mobile application it is an initiative of the ncert Diksha is a static content repository that has assistive technologies for learners with usual sorry visual or hearing impairments how many of the statements given above are correct so here guys all the statements are correct diksha is a platform that provides e content for the schools diksha has been launched by ncert because it is the content of the schools and the responsibility of preparing the content for the school curriculum is of the ncert right so that makes this sentence also correct then we have the third statement that is diksha is a static content repository that have assistive technologies for learners with visual and hearing impairment so that is also correct now my question from all of you is that diksha platform has given the contract to a company for revamping the portal okay now you have to tell me which company is it and this is a very recent news please tell me the name of the company okay good morning shivam it's okay you can watch the previous questions when the session is over or you can start from the beginning also doesn't matter oracle very good yash very good so the fastest mover is yash very good oracle is the right answer who has recently won the 93rd edition of the formula 1 italian grand prix 2023 and set a record for consecutive 10th fi wins so it is guys max verstappen and who can be other than him it is max who has won 10 fi uh, formula races theek okay? hai recently the world health organization has released the outcome document of the who traditional medicine global summit 2023 in the form of the dash declaration so what is the right answer gujarat declaration is the right answer quickly tell me where will who open its traditional medicine center who traditional medicine center and it is going to be the first 
traditional medicine center of who so tell me where it is going to be established and i would be really glad if you are able to tell me the exact location very good nafis revti absolutely right sagar is also good it's jamnagar gujarat and here they are going to establish the who's first traditional medicine center name the football club that has recently defeated east bengal football football club to win the 132nd edition of the durant cup 2023 so here guys mohan bagan super giant is the right answer name the company that has recently launched industry first sound box to enable merchants to accept both mobile and card payments so here guys it is paytm it has launched the sound box which is the first of its kind in the industry of the payment bank which company has recently collaborated with gramin foundation <laughs> for social impact to launch the scaling agent viability and quality of india project to upskill 1.5 lakh business correspondents in rural india so what is the right answer it is mobi quick like business correspondents we have banking correspondents as well okay and both of these work to enhance the reach of the services okay banking correspondents aim to work in the rural and untrodden areas to have more and more people on boarded on the banking services and business correspondents do the similar kind of work provide the uh, business services to the people who do not have access to them which of the following personalities has recently been rated as a plus in the global finance central banker report cards 2023 by global finance magazine so again it's a matter of proud it's our central government central bank's governor shaktikant das name the personality who has recently been appointed as the brand ambassador of swaraj tractors so here mahendra singh dhoni is the right answer this company is not important but msd is important that's why this question is here what is the primary objective of the adopt a heritage 2.0 program recently launched by the archaeological survey of india so what is the right answer you can read the statements and then tell me the right answer what is the right answer here so here guys the right answer is to encourage corporate stakeholders to contribute to the preservation and maintenance of the heritage monuments okay so that is why adopt a heritage program 2.0 program wherein the corporate will adopt a heritage site and when the corporates will adopt obviously more funding will be there and maintenance can be done very efficiently consider the following statement so only asian nations are the members of the east asia summit india is the member of both asia asean and east asia summit this year marks the 18th anniversary of east asia summit what is the right answer so here guys option e is the right answer not only the asian members but other countries are also invited in the east asia summit okay and india is a member of the east asia summit and it is not a member of asean okay now do remember this point guys that asean is in the news east asia summit was also organized so please read about these things okay and this question you would term as a static question okay this is a static gk question although it has been picked from the current affairs but it would be considered as a static question because here the background facts have been asked from you okay so that makes that makes international and regional organizations very important and i hope you have covered them okay from the static gk portion that we have given to you which organization has recently released the status of invasive alien species report so here intergovernmental science policy platform on biodiversity and ecosystem services has released this report. which teachers training program has been launched by uh, launched recently by the university grants commission to provide tailored training program for the teachers of the colleges so here malviya uh, mission is the right answer okay so the name of the teachers training program is the malviya mission we have one more mission that is nishtha okay 
which is the training program and the world's largest training program for the teachers and it is also going on and it focuses on the school teacher okay with which leading e-commerce enablement platform has india post entered into agreement to enhance the e-commerce exports by leveraging its extensive presence and reliable shipping solution so it is guys ship rocket so ship rocket and india post have collaborated and they have the similar kind of function that is to deliver the uh, product be it the post or the any kind of product which public sector financial institution of the government of india has recently signed an mou with the indian renewable energy development agency limited to co-finance renewable energy projects i hope you all know that it is an nbf okay i read it now what is the right answer so here guys india infrastructure finance company limited is the right answer in uh, which state ut president draupadi murmu and wailed a 12 foot high 12 feet high statue of the father of the nation mahatma gandhi and inaugurated a gandhi batika so it is in delhi recently in north america gandhi's museum has been launched okay and it is the first museum of gandhi in north america some days back the statue of b r ambedkar and this is the tallest statue of b r ambedkar outside india okay uh, in the world it was also inaugurated in north america name the bank that has recently collaborated with the international business machines corporation to provide a secure and adaptable computing infrastructure to facilitate the deployment of innovative front end banking applications so what is the right answer here guys yes busy bug has given the name as well eternal gandhi museum is the name of the museum here guys indian bank is the right answer absolutely right guys who has been recently appointed as a chairperson of the national association of software and services company nascom so here rajesh nambiar is the right answer which state government has recently launched mukhya mantri sporting abilities rebuilding aspirations and livelihoods sabal scheme to empower the specially able children so what is the right answer here himachal pradesh is the right answer india has won dash medals and secured the third place in the recently concluded international shooting sport federation world championship 2023 held in baku azerbaijan so what is the right answer how many medals has india won so india has won a total of 14 medals how many are the gold medals among these Quickly tell me, how many gold did India win from uh, in the International Shooting Sports Federation's World Championship? Quickly tell me. चले लेट मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म इन कोलैबोरेशन विद विच मिनिस्ट्री हैज अनवेल द जी ट्वेंटी टूरिज्म एंड एस डी जी डैशबोर्ड सो हियर गाइज UN World Tourism Organization is the right answer. Okay, uh, it was the World Trade Organization, right? Uh, which railway station has recently been certified as Green Railway Station with the highest rating of platinum by the Indian Green Building Council Confederation of Indian Industry? So, what is the right answer? It is Vijayawada Railway Station. You must be knowing this fact that the IGBC. has created the green building ratings and it basically gives the ratings to different buildings 
and uh, based on the sustainability practices which have been followed in the construction of those buildings and at the same time uh, in the maintenance of those buildings and how are how much sustainable these buildings are and a total of 33 indices are there within this green building rating three 33 different different indices for example for railway stations there is a different index for households there is a different index okay you don't have to look into this you just need to know the number total 33 indices are there name the company that has partnered with the bharat electronics limited to launch indra jal india's first artificial intelligence enabled counter drone so here green robotics is the right answer okay which state's food processing society has recently signed an MOU with the State Bank of India to upgrade and establish 7500 micro food processing units? So here, uh, option C, Andhra Pradesh is the right answer. Which bank has recently launched the Central Bank Digital Currency and UPI Interoperability? So here, Punjab National Bank is the right answer and this is a very important question. Okay. In which city India's first solar city has been inaugurated? So here at Sanchi in Madhya Pradesh, India's first solar city has been inaugurated, and in Gujarat we have India's first solar village. Okay, you can you tell me the name of that village which is India's first solar village, completely hundred percent solar? Can you tell me the name? Yes, Modhera village is the right answer. It is the first 100% solar village. Name the life insurance company that has recently introduced Life Ace Plan, a non-linked participating individual life insurance saving plan. So here Bajaj Alliance Limited, uh, Bajaj Alliance Life Insurance is the right answer. Which company has recently launched India's first white label ATM unified payment interface automated teller machine basically it is the upi atm uh, which has been launched recently and it is the first uh, of the india's first white label atm okay in association with npcs so what is the right answer it is hitachi payment services so it has launched the white label atm first uh, it is it has the world's uh, sorry india's first white label atm which will allow the withdrawal of money by using upi that is the basic meaning of interoperability of ATM and UPI. Which company has recently signed an MOU with Israel Aerospace Industries Limited to enhance the short range air defense system of India? So here guys, Bharat Electronics Limited is the right answer. In September, the dash edition of Surya Nepal Kathmandu Kaling Literary Festival was held in Kathmandu, Nepal. So it was, guys, the second edition of this festival. Which of the following banks has recently signed MOU with Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited to co-finance renewable energy projects? Okay, so we have IVDA two times in the news so far. Okay, we have covered fifty questions and we see. Uh, we have seen IRIDA two times in the news. So please cover the basics of IRIDA. At least have a look at them in Spotlight. I have provided the basic facts in the knowledge nugget. In case you are not able to find it, you can find it on the Google as well. But please have a look at the background of IRIDA. Coming back to this news. So here guys, Bank of Baroda and Union Bank of India is the right answer. So option D is the right answer. Which of the following point is are correct with respect to the Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan 2023? Award presented by the Union Minister Bupendra Yadav, Minister of Environment, Forest, and Climate Change. So, first is Indore has secured the first rank, followed by Agra and Thane in the second and third place, respectively, in category one. I hope you have watched the indices and reports session. In that particular session, I have covered this report along with major other reports and indices very thoroughly. Okay. Now coming back to the option B or the statement B, Amravati has bagged the top rank followed by Moradabad and Gantur in the second and third place respectively in the category 2. Parvanu has bagged the top rank followed by Kalam and Angul 
in the second and third place respectively in the category 3. So what is the right answer? The right answer is all these statements are correct. So option E is the right answer. Name the ministry that has recently set up a new permanent central empowered committee replacing the Supreme Court's ad hoc expo expert panel. So what is the right answer here? The right answer is Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has set up this new permanent central empowered committee. Name the company that has recently signed an MOU with the Indian Railways Gati Shakti Vishwidyalaya Vadodara to enhance the uh, to enhance India's aviation sector. So here, guys, Airbus is the right answer. Airbus has collaborated with the Gati Shakti, and both of them are going to create the training modules, the coaching modules for the students because it is ultimately a university to, to train the people. Right. One more thing that this Gati Shakti Vishwidyalaya uh, has the national infrastructure uh, pipeline under its embed okay so it is the nodal agency for creating the national infrastructure pipeline and one more fact that the central universities amendment act of 2022 converted dash institution into the gati shakti institution in vadodara can you fill the gap what is the name of the institution which was converted into the gati shakti university so guys, it is National Rail and Transport Institution which was converted into the Gati Shakti University in Vadodara. Which country's Navy along with Indian Navy has conducted a passage exercise recently in the month of September? So it is Sri Lanka. According to ADB's 2023 Trade Finance Gaps Growth and Jobs Survey released in September, the global trade finance gap rose to dash in 2022 so here 2.5 trillion is the right answer and there are many facts like these from different reports that you have to remember for the exam okay name the company that has recently partnered with credit uh, to make business to business digital payments rewarding for both enterprises and vendors so here mastercard and credit both of them have collaborated to make the entire experience of b2b digital payments seamless for the vendors and the merchants yeah. in 2023 september dash became the second city in india to implement the emission trading scheme for particulate matter so here ahmedabad became the second city in india to implement the emission trading scheme for the particulate which state government has recently signed an MOU with National Central Cooling Company that is PJSC to develop Asia's largest district cooling system. So here Telangana is the right answer. Telangana has collaborated with the National Center Central Cooling Company that is PJSC. Which space agency along with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited has recently launched the H2A launch vehicle number 47 carrying x-ray astronomical satellite x-ray imaging and spectroscopy mission and the lunar lander smart lander for uh, investigating moon okay so what is the right answer here it is japan aerospace exploration agency again a very easy question mitsubi is a, a company of japan and the space agency which would collaborate with this company is the Japanese Space Agency, that is JAXA, that is Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. When was the United Nations International Day of Clean Air for Blue Skies 2023 observed across the globe on the theme of Together for Clean Air? So basically, what is the date? The date is 7th September 2023. National Clean Air Program is also being implemented in India since 2019. And we have approximately 133 non-attainable cities as a part of this National Clean and Air Program. Okay, so do remember such facts. Which life insurance company has recently launched Income Lab, an individual saving plan to provide both financial security and a consistent income stream throughout the policy term. So here Bharti Extra Life Insurance Limited is the right answer. Okay, so you just have to remember two keywords Bharti Extra Life Insurance and Income Lab. And from the name itself, it is very easy to decipher the 
मीनिंग और द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस इनकम लाभ सो भारतीय एक्सा लाइफ इंश्योरेंस एंड इनकम लाभ दीज टू की वर्ड आर देर ओनली विच कंपनीज मेन्स बास्केटबॉल टीम डिफीटेड सर्बिया टू विन द फर्स्ट एवर इंटरनेशनल बास्केटबॉल फेडरेशन बास्केटबॉल वर्ल्ड कप टाइटल सो हियर जर्मनी इज द राइट आंसर जर्मनी डिफीटेड सर्बिया टू विन द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड कप टाइटल Name the Indian tennis player who has recently finished as the runner-up in the NO Open, held in Tulin, Australia. So it is guys Sumit Nagal who has uh, ended as a runner. Name the Indian archer who has recently won the silver medal in the men's compound in Hermosillo 2023 Hyundai Archery World Cup. Five. So here Prathamesh Sam Samdhan Javkar is the fighter. Name the company that has recently signed an MOU with the Indian Navy to provide the reliable mobility solutions for personal travel and commute of naval personnel and families across India. So here Uber is the right answer. Now, since we are talking about the naval personnel, can anyone of you tell me that with which bank has the Indian Navy collaborated to launch a special card which will eliminate the need of carrying the cash on the ships? you must be knowing this fact that on the ships there is no network that's why the navy personnel have to carry cash in order to pay for their canteen bills and etc etc services now recently a bank let me just give you a hint a public sector bank has collaborated with indian navy and they have launched a particular card you have to tell me the name of that card the name of that bank very good guys it's sbi so nafees suraj vichi absolutely right so sbi has launched this particular card do remember and it is a very uh, recent news which country's navy along with the indian navy has recently conducted the 21st edition of the varun exercise in the arabian sea france is the right answer varun exercise is conducted between india and france navy Which company has recently signed a master ship repair agreement with the government of USA to repair the US naval vessels? So, what is the right answer? Mazagon Dock Shipyard Limited is the right answer. Which alliance has recently signed an MOU with the Bharat 6G Alliance to explore collaboration opportunities on 6G wireless technology? So, here Next G Alliance is the right answer. Okay. Which country's judicial college has recently signed an MOU with the National Judicial Academy of India on advancing co cooperation in the judicial education and research? So Singapore, guys, is the right answer. The Geographical Indication Registry has recently granted GI tag to Kolhapur Kaljira Rice. The Kolhapur Kaljira Rice belongs to Dash State, so it belongs to Odisha State. With reference to the Nipah virus, consider the following statements. So it is a zoonotic virus. The only available vaccine is the antiviral drug Ribavirin. The case facility rate of Nipah is very high. So what is the right answer? The right answer is option D. First is it is a zoonotic disease that travels from and that are transmitted from animals to humans, right? Then the fatality rate is very high in Nipah, but the drug is not this. Okay. With respect to Matasya six thousand, which is our vessel under the deep ocean mission or the Samudriya, okay. So this is the name of that vessel in which the people will go and study the uh, ocean, okay, at the uh, depth of six thousand meters. Uh, it is an unmanned submersible vehicle developed with the technical assistance from France. Wrong. Okay, it is developed under the Samudrayan mission. I have already told you it. Matasya six thousand vehicle is designed and developed by the National Institute of Ocean Technology, uh, Chennai, under the Ministry of Earth Sciences. This is correct. So both two and three st statements are correct. Option D is the right answer. Name the organization which has recently signed an MOU with NABARD to boost the data-driven innovations in agriculture. Obviously, NABARD is there. So this question is very important. UNDP is the right answer.
which organization along with Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs and National Stock Exchange of India has recently organized a workshop on business responsibility and sustainable reporting in Mumbai. So what is the right answer? It is United Nations Children Fund. So UNICEF has organized this uh, business responsibility and sustainable reporting workshop along with the Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs and NSC. Name the payment company that has recently collaborated with NPCI to launch auto pay on QR, a feature enabling customer onboarding through a two-step process. So here guys, Cash Free Payments India Limited is the right answer. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has extended the relaxation for the provision of requirement of indigenous domestic content requirement under the competency of the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Urja Suraksha Evam Uthan Mahabhyan Yojana that is PM Kusum scheme till dash. So what is the right answer? The right answer is 31st March 2024. Which company along with the Ministry of Tourism and Invest India has recently launched Priceless dot com to explore india's history and culture so here mastercard is the right answer mastercard has launched this particular uh, initiative priceless dot com which institute has recently signed an mou with the indian space research organization for capacity building uh, in the areas of mineral resources and disaster management within the framework of national natural resources management system program so what is the right answer? It is guys, Geological Survey of India's Training Institute. Okay, it has signed an MOU with ISRO and both of them are going to work for the mineral resources and disaster management. Which company has recently launched Project Abhinandan to provide personalized and hassle-free ground experience for its passengers? So here, Air India is the right answer. It has launched the Project Abhinandan. Name the Indian badminton player who has recently won the men's singles at the BNI Indonesia Masters 2023. What is the right answer? The right answer is Kiran George. He has won this award. Name the government agency NGO that has recently completed its special campaign 2.0 to resolve the pending matters and promote cleanliness within the government office. So what is the right answer? So right answer is Niti Ayo. Which IIT has recently signed an MOU with ICICI Bank to support the startup ecosystem? It is IIT Khan. It has collaborated with ICICI and both of them are going to boost the startup ecosystem. Which insurance company has recently launched a secured earning and wellness advantage plan combining the benefits of health and life insurance under a single plan? So here max life insurance is the right answer. Name the Indian personality who has been recently honored with Chevalier Dance the Order. Basically Knight of the Order of Arts and Letters by the government of France. So here Rahul Mishra is the right answer. He has been given this award. The Knight of the Orders of Arts and Letters which is one of the highest civilian awards given by the government of Name the organization that has recently launched two resources designed a fourth version of prevent, preventing suicide a resource for media personnel 2023 update and policy brief on the health aspect, aspects of decriminalization of suicide and suicide attempt to strengthen suicide prevention efforts. So here guys World Health Organization is the right answer and it would be a very easy guess from the options given here. It is the World Health Organization which cares for the health of the people and prevent uh, and want to prevent them from committing suicide. This is how you can remember it. Now recently there is a framework that has been designed in order to prevent the suicide in the schools. Okay, by adolescents. Name the framework. Tell me the name of the framework. It's a draft framework that has been recently created or released into the public and it aims to prevent the suicides in schools.
वेरी गुड अनु हैज गिवन द राइट आंसर इट इज उम्मीद उम्मीद इज द नेम ऑफ द ड्राफ्ट गाइडलाइन विच कंपनी हैज रिसेंटली साइंड एन एमओ यू विद इसरो एंड द इंडियन नेशनल स्पेस प्रमोशन एंड ऑथराइजेशन सेंटर टू सपोर्ट द स्पेस टेक इनोवेशन थ्रू क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग नाउ दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू ऑल मस्ट बी नोइंग इज द प्लेटफॉर्म क्रिएटेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट टू प्रूव टू गिव अ लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड टू द प्राइवेट सेक्टर इन द स्पेस एजेंसी एज वेल ओके now related to that only i want to ask a question but i will ask a minute later first i would like to give the answer of this question so what is the right answer the right answer is amazon web services india so with amazon in space and isro have collaborated and they are going to create the space innovation by uh, using the cloud computing now vikram rocket is india's first private rocket that has been launched can any one of you tell me which company has created this rocket vikram series rocket which company has created and let me just inform you that the all the kind all kinds of support services that this particular company needed for the vikram rocket were provided by isro so this is you can say an instance where the government where the government agency is providing help to the private sector in uh, in growing theek okay? hai very good k narayan krishnan is absolutely right it is cairo aerospace cairo absolutely right guys vikram series rockets belong to sky root aerospace and raman or raman is the name of the engine which was used in the vikram series of rockets indian men's football team has won the south asian football federation under 16 championship in 2023 by defeating dash in the finals held in bhutan so what is the right answer the right answer is bangladesh which state governor has recently launched the sampa sarpanch samvad a mobile app developed by the quality council of india so here guys gulab chand kataria is the right answer and he is the governor of assam name the state government that has recently signed an mou with six public sector banks to provide banking services in all unbanked gram panchayat okay so what is the right answer the right answer is odisha do pay attention to this thing that six public sector banks have collaborated with odisha to provide the banking services in the unbanked gram panchayat and many a times when such kind of initiatives are undertaken by the banks they use the banking correspondent theek okay? hai because the chairman of the sbi would not go into the villages to have all the village people on boarded on the sbi services right so they will need the banking correspondents neither the pos of sbi or the clerks would go to enroll the people into the banking services they will hire specific people for doing this kind of a work so that is why they hire the banking correspondent name the renowned highway and traffic expert and founder director of the national transportation planning and research center who has recently passed away so it is ns shrinivasan who has recently passed away and he was the founder director of the national transportation planning and research center union minister of skill development and entrepreneurship Dharmendra Pradhan has launched this Skill India Dash platform. That is S I D platform. So what does this D stand for? So here D stand for digital Skill India digital platform. Now guys, Skill India is in the news. So I hope you have covered the scheme thoroughly. Name the company that has recently partnered with the Yes Bank to launch the Hyper UPI. a plug in software development toolkit developed by the npci so what is the right answer uh, the right answer is just pay technology so basically hyper upi is a plug in software development uh, toolkit plug in is basically a software feature which helps you obtain the benefits of another software by giving you an option for example if this is the yes bank's website and if there is an option of upi payment here and we can use the upi payment then that would be a plug in that they have provided 
ओके सो दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल लेम एंड टर्म डेफिनेशन दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इन ऑर्डर टू रिमेंबर दिस न्यूज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस डोंट गो इन टू द डिटेल्स ऑफ इट बिकॉज दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड which company has recently collaborated with collaborated with npci to launch india's first contactless payment wearable on the go ring named seven ring so here live quick technology is the right answer just remember the name live quick live quick uh seven ring okay what was the theme of the national engineers day 2023 that was uh, observed across india on 15th september 2023 first of all on whose birthday do we celebrate the national engineers day let me tell you he was the first civil engineer of india do tell me the name of that person who is uh, the person on on whose birthday do we celebrate the national engineers day Let's see how many of you know the answer. Here the theme is option B, engineering for a sustainable future. Vishveshwarya, very good. So M. Vishveshwarya was uh, was the first civil engineer. On whose birthday do we celebrate the National Engineers Day? Which Indian Navy is driving support and submarine rescue vehicle is participating in the India-Sri Lanka joint dive training off the coast of Sri Lanka? So here, Nirakshak is the right answer. International Day for the Preservation of the Ozone Layer is celebrated to commemorate the signing of the Dash Protocol, an international environment treaty for phasing out of production and consumption of ozone-depleting substances. so what is the right answer this day is also called world ozone day when do we celebrate this day and uh, it is celebrated to uh, to commemorate the signing of the montreal protocol okay and it's a very famous protocol montreal Pr protocol which aims to prevent the depletion of the ozone layer tell me the date on which day do we celebrate the world ozone day <coughs> So here, guys, September sixteen is the right answer. World Ozone Day. The Ministry of Corporate Affairs has recently extended the tenure of the Company Law Committee until dash. So what is the right answer? Until sixteen September twenty twenty four. Okay, the extension has been given. Name the bank that has recently launched a virtual commercial card in collaboration with Visa and Just. Okay, so this particular company has now come into the news for two times. Okay. so do remember the news related to this company not the about this company but the news which are there related to this particular company like this news and the previous news that we have covered now indusind bank is the right answer i hope that you have uh, at least gone through all the banks in india the document that we have provided you with regards to the banks and their history i hope you have gone through that and in case you haven't done that then don't take stress okay because in the bad examination in the ga section particularly you have 20 question and in the past years as per my analysis they haven't asked you about the banking history but still since you are going in the banking sector only that is why i told you to have at least a basic knowledge about the banks the major banks in india which state government has recently launched a new e bhumi portal to further ease the per process of purchasing land for the development of government project so it is a very important initiative and here haryana government has launched this e bhumi portal who has recently been appointed as the non executive chairman of mastercard india so here guys rajneesh kumar is the right answer who is the global ceo of mastercard can you tell me who is the global ceo of master card
Ajay Banga was the CEO of uh, Mastercard, but he is not the CEO at present. He is the president of the World Bank at present. It is Michael. Michael is the name of that person. Okay. Michael Miba. So, guys, here we have completed 100 questions. Now, tell me, do you want a break of 5 minutes or not? You tell me if you want, I'll give you the break of 5 minutes. Okay. So there is one yes, but 111 people are watching me. So I would need more uh, consent. Okay, guys. So five minutes ka break hai. So I'm I will be coming back in five minutes, right? But you all have to promise me that you will be here. You won't go anywhere, right? So wait for me. I'll come in five minutes.
ओके गाइस सो योर ब्रेक इज ओवर नाउ लेट्स बिगिन अनदर सेट ऑफ हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन राइट ओके कंसीडर दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द यूपीए पोर्टल यूपीआई होगा ओके द पोर्टल इज मैंडेटेड विद द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ प्रमोटिंग एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ शेड्यूल्ड एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्ट्स इट इज डेवलप्ड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री इट इज इंटेंडेड टू सर्व एज अ पब्लिक रिसोर्स स्ट्रीमलाइनिंग एक्सेस टू क्रेडिबल ग्रैनुलर एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव डेटा विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इज आर इन करेक्ट सो हियर गाइज द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर Which of the following has been recently included into the World Heritage List from India? So, what is the right answer? The sacred emblems of Hoysala has been added into the list of the World Heritage sites. This, uh, in this current session of the World Heritage Committee, a total of forty-two sites were included. So, these are forty-two new sites that were included into the World Heritage sites list, and from India, two sites were included. and now with this addition india has a total of 42 new sorry so 42 total world heritage sites in india and do you know guys know that out of these 42 sites there is one site that is a mixed site that is natural plus cultural otherwise the other sites are we have seven natural sites and the remaining are the cultural heritage sites okay so Shanti Niketan from Bengal, very good. So this is another, uh, the second one that was included in this year's World Heritage Committee's session. Okay. The term. intended nationally determined contribution now guys there is one thing that i am getting confused i am getting confused with regards to the number of the natural sites in this total list okay so please look at the total uh, composition of the indian sites into the world heritage sites list okay how many cultural sites are there how many natural sites are there but yes there is only one mixed right so out of uh, 41 how many cultural and how many natural are there i'm confused on this number moving on to the next question the term intended nationally determined contributions is sometimes seen in the news in the context of pledges made by the european countries to rehabilitate refugees from the war affected middle east plan of action outlined by the countries of the world to combat climate change capital contributed by the member countries in the establishment of the asian infrastructure and investment bank plan of action outlined by the countries of the world regarding the sustainable development goals plan of action outlined by the countries to fight the vaccine shortage during epidemic so here guys option b is the right answer plan of action outlined by the countries for the for combating the climate change with reference to cheetah consider the following statement recently Asiatic cheetahs have been reintroduced in India's Madhya Pradesh Kuno National Park. The cheetah was officially declared extinct by the Indian government in 1952. Asiatic cheetah is classified as critically endangered species by the IUCN's wealth list. So, which of these statements are correct? Option B is the correct answer. One is not correct because not Asiatic. So, we have introduced African cheetahs. ठीक है फ्रॉम नामीबिया एंड साउथ अफ्रीका वी ब्रॉड चीटर्स इनटू द कूनो नेशनल पार्क व्हिच इंडियन एथलीट हैज नैरोली मिस्ड पीटी उषास 400 मीटर हर्डल्स नेशनल रिकॉर्ड ऑफ 55.42 सेकंड्स सेट इन द 1984 ओलंपिक्स ड्यूरिंग द इंडियन ग्रैंड प्रिक्स बेसिकली व्हिच इंडियन एथलीट हैज मिस्ड द पीटी उषास टारगेट ड्यूरिंग द इंडियन ग्रैंड प्रिक्स and pt usha had made this target in 1984 olympics okay so here guys vithya vithya ramraj is the which player has surpassed sachin tendulkar's record for most international hundreds by an opening batter in world cricket so here david warner is the right answer 
related to Sachin Tendulkar. I hope you already know that ECI, Election Commission of India, has chosen him as the uh, ambassador for the voter awareness campaign. World Bamboo Day is celebrated on 18th September. Name the office which has been recently inaugurated by the Union Minister of Civil Aviation. And he has an integrated office complex at Delhi's Sabdarjan Airport, bringing together multiple aviation regulatory authorities under one roof for improved coordination. So here, Udan Bhavan is the right answer. Indian Navy is set to host Dash edition of the Naval Innovation and Indigenization Seminar Swavalamban 2023 on October 4th and October 5, 2023. So what is the right answer? It is the second edition of this seminar. Now during this seminar only, SBI and Indian Navy had launched their card. Okay. Apart from this, 76 challenges under the Sprint initiative were also there. Were also inaugurated. The Indian Prime Minister has recently inaugurated the first phase of the Indian International Convention and Expo Center called TASH at Dwarka, New Delhi, which will be among the world's largest meeting incentives, con conferences and exhibitions. That is my destination. Name the center. So we all know that it is Yashu Bhumi in Dwarka. According to 2023, Digital Quality of Life Index released by Surfshark in September, India has secured Dash rank with a score of 0 0.5154. So, 52nd rank with a score of this. Okay? And this index was also covered in indices and reports. So, if you haven't covered the indices and reports so far, you can watch the session. And in that particular session, I have covered every report in very detail for you to understand. Which small finance bank has recently launched the Maxima saving account and business Maxima current account for medium and large business entities? So here Ujwan small finance bank is the right answer. In September, National Highway Logistics Management Limited has signed an agreement for the development of multi-model logistics park in Dash. So what is the right answer? Where will this multi-model logistics park be developed? It will be developed in Bangalore. Name the personality from India along with his team member who has recently won the 2023 Egg Nobel Prize under the Mechanical Engineering category. Now, this reminds me that Nobels have been announced. Okay? So, do remember the Nobel categories, the background of the Nobel, Alfred Nobel, Nobel ke naam pe hi, Nobel Prizes were established in 1905. Uh, they were given since the year 1905 and all such facts that are related to Nobel which is the most recent Nobel category and uh, which is the only award that is not given from Sweden so all such facts that you need to remember from uh, Nobel's background and also the current Nobel categories and their winners the winners nationalities and the reason for which they have been given the award okay so all these facts you should remember Coming back to this question, what is the right answer? Anup Rajappan is the right answer. How many artists have received the Sangeet Natak Academy Amrit Awards 2022 from the Vice President of India, Jagdeep Dhankar in September 2022? So 84 artists have received this award. Can anyone of you tell me that Jagdeep Dhankar, before, appoint, before getting appointed as the Vice President of India, he was the governor of a state. Can anyone of you tell me that which was that state? Yes, Claudia Goldin has recently uh, received the award in economics, Nobel Award in economics. Is it 1901? The Nobles were started in 1901. As far as I can remember, it is 1905 in which Nobles were started. Just please guys check that as well. Okay? When you read about the Nobles background, uh, do read about the year in which the Nobles were given for the first time. Yes, West Bengal is the right answer. West Bengal. In September, the Airports Authority of India has inducted two new DASH aircrafts with advanced state-of-the-art flight inspection systems into its flight 
inspection units fleet to carry out calibration of ground navigation and landing aids so what is the right answer here the right answer is b360 aircraft when was un international equal pay day 2023 uh, observed across the globe so here 18th september is the right answer and this reminds me the world bank's women business and law report which we just covered in the indices and reports document do remember that this women business and law report is not a very old report it has been released this year only okay and this report says that india needs to work more on uh, bringing equality as far as equal pay is concerned so do remember that women business and law report was released by the world bank in september meera chopra finished dash in the men's javelin throw event with dash meters at the diamond league 2023 final held in united states of america so what is the right answer so neera chopra finished second and he completed it in 83.8 meter the defense acquisition council has recently granted acceptance of necessity for capital acquisition proposals of various weapons systems and platforms amounting to dash rupees so what is the right answer 45000 crore rupees now such type of news remain in the they come very often okay so what you have to look for is the background of the defense acquisition council okay so read more about on this what was the theme of the world patient safety day 2023 that was observed across the globe by the world health organization on september 17 2023 so what was the theme the theme is engaging patients for patient safety which state has launched the mukhya mantri shramik kalyan yojana for the welfare of the labor force of the state under the scheme the maternity benefit for families of workers has been enhanced from 1000 to 6000 natural death compensation has been increased from 50000 to 2 lakh accidental death compensation from 1 lakh to 4 lakh so basically mukhya mantri shramik kalyan yojana has been launched by which state so it is guys arunachal pradesh which has launched this scheme going global partnerships program of the british council promotes col collaboration and innovation in teaching and learning and transnational education in higher education institutions between india and uk so this going global partnership is a program between india and uk under this program the british council has partnered with a state in india for a two way student mobility capacity building research and transnational education identify the state so here guys tamil nadu is the state with which bank has indian renewable energy development agency entered into an initial agreement to finance the renewable energy project okay so here guys bank of maharashtra is the bank which insurance company has launched a new fund offering called the emerging equity fund so basically as we have the ipos initial public offering for the companies we have nfos for the mutual funds okay mutual funds and uh, such schemes so which insurance company has launched the nfo and for the emerging equity fund this emerging equity fund is co company's first mid cap fund aimed at providing long term capital appreciation through investments in the mid cap companies so what is the right answer here the right answer is bharti exa life insurance company Recently, the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India has formed a steering committee to oversee the creation of Bhima Sugam platform. Considering this, identify the correct statement with regards to the Bhima Sugam portal. So here, uh, we have three statements. IRDA has set a new deadline of July 2024 for the Bhima Sugam project to go live. Cyril. Amarchand Mangaldas has been appointed as the legal counsel for the project. The platform aims to provide a centralized marketplace for various insurance related services. So here guys option D is the right answer. Only 1, 2, 3 are the correct statements. Now I hope all of you remember that uh, IRDA has launched the Bhima Sugam and the Bhima Vahak initiative. The purpose of the Bhima Sugam was to increase the coverage of insurance by including more and more rural people as well 
and Vima Bahaks would be the correspondents, would be people like the business correspondent who would help in enrolling the people into the insurance scheme. Okay. Which bank has launched a digital platform for NRIs to easily open NRE, that is non residential external and non residential ordinary accounts, including both savings and current accounts? So, what is the right answer? It is SBI. So, SBI has launched this digital facility for NRI. As per a new analysis by UNICEF and the World Bank, approximately 333 million children worldwide live in extreme poverty. Why? There has been a progress in reducing the number of children in extreme poverty from 383 to 3, uh, 333 million, a 13% decrease between 2013 to 2022. The economic impact of COVID-19 reversed the trend. What is the criterion used for assessing the extreme poverty? Uh, what is the criterion of assessing the extreme poverty used by the World Bank in this report? So here guys, option A is the right answer. If a person is earning less than $2.15 a day, then that person would be considered as living in the extreme poverty condition. Naval technology is crucial for safeguarding the na nation's maritime interest. National Naval Innovation and Indigenization Organization was created to give a push to the naval technology. When was the organization created? So here in 2020, this organization was created. Indian Army has inducted 600 indigenously manufactured self-neutralizing anti-tank mines, which are named as Dash. So what is the right answer? Vibhav is the right answer. So Vibhav is basically the mine. <clears throat> when is the International Week of Deaf People observed? So here, third week of September is the right. With regard, uh, which of the following statements with regards to the National Skill Development Corporation is are correct? So, first statement is NSDC is a not for profit public limited company incorporated in 2008 under the company name. NSDC was set up by the Ministry of Finance as a public private partnership model. The Government of India, through the Ministry of Skill Development, holds 49% of the share capital, while the private sector holds the balance 51%. So what is the right answer? So the right answer is option C that all of these statements are correct. Under the Companies Act, NSDC is a not-for-profit public limited company. NSDC was set up by the Ministry of Finance initially. Okay? Then the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship took the 49% of share in NSDC and the remaining is held by the private sector. The World Government Summit organization has formed a knowledge partnership with India Global Forum. The partnership aims to explore the potential and challenges of emerging economies, empower them to build resilient government and prepare for future challenges. When was the World Government Summit platform created? So it was created back in 2013 and World Government Summit is uh, held annually in Dubai, okay, UAE. As per the recent data, 75% of the total villages in India have achieved ODF plus status under phase 2 of the Swachh Bharat Mission Grammy. Swachh Bharat Mission phase 2 aims to make all the villages ODF plus by dash year. So here guys, 2025 is the right answer. And this is a very important question. So Swachh Bharat Mission phase 2 ke baare mein, I hope you have read. And in case you haven't done that, please do read about it. Okay. So, Bharatiya Prakash Stham Utsav or Indian Lighthouse Festival was celebrated in India at Dash Fort in Dash. So, where was it celebrated? So, it was celebrated at Fort Aguda in Panji in Goa. The Ma Navjat Tracking App is a government initiative in India designed to monitor the health and nutrition of newborns and mothers, providing real time data for better healthcare management. Which state operates the application, which is Mantra as acronym, the acronym is Mantra for Ma Navjat Tracking Application. So here guys, Uttar Pradesh operates this application. Recently, Startup Odisha, an initiative of the government of Odisha has launched the Odisha Startup Growth Fund. This fund is unique 
as it has a perpetual nature meaning that when the initial corpus is exhausted the state government will replenish it ensuring continuous long term support for start what is the corpus of this fund okay so the corpus is 100 crores i hope you have understood why this startup odisha is unique the odisha startup growth fund is unique which state has launched the mukhya mantri sampurna pushti yojana for addressing the nutritional needs of pregnant women girls aged 15 to 19 and malnourished children so here guys odisha is the right answer again recently international organization for standardization and united nation development program have partnered to use international standards to address global development challenges the iso is an independent non governmental international organization with a membership of 169 national standard body where is the headquarters of iso located so here guys in geneva switzerland the headquarters of iso are located and also remember the headquarters of the major government uh, international and regional bodies because headquarters is a very easy question if it comes in the examination and i don't want my students to lose marks on this okay identify the correct statement with regards to the rbi's data on household net financial savings in india for fy23 such data are very very important theek hai they can be asked in your nabard exam so don't think like ki if it is from the rbi annual report or if it is from uh, irdai uh, nabard is not going to ask any questions it is not like that nabard can ask any question which is there in the current affairs theek hai now RBI ne recently uh, released this household net financial savings data for the entire year of FY23 so we have three statements the household net financial saving in india have hit a nearly five decade low at 5.1% of gdp in FY23 annual financial liabilities of households rose significantly increasing by 5.8% of gdp in FY23 household debt remains elevated at 37.6% of gdp in fy23 what is the right answer the right answer is that all these statements are correct the financial net financial savings which is basically a uh, sum of financial assets minus financial liabilities your financial assets would be your mutual fund your savings in your uh, your fixed deposits in your bank accounts and all such are your financial assets and when you Uh, deduct your financial liabilities from them for example if you have to make a payment for your uh, make a interest payment or anything like that if you deduct, deduct that financial liability from your financial assets then comes your net net financial savings so what rbi is saying that the ratio of this net financial saving is decreasing okay the national e governance service delivery assessment is an initiative by the department of administrative reforms and public grievances aimed at measuring the effectiveness of e governance services delivery mechanism uh, this assessment will evaluate e government maturity at the city level focusing on city portals that provide access to information and services for the urban cities how many sectors are assessed in this 2023 report seven sectors are going to be assessed The Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare has launched an AI chatbot named Kisan Mitra for PM Kisan scheme to enhance the efficiency and reach of the PM Kisan scheme and provide farmers with prompt and accurate responses to their queries. Which company has developed the chatbot along with the ministry? So here, Ek Step Foundation is the right answer. Ek Step Foundation has developed Kisan E Mitra to take a step towards the farmers. Okay. so in this manner you can remember kisan e mitra will help the ministry of agriculture to take a step ya to uh, to take a step towards the farms if you create a story like the, that or a tech no, uh, a technique to remember this thing then it will help you india has won the bid to host the 17th edition of the international congress on chemistry of cement in dash the bid was presented successfully by the national council for cement and building materials and iit delhi during the 16th congress of this in bangkok so what is the right answer the right answer is 2027 so india will host the international congress on the chemistry of cement in 2027 
यस शिवम थीम से भी क्वेश्चन आते हैं दे कैन आस्क यू दीम्स वेरी वेल ओके द नेशनल एजुकेशन सोसाइटी फॉर ट्राइबल स्टूडेंट्स एंड द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्राइबल अफेयर्स लॉन्च द फेज टू ऑफ डैश फ्यूचर इंजीनियर प्रोग्राम इन फिफ्टी फोर एक लव्य मॉडल रेजिडेंशियल स्कूल इन न्यू डेली द सेकेंड फेज विल इंक्लूड एन एडवांस ब्लॉक प्रोग्रामिंग एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस करिकुलम सो बेसिकली फ्रॉम विद विच company from these options has the national education society for tribal student collaborated to launch this future engineer program so here guys amazon is the right amazon future engineer program is the total name of this initiative which state is implementing the cm elevate program to empower and engage the youth through entrepreneurship the program aims to create entrepreneurship opportunities uh for over 20000 individuals across various sectors in the state over the next three years so here meghalaya is the right answer cm elevate program launched by meghalaya madhya pradesh cm shivraj singh chauhan unveiled a 100 108 foot tall statue of oneness named ekmat ekmatta ki pratima ekmatta ki pratima of adi shankaracharya at omkareshwar larsen and tubro were awarded the uh, was awarded an engineering procurement and construction contract to construct the statue of oneness who has created the design of the statue so here uh, vasudev samat has created the design of the statue larsen and tubro has created the statue and it is located in madhya pradesh the dash is a landmark agreement that aims to halt and reverse biodiversity loss by 2030 so basically which agreement are we talking about from the options you can uh, guess so here kunming montreal global biodiversity framework is the right answer okay uh, this particular framework aims to halt or reverse the biodiversity loss by 2030 so 30 is to 30 is the target 30 is to 30 means 30% reduction in the biodiversity loss by 2030 the kalambo river is in africa it is renowned for uh, kalambo hills uh, kalambo falls recently along with the banks of kalambo river in dash near africa's second highest waterfall archaeologists have excavated world's oldest wood structure so what is the right answer the right answer is zambi so kalambo river in zambia near this river the uh, archaeologists have ex excavated world's oldest wooden structure recently sebi has amended rules requiring listed entities with outstanding non convertible debt securities to list subsequent issues of such securities on stock exchanges when will these rules be implemented such questions are very often asked in the examination so you please pay attention to the uh, dates of implementation of various guidelines frameworks and policy now here the right answer is option d january 1st 2024 which bank has launched neo for business a transaction banking platform designed for msm so here guys axis bank has launched this platform what is the objective of who's triple billion target do read the statements then tell me the right answer what is the target so here the target is to increase the number of people benefiting from the universal health coverage by 1 billion this is the target of the triple billion target of double who which of the following statement is a correct please pay attention to the word is it correct or incorrect okay because this can make your answer wrong as well so which of the following statement is correct with regards to the national policy on research and development and innovation in the pharma medtech sector in india so here guys 
So first statement is that the policy aims to facilitate innovation and research in product development, expanding traditional regulatory objectives of safety and quality. It has proposed to set up an Indian Council of Pharmaceuticals and Medtech Research and Development. It aims to promote industry academia's uh, linkage for R&D in priority areas and to inculcate culture of quality research. So here guys, option B is the right answer. First and second are the objectives of this national policy on research and development whereas this one is the objective of the scheme that has been launched along with this policy for promoting the pharma and medtech technology okay recently the ministry of chemicals and fertilizers has launched the scheme for promotion of research and innovation in pharma medtech sector okay so guys this one is the objective of this particular scheme. Scheme for promotion of research and innovation is pharma medtech sector. Okay? The scheme aims to strengthen the research infrastructure by setting up seven centers of excellence at the National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research in pre-identified areas with a financial outlay of 700 crores. What is the duration of the scheme? So here guys, five years is the duration of this scheme. Which state has launched the Mukhya Mantri Grameen Awas Nyay Yojana for uh, providing houses to 47,000 economically disadvantaged individuals in rural areas of the state. So here guys option D, Chhattisgarh is the right answer. Which animal has gained recognition as a food animal by the FSSAI starting from September 1st? This is the state animal of Dash and dash so what is the right answer the right answer is mithun so mithun uh, has got the status of a food animal by the fssai and it is the state animal of arunachal pradesh and uh, nagpur okay it looks like a cow mithun with which bank has rec limited signed an mou to jointly finance projects in the power sector and infrastructure and logistics sector so here punjab national bank is the right answer Again, a question from PNB is there. So, Punjab National Bank is one of the oldest banks in India. In which year was the bank established? So, it was established in 1894. So, it is a very old bank. You can clearly see that. Recently, NABAD has issued its, issued its first rupee denominated, triple rated social bonds with a total size of 1000 crore. The bond issued privately to eligible institutional investors will be listed on the BSE. What is the coupon rate of these bonds? So here guys, the coupon rate is 7.63%. Which of the following statement is the correct with regards to the 2023 Global Crypto Adoption Index? So here, first statement is the index consists of five sub indices. It assesses the adoption of cryptocurrency in 154 countries. The score range given to the countries is between 0 to 1. So here, as far as this particular index is concerned, all the statements are correct. World Lung Day is observed on September 25. What is the theme of this day in 2023? So access to prevention and treatment for all is the theme of the World Lung Day. The CSIR is a premier scientific research organization founded in 1942 dedicated to advancing scientific knowledge and fostering technological innovations to support the country's industrial and societal development. Who is the first director of CSIR? So Shanti Swaru Bhatnagar is the right answer. And why this question is here? Particularly, you might feel that it is a static GK question and a very random question that the ma'am that ma'am has asked but this is not a random question guys because recently in the month of september only shanti swarup bhatnagar awards were given okay that is why this question is here and these awards have been named after the founder of the cs indian languages day honors the rich linguistic diversity of india when is the day observed so here guys december 11 is the day on which the Indian languages day ops. Indo-Latin American relations have strengthened over the years marked by a growing trade, cultural exchanges and diplomatic cooperation. 
the fourth edition of the Indo-Latin America Cultural Relation, sorry, Culture Festival was recently organized by the ICCR in New Delhi. Total 34 artists of three countries participated in the two-day festival. What is the foundation year of ICCR? So 1950 is the foundation year of the uh, ICCR. Union Minister for Education and Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, Sri Dharmendra Pradhan, has recently launched CEO for Good, an online life skilling learning program for promoting gender equality. Which of the following agencies have partnered with the ministry for this course? So, here, guys, it is the BCCI. The Cricket Council has collaborated with the Ministry of Education for this particular CEO for Good life skills learning program okay so basically they are going to use the uh, you can say the metaphor of cricket in order to advance the objective of gender equality the parak system is an innovative education assessment framework uh, designed to promote transparency and accountability in school education in which state is parak conducting the state educational achievement survey as a precursor to the national level survey in 2024. So it is Kerala. Toto is a Sino-Tibetan language spoken by the tribal Toto people and is written in the Bengali script. Do remember this fact that Toto language is written in Bengali script. The language is spoken by barely 1600 people living in parts of West Bengal bordering Bhutan. The dictionary titled Toto Shabd Sangre will translate the Toto words into Bengali and English using the Bengali script since the Toto script is still developing. Who has developed this dictionary? So here guys, Mrinmoy uh, Para Pramanik has developed this dictionary that is Toto Shabd Sangre. So what are the facts that we need to remember? The origin of the language that it is that a sino tibetan language okay second the script of the language third the people speaking this language uh, or the region where this language is spoken so primarily west bengal and if you want to focus on the specific area so the area of west bengal bordering bhutan okay halaki aapse exam mein itna zyada to nahi puchhenge detail mein but west bengal aap yaad rakhoge so that would also suffice your preparation Recently, UNDP has launched an e-learning program through its Sustainable Finance Hubs, SDG Finance Academy to promote sustainable finance globally. The Sustainable Finance Hub was established in Dash year to increase UNDP's work on financing the SDGs. So what is the right answer here? When was this hub created? It was created in 2019. Which of the following investment companies has launched Sikho Paiso Ki Bhasha? <coughs> An initiative for the investor education and financial awareness in partnership with CBSE to enhance the financial literacy among the teachers in India, empowering them with investment knowledge. So clearly you can see that it is first of its kind initiative that has taken place in India. Because before this, we haven't heard about having a investor education program uh, specifically focused on the teachers. Okay. And here the collaboration is with CBSE. So definitely the teachers are belonging to the schools. Okay. So which company is it? It is guys Kotak Mutual Fund. Identify the correct statement with regards to the Global Innovation Index 2023. Now guys why am I not going into the depths of the indices? Because I have covered all the indices and reports in the session. So I would request all of you to watch that session thoroughly. Okay after the session or tomorrow whenever you want to watch the session but before exam please watch the indices and reports session now here you have five statements so which is the correct statement the correct statement is option d as per the report india's uh, purchasing power parity is usd 11665 uh, billion dollars so it is basically india's gdp in terms of purchasing power parity which this report has, uh, you can say, calculated or it has provided us with. Recently, the Kong Thong village has been conferred with the best tourism village 2023 at the National Tourism Awards. Uh, which state is the village located in? So it is located in Meghalaya. 
International Day for Universal Access to Information observed on September 28th highlights the importance of information as a fundamental human right. Which of the following cities is organizing the global celebrations of this day in 2023? So Oxford in London is organizing this global celebrations of this day. The India Meteorological Department is country's premier agency for weather forecasting and monitoring. Established in 1875, it plays a crucial role in providing accurate and timely weather information, cyclone warnings and climate services for India. Recently, in the month of October, IMD has been appointed as a nodal agency for implementing a framework. Identify the framework. So, which framework are we talking about? Is it National Climate Action Framework? National Framework for Climate Services, National Climate Resilience Framework, National Carbon Offset and Trading Framework, which seems a little bit off, right? We can eliminate this option right here. National Greenhouse Gas Reduction Framework. So out of these options, which one is the right answer? The right answer here, guys, is option B, National Framework for Climate Services. Now, from this question itself, you have yourself just this fact that you cannot make a guesswork whenever you have such questions because these are very factual questions and if you make a guesswork and that guess becomes 1% wrong then obviously you will lose marks and not only one mark you will lose 1.25 marks right uh, so make sure that whenever you are taking on any option and you you when and you are 95 to 99% sure then only mark that answer on the basis of guess okay and if you are not sure and uh, if uh, your guess is 90, uh, 92 95% accurate, then be zyada risk. Mat le, this question is it throws missions and compass a wide range of objectives, including satellites, base uh, satellites launches for communication, Earth observation, and navigation systems. They also involve lunar and interplanetary exploration with the Chandrayaan and Mars orbital missions, expanding our knowledge of celestial bodies. ISRO's importance with regards to the nascent global sector, uh, space sector is rising. In the below mentioned table, column A consists of the landmark ISRO missions and column B consists of their years of launch. Identify the correctly matched pairs. So quickly tell me the right answer of this question. What is the right answer? Yes, option D is the correct answer. So, R.A. Bhatt mission was launched in 1975. Bhaskar was launched in 1979. Rohini was launched in 1980. And mission Kalpana 1 was launched in 2002. Okay. Such type of static facts can also be asked from you. And this is a purely static question that has been created here. An aircraft recovery training school is a facility that provides training for personnel in the safe and efficient recovery of aircraft involved in accidents or emergency situations covering aspects like aircraft securing, fire safety and rescue procedures. Arts enhances the skills and preparedness of professionals in aircraft recovery of operations. Recently, South Asia's first aircraft recovery training school has been established for providing these services. Which airport has launched this school? So it is guys South Asia's first aircraft recovery training school. So what is the right answer? It is Camp Agoda International Airport in Bangalore. Okay. Now one more thing that I want to share with you. That thing is that now we are covering the questions of the month of October. Okay. So pay attention guys. The October month is very very important. And the current affairs that you should do from uh, the month of October should be from 1 to 10th October. Okay, is date sakke current affairs karlo, is se zada karne ki zarurat nahi hai for your upcoming exam. DAC is a specialized set of equipment and tools designed to assist in the recovery and removal of disabled and damaged aircraft 
from the runways, taxiways or other locations. DARS are essential for rapid response and ensuring the safety and effectiveness of aircraft recovery operations. Which of the following airports has established Asia's first ever DARS system and what is the full form of DARS? So do remember it is Asia's first ever DARS system that has been established. So, which airport has established it? So, it is guys, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport in Mumbai uh, has established the DAC uh, toolkit and it stands for Disabled Aircraft Recovery Kit. The majestic peak, this majestic peak stands as the tallest in the European Alps, attracting climbers and nat nature enthusiasts from around the world. It's pristine. Glaciers and rugged beauty make it an iconic symbol of alpine grandeur. In the recent times, the news of it getting shrunk is doing the rounds. The mountain is spread across France, Switzerland and Italy. Identify this mountain. Which mountain are we talking about? So here guys, it is Mount Blanc, which is spread in France and Italy primarily. Uh, but it also has its extension in Switzerland. Okay, so these are the three countries in which Mount Blanc is, uh, uh, you can say, spread. Now, do remember this thing that it is the tallest peak in the Alpine mountain range, which is in Europe. NASA is going to launch DASH mission, which will travel to an asteroid on October 12th. It will conduct an in depth study of the astronaut. Uh, ast uh, ast the, uh, which could provide valuable insights into the early formation of our planet and the nature of planetary cores. This is NASA's first mission to study an asteroid that has more metal than rock or ice. Identify the mission. Sometimes, guys, tongue slips happen when you continue when you are continuously talking for more than one to two hours. Okay. So what is the right answer here? The right answer is Psyche. Now let me tell you that this Psyche mission is going to travel to an asteroid that also has the same name, Psyche. Okay? And the speciality of that asteroid is that it has more metal than rock and ice. Okay? So it is going to increase our understanding. And one more thing that this asteroid is located between the asteroid belt that is between Mars and Jupiter. The Reserve Bank of India has recently announced to conduct the sale of the government securities in the open market operations for managing liquidity in the system. Considering this, identify the correct statement from the options given below. Now, I am giving you two seconds. Read the statements. Tell me the right answer. What is the right answer? Okay, so students are saying option E is the correct answer. Yes, option E is the correct answer. So, operation market, uh, open market operations are the RBI's tools to control the liquidity on a durable basis. The objective is to maintain price stability. Why, otherwise, why would R RBI do such kind of a thing? Okay, while keeping in mind the objective of growth. Now, why are these two statements wrong? Because RBI buys the government security when there is less liquidity because when it buys the security it will give money into the market and rbi sells the government security when there is excess liquidity okay so that the securities are in the market and money gets stuck out from the market this is the basic gst is a comprehensive indirect taxation system in india that subsumed various state and central taxes to create a unified taxation structure it has simplified tax Com uh, compliance reduced tax ca uh, cascading and fostered a more efficient and transparent tax regime benefiting both businesses and consumers 
it was inserted into the constitution through dash act so it was inserted through the 101st constitutional amendment act of 2016 world dyslexia day observed on october 8 raises awareness about dyslexia and aims to promote understanding support and early intervention for individuals with dyslexia a special learning disability affecting reading and language skills it seeks to reduce the stigma associated with dyslexia and encourage inclusive education for all in 2023 it was organized on a specific theme identify the theme of the world dyslexia day what is the theme of this day so uniquely you is the theme world mental health day is a day when we talk about mental health understand its importance and show our support to those who may be going through tough time it is like a global event to say it's okay not to be okay and remind everyone that help and understanding are available this day is observed on october 10 every year which colored ribbon is used on this day to spread awareness so here guys green colored ribbon is used to spread awareness about the mental health in the world and guys do remember this fact whenever there is an important day especially occurring in the past 6 months of preceding your examination date please remember their ribbon colors also which are used for spreading awareness because that can also be asked and the evidence is here okay the north coil river a lifeline of jharkhand uh winds through rugged terrain its waters bringing sustenance to the arid landscape it embraces it's a symbol of natural resilience in an unforgiving region recently the north coil reservoir project has been launched with an increased budget how much is the center's share in this project so the center's share is approximately 1800 crore there are some digits here also and with decimals but you can clearly remember the round figure 1800 crore rupees yaad rakhoge to yaad bhi rahega and you will be able to mark the answer correctly which of the following statement is are correct with regards to the central universities amendment bill 2023 remember the gati shakti university uh, or vishwavidyalay was established uh, by virtue of the central universities amendment act of 2022 and here we have 2023's act so what does this act say what is the correct statement with regards to this act quickly tell me what is the correct statement here so here option a it aims to create samak sarak central tribal university in telangana this is the correct answer in order to provide empowerment to the tribals in the state recently the indian council for cultural research again this organization has come into the news and especially in the month of october so it has collaborated with savitri bai phule pune university uh, to organize sorry the iccr in collaboration with savitri bai phule university organized the soft launch of the universalization of traditional indian knowledge systems portal do remember the full form of the portal because this can be asked from you. at which institute was the portal launched so guys at manipal academy of higher education this particular portal was launched okay so the launch event took place there a pumped storage project is a type of hydro power facility that serves as a form of energy storage it consists of two water reservoirs located at different elevations recently india's largest pumped storage project has been inaugurated in madhya pradesh the project requires an investment of 11500 crores over the next 3 years where is the project being developed and which company has been given the contract to develop so guys you must be thinking that madhya pradesh is in the question itself so wait it's here abhi baki hai read the options so here you have been given different district the exact location of india's largest pump storage project theek hai because it is india's largest that's why exact locations also become important so here nimak district uh, is the location and green co group has been given this contract to develop this pump storage project the gangetic dolphins also known as the ganges river dolphin is an endangered freshwater mammal that inhabits the murky waters of the ganges and brahmaputra rivers 
which Indian state has declared the Gangetic dolphin as the state aquatic animal? Again, a very, very important question. So here, Uttar Pradesh has declared the Gangetic dolphin as the state aquatic animal. A GI tag is a form of intellectual property protection that recognizes and de designates products as originating from a specific geographical region known for their unique qualities, etc. In the month of October, a product from Odisha received a GI tag identify the product from the options. So here, what is the right answer? The right answer is option B, Kendrapara Prasabali, which is a food item. It has got the GI tag in the month of October. Now we have this, these many products which have received the GI tag in the month of October. So please remember these products, these are important. Which of the following statement is are correct with regards to the Digital India Bhashini division? So first statement is that Digital India Bhashini is a section 8 company. Now section 8 of the company's act is for which purpose? This is your task. You are going to tell me in the chats here. Okay. Uh, the second statement is it operates under the National Skill Development Corporation. The CEO of Digital India Bhashini Division is Amitabh Nath. Uh, it is under the administrative ages of Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. So what is the right answer? The right answer is option A. So it is a Section 8 company and the CEO is Amitabh Nath. Okay? Now do tell me what is the purpose of, of the Section 8 of Companies Act of 2013? Yes, it is for not for non for uh, not for profit organization. NPOs are registered under the Section 8. Which bank has launched the mobile handheld device for providing banking services to customers and improving their accessibility in availing banking services, increasing financial inclusion, and extending essential banking services to the market? So it is again SBI. Now you clearly see that SBI has launched many projects. In the month of September, in the month of October. So please cover a little bit of background of SBI. Okay? And also remember all the news related to SBI. The Indian Postal Network, one of the largest in the world, spans the length and breadth of the country, connecting even the remotest regions. With its rich history and widespread reach, it remains a vital communication lifeline for millions of Indians. When is the fourth day celebrated in the world? So here guys, uh, October 9 is the World Post Day. October 10 is the National Post Day in India. Recently, India has been re-elected as a president of the Asia Pacific Institute of Broadcasting Development for a third uh, successive term. Identify the incorrect statement. Now pay attention, here incorrect statement has been asked. Uh, with regard to the Asia Pacific Institute for Broadcasting Development. So it was established in 1977. It was established under UNDP. It is a unique regional intergovernmental organization. Prasar Bharti is the representative of India. It is, it is headquartered in Manila. So what is the right answer? The right answer, here, sorry. Huh, the right answer here is option E. Two and four are the incorrect statements. And the uh, option first is the correct. 1977 it was established. And Prasad Bharti represents India in this body of broadcasters. Recently, the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting has amended the Cable Television Network Rules 1994 for introducing a procedure for the renewal of MSO registration. The, what does M stand for in the full form of MSO? What is the right answer here? The right answer here is multi. Okay, multi service operators is the full form of MSO. Recently, India has signed a social security agreement with a Latin American country for protecting the rights of professionals and workers in both the countries, allowing for risk-free international mobility identified. So guys, it is Argentina. Now, I hope you all know that majority of the countries in the South American continent are called the Latin American countries, but, but not all the countries are Latin American countries. I hope you are aware about this fact. Argentina is a Latin American country. India will host the 46th edition of the Pacific Asia Travel Association Travel Mart 2023 in New Delhi. Uh, the Pacific Asia 
travel association is a renowned not for profit association recognized internationally for its role as a catalyst in the responsible development of travel and tourism in the asia pacific region when and where was the association founded so here guys in 1951 in bangkok this association was founded okay how can you remember it better better that everyone wants to go to bangkok for travel okay so uh, pacific asia travel association was founded in bangkok now here ke liye aap khud ek koi story book up kar lo nahi to otherwise you have to just remember that in 1951 it was established recently the ministry of home affairs held a meeting of multi agency center a common counter terrorism grid for discussing about the issues related to pakistan identify the correct statements with regard to the map <coughs> what is the right answer here guys do tell me the right answer read the statement first statement says it was formed in 2001 under the intelligence bureau it is headquartered in delhi and 28 agencies are part of the system through which they share intelligence input it is the country's biggest intelligence input sharing platform it is formed after the mandai massacre in tripur so here only one two three statements are correct and this statement is not correct it was not formed after the mandai massacre when we already have the kargil war and all these in, uh, terrorist attacks happened just before 2001 why would we take 1980s initiative right uh, it's not an initiative it was an event in 1980s okay tripura cm manik saha launched an e cabinet system at agartala to promote digital infrastructure development and digitization of government services and information after this addition how many states have the e cabinet system as of october 2023 so four states have e cabinet system quickly tell me the names of all the four state guys tell me the names of all the four states which have the e cabinet system no this is your task you have to uh, just look out for the names of all these states and let me tell you that tripura has become the second state in the northeastern region to have the e cabinet system okay so from the northeastern region there is one state that has the e cabinet system and from the entire nation we have a total of four states after the addition of tripura you are going to look for the names of all the states Jammu Kashmir has declared all its 6,650 villages in 20 districts as ODF plus model during the Swachhta Hi Seva campaign. Which of the following criteria is followed for giving this status to the village? Read the statement, then tell me which is the criterion followed for giving the ODF plus model status to village. So here, guys, option D is the right answer. The villages should appear visually clean with minimum litter. and stagnant water apart from solid and liquid waste management the extended 45th session of the world heritage committee was held in riyadh saudi arabia okay so during this uh, particular session only 42 sites were included a total of 42 sites have been included after this uh, and from india two sites have been included that we have just read after this addition india has a total of 42 sites in this list the sites are divided into cultural natural and mixed sites how many sites from india are cultural and natural in this list so now we have 34 cultural and 7 natural sites theek okay? hai so do remember this oh, this thing 34 cultural 7 natural and 1 mixed recently the largest statue of b r ambedkar outside india has been inaugurated in the North American region. Uh, the statue is named as the Statue of Equality, and it has been uh, made by the renowned artist and sculptor, which is Ram Sudar. Do remember that the Statue of Equality in North America is of the Statue of B R Ambedkar. Is the Statue of B R Ambedkar, whereas the Statue of 
equality in India is the statue of Adi Shankaracharya. Okay, so here a confusion might appear in your brains. So don't get confused. We have two statues of equality. One is of Adi Shankaracharya, which is in India, and another one is in North America, which is of P. R. Ambedkar. The International Finance Corporation, a part of the World Bank Group, primarily supports. Private sector development in emerging markets by providing investment and advisory services to promote sustainable economic growth and reduce poverty. Recently, the Reserve Bank of India has granted approval to the IFC to acquire a dash percent stake in a bank in India. So again, this is I would say a very landmark approval that has been given by RBI to an international organization to come and acquire equity in a bank in India. Now, which bank is? So it is, guys. Federal Bank and 9.7% equity will be acquired by IFC in this bank. I hope all of you are enjoying the session and remembering the associated facts related to the questions as well. ठीक है अगर दो नहीं करोगे दिमाग में साथ साथ, so it would not give you benefit. ठीक है? In October 2023, the Central Bank hiked. S A E D on crude petroleum to twelve thousand one hundred per ton with effect from September thirty. What is the full form of this? S A E D is it supplementary additional excise duty? Is it special additional excise duty? Is it supplementary appendage excise duty? Special addition adjustment environment duty? Selective ad valorem excise duty? What is the right answer? The right answer is option B. Special additional excise duty. Okay. So it has been increased to this. And you can clearly see the type of questions that can be created. So just have a very keen eye for the details. Next question is: What is the objective of the Yuba Tripura Natun Tripura Atmanibhar Tripura scheme? What is the right answer? So many Tripuras in this. Acha. So Toki Tokis has put a question. I uh, so. Listen, if you haven't read about the static portion of ESI till now, so don't take stress now, because you have exam in just two to three days. So what you can do is you can just look at the uh, questions from the past years. Okay, the type of questions that had have, have been uh, asked from the static economics and social issues. Okay, and uh, try to just cover those topics if you can in two to three days. Otherwise, focus more on the phase. ठीक है एंड फेज वन के लिए भी फोकस मोर ऑन द करंट अफेयर्स बिकॉज इन योर ई एस आई पोर्शन ऑफ द फेज वन फोर्टी क्वेश्चन आर आस्क एंड अप्रोक्सीमेटली फिफ्टी परसेंट क्वेश्चन बिलोंग टू करंट अफेयर सो इफ यू आर एबल टू स्कोर फिफ्टी परसेंट देन ऑल्सो यू कैन क्लियर द लिस्ट ओके सो करंट अफेयर्स पर फोकस कर लो अभी इफ यू हैव एंड रेड द स्टैटिक बिकॉज स्टैटिक रिक्वायर्स यू टू अंडरस्टैंड थिंग्स एंड आई डोंट थिंक दैट यू हैव दैट मच टाइम नाउ तो अभी करंट पर फोकस करो और स्ट्रेस मत लो बिकॉज उसका कोई फायदा नहीं सो हियर गाइज ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर युवा त्रिपुरा नातुन त्रिपुरा आत्मनिर्भर त्रिपुरा आत्मनिर्भर कैसे बनोगे जब आपकी खुद की इंडस्ट्रीज और बिजनेसेस होंगी राइट वेन यू आर एबल टू अर्न फॉर योर सेल्फ देन यू विल बिकम आत्मनिर्भर मर्जिंग सोलर टेक्नोलॉजीज इन टू कल्चर हेल्थ लाइफ स्टाइल प्रमोट सस्टेनेबल लिविंग रिड्यूसेज Energy costs and contributes to a healthier planet. Recently, India's first ever solar roof cycling track has been inaugurated at Dash. The 23-kilometer track will be known as Health Way. It will connect lifestyle with sustainable development. So, what is the right answer? Hyderabad is the right answer. The inclusion of people with disabilities in sport fosters diversity, promotes equality, and empowers individuals to overcome challenges and excel. It also inspires society to redefine its perceptions of ability and opens opportunities for everyone to participate in the joy of sport. To achieve this goal only, the Atal Bihari Training Center for Disability Sports has been recently inaugurated in the in Gwalior. It was inaugurated when Prime Minister visited Madhya Pradesh recently. The seventy-eighth UN General Assembly took place in September. uh you have to choose the correct option with regards to the 78th unga okay so you can read the statements and tell me the correct answer here so 
so here guys option c is the correct answer the theme of the event was rebuilding trust and reigniting global uh, solidarity accelerating action on the 2030 agenda and its sdg towards peace prosperity progress and sustainability for all theek okay? hai during the unga 78 world leaders discussed about finding strategies to accelerate action for achieving 2030 agenda for sdg then again we have sustainable development report coming out in this particular session now the wrong statement is this the unga assembly is an annual event not a triennial event ठीक है बैंक इंश्योरेंस इज अ फाइनेंशियल सर्विस मॉडल दैट इन्वॉल्व्स द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इंश्योरेंस प्रोडक्ट्स थ्रू बैंक्स इट अलाउज द बैंक्स टू ऑफर इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसीज टू देयर कस्टमर्स प्रोवाइडिंग अ कन्वीनिएंट वन स्टॉप सॉल्यूशन फॉर बोथ बैंक्स एंड इंश्योरेंस नीड्स इन अकॉर्डेंस विद दिस द स्टेट बैंक ऑफ सिक्किम साइंड अ बैंक इंश्योरेंस पैक्ट टू ऑफर इंश्योरेंस प्रोडक्ट्स टू द रेजिडेंट्स ऑफ सिक्किम विद व्हिच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज एसबीएस पार्टनर्ड फॉर द इंश्योरेंस प्रोडक्ट्स व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर The right answer is SBI, SBS, and SBI. Okay, ऐसे याद कर लो. So SBI, Life Insurance, and SBS have signed the bank bank assurance. This is one of India's largest state-owned enterprises. It plays pivot pivotal role in country's energy sector, encompassing refining, marketing, distribution of petroleum products. with an extensive network of fuel stations and a diverse range of products it serves as a cornerstone of india's energy infrastructure it has set a target of net zero emissions by 2046 identify the company which company is it so guys it is indian oil corporation limited the other way around this question can be framed as that what is the target of net zero emission for the ioc so 2046 could be the answer the national investment and infrastructure fund limited a government owned entity collaborated with the japan bank for international collaboration to launch a dash india japan fund so 600 million dollar india japan fund will be launched by both of these organizations for the infrastructure purposes the india development update offers a detailed analysis of india's economic performance policy initiatives and challenges providing valuable insights for policy makers and stakeholders interested in the country's development trajectory which organization releases this report and it is a very basic question all of you should remember it is guys world bank which releases india development update who has become the first woman to receive the global indian award by the canada india foundation so sudha murthy is the first indian woman to receive this first woman basically to receive this award the international coffee organization is the main intergovernmental organization for coffee its members represent 98% of world coffee production and 67% of consumption when was this organization set up so it was set up in 1963 theek okay? hai and uh, since you are ard student so you must be knowing about the different varieties of coffees about the world coffee day and etc etc so all such facts should be on your tip one district one product initiative focuses on promoting one unique product from each district fostering balanced regional development which ministry has launched the one district one product wall at saras ajivika store in new delhi to promote indigenous craft and artisans of india so here guys ministry of commerce is the right answer because ondc is the platform of not ondc sorry although what i was saying is also right ondc is the platform for uh, platform of the ministry of commerce and industry as far as this odop is concerned so it is again about the commerce it is about the trade so ministry of commerce and industry would be a part then ministry of rural development would also be a part of this because saras is an initiative of the ministry of rural development only in order to provide a platform for the products of the rural women artisans theek hai abhay kumar deputy director general of iccr has launched his new book monsoon a poem of love and longing 
ICCR is an autonomous organization of the government of India involved in India's global cultural relations. It was founded in the founded by the first education minister of independent India in the year dash. So here 1950 is the right answer. And right now we are doing the questions of the month of August. Okay. So don't feel like the news of the month previous months are repeated in October. No, we are covering August month right now. Okay. Indian Army has secured a patent from <clears throat> an accident prevention system based on artificial intelligence which is developed within the Army's research and de de uh, development division. The system will save lives by alerting drivers from falling asleep and reducing accidents by caused by drowsiness. How long is a patent valid in India from the date of filing the patent application? So a patent is valid for 20 years. Okay. Indian Banks Association has recently constituted a sectoral committee to frame the unique la regulatory landscape for 26 member banks operating within the Gujarat International Finance Tech City. IBA was formed for the development and coordination and strengthening of the Indian banking. In which year was the IBA formed? So it was formed in 1946. 12th August is celebrated as International Youth Day. Every year since 2000, after its adoption by the UNG in 1999, to draw worldwide focus towards various issues surrounding the youth. What is the theme of the year 2023? So, the theme is Green Skills for the Youth Towards a Sustainable World. Tata backed airline. Air India has unveiled its new logo, replacing the previous wheel of Konar. The new logo symbol, the Vista, is inspired by the peak of the golden window frame, signifying limitless possibilities, progressiveness, and the airline's bold, confident outlook for the future. In which year the government of India passed the Air Corporations Act and purchased a majority stake in the carrier from Tata Sons through the through its uh, though it's from its founder J R D Tata. So, what is the right answer? So the right answer is 1953. From in the year 1953, Air Corporations Act was passed, and the government of India took a majority share from JRD Tata uh, in this Air India. Okay. Garden Research Shipbuilders Engineers Limited (GRSC) is a PSU under the Ministry of Defence. Has launched nirakshi that is i in the water this is india's first of its kind indigenous autonomous underwater vehicle developed through a collaboration between kolkata based warship maker that is grsc which is based in kolkata and an msme entity and which entity is this it is guys aerospace engineering private limited so roscosmos has recently launched the Luna 25 mission, which was a failure as well uh, from uh, this Cosmodrome on Soyuz rocket. So this is Russia's first lunar landing mission since 1976. The launch comes a month later since India has launched its third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3, who is the project director of Chandrayaan-3. Okay, so the project director of Chandrayaan-3 is T. Vira Muthuvil. The aspiration, uh, aspirational district program aims to expeditiously improve the socio-economic status of 112 districts through cooperative and competitive federalism. It focuses on the strengths of each district and prioritizes the attainable outcomes for immediate improvement. The objective is to rapidly transform districts that have shown relatively less progress in key social areas. Remember, delta rankings are also released by Niti Aayog in order to measure the performance of the aspirational district, okay? And have emerged as pockets of underdevelopment, thereby posing a challenge to balance regional development. Which district of Haryana has secured the second rank in Niti Aayog's Delta ranking among the ADP? Now it is guys, no district and you all must be knowing that no was in the news very much, okay? From August 11 to 21, the world will witness a convergence of naval power as India's indigenous frontline warship will team up with counterparts from US Navy, Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force and the esteemed Royal Australian Navy. The Malabar series of maritime exercises which started in 1992 
as the joint venture between Indian Navy and the US Navy has evolved as a symbol of cooperative maritime security. Name the Indian warships participating in Malabar 2023. So here, INS Calcutta and Sahyadri are participating in Malabar 2023. LNT and its Green Hydrogen Joint Initiative partners, that is, Indian Oil and Renew Partner Power, have announced to invest USD 4 billion in the green hydrogen business over the next 3 to 5 years. Green hydrogen. Uh, can be produced through electrolysis of water using renewable energy. Uh, okay, so how many million tons of green hydrogen does India aim to produce by 2030? And this is a target under the National Green Hydrogen Mission, right? So it is 5 million metric tons of green hydrogen. Biofuels are renewable energy sources derived from organic materials, etc., etc. World Biofuel Day highlights the significance of sustainable biofuels in promoting energy security and reducing carbon footprint. This day underscores the importance of harnessing organic resources for cleaner and more sustainable energy solutions. When is the day observed? So this day is observed on August 10th. Port Rashid stands as a symbol of city's maritime heritage and modern growth. Located in a Middle Eastern country, it epitomizes a fusion of maritime legacy and contemporary progress, fostering international commerce and travel through its advanced infrastructure and strategic importance. Identify the country. So the country is UAE. Okay, Port Rashid is a very important port in UAE. So basically, guys, Central Goods. Services Tax Amendment Bill 2023 has been uh, introduced and as per this bill, the GST levied on online gaming platforms, horse uh, racing clubs and casinos will be 28%. DPIIT has collaborated with Ministry of Rural Development for the One District, One Product program. This strategic collaboration was unveiled with the inauguration of ODOP wall at Sarasajivika store in New Delhi. Okay. Sarasajivika is an initiative of the Deen Dayal and Todia Ministry. Deen Dayal and Todia National Rural Livelihood Mission under the Ministry of Rural Development. Considering the above paragraph, identify the incorrect statement with regards to the ODOP initiative. So here you have the different statements. What is the right? Which one is the incorrect statement? You have to identify. So, first statement says it may it aims to make India and its people self-reliance by fostering balanced regional development across all districts of the country. Obviously, when we are focusing on each and every district and the speciality of that district, the economy will flourish of that uh, district. So, regional disparity will fall down. So, this is a correct thing. It will create a special marketplace for well-crafted products of women artisans and self-help groups. This seems to be a dicey statement. It encompasses various sectors including handlooms and handicrafts. So this is a correct statement and this is not a correct statement. Why? Because ODOP does not focus specifically on the women artisans. Okay, ODOP is basically a replacement of the e-commerce platforms like Flipkart, like Amazon, right? So this statement is well fitted for the Saras initiative and not for the ODOP. So hence this statement is wrong. Option B is the correct one. Who chairs the 19 member committee of the National Council of Educational Research and Training, which has been formed to formulate new textbooks for grade E212 in conjunction with the national education policy? This new committee will be called as the National Syllabus and Teaching Learning Material Committee, NSTC. What is the right answer? Who is the chair of this NSTC? So, MC Pat is the chair of this committee. Ministry of Railways has recently announced to establish the Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushadi Kendras at some of the railway stations. Dash stations have been identified for the pilot phase. Under the scheme, these uh, Kendras would be deemed as desired passenger amenity. These uh, Kendras will be set up and operated by licensees at locations identified by the uh, railway division. Okay. Like we have on the railway station, suppose this is a railway platform and here you have a small grocery shop, grocery, uh, shop 
you have a tea stall so all of these are the licensees which pay a license fee to the railway board in lieu of the place that they are occupying for their business similarly the janashadi pradhan pradhan mantri janashadi kendra would function like the same uh, as the tea stall or any other commercial place okay but the difference is that it is uh, the government owned kendra stalls will be provided by e auctioning as with re respective railway divisions through ire ps these stalls will be designed by dash so there would be a particular designer of the stalls as well designer as in the outlay of the uh, store would be designed okay architecture so uh, 50 railway stations have been chosen and nid national institute of design in ahmedabad has been chosen as a design maker for the pradhan mantri jan aushadhi kendra to be located in the railway stations international youth day observed on august 12 uh, <coughs> uh celebrates the potential and vitality of the youth people worldwide what is the theme of this day in 2023 so the theme is green skills for youth towards a sustainable world and this question is a repeated question okay. pm gati shakti is india's national master plan which focuses on optimizing resource utilization and reducing transportation cost for sustained development the plan uh, sorry the plan consists of a three tier institutional arrangement of which dash has been given the power to approve the infrastructure project entailing an investment of over 500 crore so here network planning group so there would be three levels in this particular uh, pm gati shakti national master plan theek hai and at these three levels there would be one nat network public group which will approve the project and the project investment should be of rupees 500 crore recently the zoological survey of india has celebrated its foundation day during the three day celebration event the, the zoological survey of india signed three mo two mous were signed with iit jodhpur and the uh, university of burdwan west bengal one mou was signed with dash which aims to conduct the population assessment of the red panda to a non invasive me method in the other country basically it's a country so which country is it it is guys bhutan theek hai so india and bhutan are going to assess the population of red panda okay so zoological survey of india as we saw that it has celebrated its foundation day when was the organization created so it was created on july 1st 1916 if anybody of you was going uh, was thinking of going with option a because it's the month of august and we are doing the august current affairs so please don't make such a mistake whenever there are days you have to remember their dates theek hai acche se remember karo dates and their themes name the company that has recently signed an mou with rec limited and power finance corporation limited to receive 9120 crore for funding wind transmission and advanced metering projects in india so here upper upper energy private limited is the right answer lithium ion batteries have changed the way products are designed in modern times realizing its importance a state government has signed an mou with us based uh international uh international aid agency okay yeah. us aid international development agency uh to set up 8000 crore recyclable lithium ion battery unit in the state which state is it it is guys karnataka so with us aid theek okay? hai agency for international development theek okay? hai uh an mou has been signed by karnataka theek okay, hai for the lithium ion batteries the government has introduced a new category of ayush visa for foreign nationals to give a major boost to the medical value travel in india according to the report the global wellness economy looking beyond covid by the global wellness institute the global wellness economy will grow at 9.9 percent annually. What is the estimated value by which the Ayush-based healthcare and wellness economy will grow by 2025? Okay, so here the growth rate has been given. The value has been asked from. So what is the value? 70 billion US dollars is the value. 
NHAI has launched a new app to improve user experience on highways and create a citizen centric unified mobile application. What is the name of the application? So the application's name is Raj Marg Yatra. India's purchasing, uh, purchasing Managers Index for Services has reached an impressive 13 year high of 62.3 in July after a 3 month low in June. This survey is compiled by which of the following? So guys, it is compiled by S&P Global. Now do pay attention to this fact that such indexes are released monthly. So you don't have to remember their data. You don't have to remember this digit. Okay? But yes, it is the 13 year high. So please pay attention to this thing. Because July high. So that is why it is important. Otherwise, the data from such indices are not very important. They are not asked in the exam. But the background fact, the static fact related to it. For example, CPI, WPI are released for every month. But their basics which organization releases this, what is the base year, what is the weightage of different components, how many items are used for calculating CPI and WPI, all such facts can be asked. Which state government has launched the Department of Forest and Environments? Amrit Briksha Andolan web portal <laughs> and mobile to make a significant impact on the state green economy by planting a total of 1 crore commercial, commercially viable saplings across the state. So here guys, Assam is the right answer. Briksha, se hi aap thoda sa samaj jau ki West Bengal ki side hai and it is not West Bengal but Assam. Okay, so over the decades, the ecological and carbon footprint of humans has gradually increased. All, all while Earth's biocapacity, that is its ability to regenerate resources has diminished significantly. This has led to earth overshoot day arriving earlier and earlier, moving from December 13, 1970 to August 2 this year, which organization calculates the earth overshoot day. That is the day on which the earth's regenerative capacity is superseded by the emissions, the carbon footprint. So here Global Footprint Network is the organization and it's very easy to remember now because you have now known the basic idea why do we calculate and how do we calculate the earth overshoot. Grandmaster Vishwanathan Anand has been India's top ranked chess player in the live world rankings for last many years. So, in the month of August, he was defeated by a 17-year-old uh, chess player and he is also from India. So, who is that? It is D. Gukesh. Which bank has recently partnered with Government of Odisha to support the payment solutions for Odisha Tourism Development Corporation Limited? So, Bandhan Bank, guys, is the right answer. Name the company that has recently collaborated with CSE, Common Service Centers. Academy to provide the digital and financial literacies, literacy to the weak and underprivileged sectors uh, segments of the society. Now do remember the CSEs are established under the uh, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. I think I have written, I hope I have written the short, uh, short form correctly. So PayU India is the right answer. Eight South American countries have joined hands to address the critical issue of deforestation in the Amazon rainforest at the Amazon Cooperation Treaty Organization Summit. Hosted by Brazil, these forests host unparalleled biodiversity harboring around 10% of Earth's known species. It constitutes over half of the world's remaining tropical rainforest, which of the country is not a part of the ACTO. So here guys, Argentina is not a part of this uh, ACTO because all these countries have uh, Amazon rainforest okay, in their areas. Okay. 31st World University Games were recently held in Chengdu, China, where India has won a total of 26 medals across four, four disciplines with highest medal count at the World University Games. 
मैनी ऑफ दी एथलीट्स हु वन दी मेडल्स कम फ्रॉम दी खेलो इंडिया स्कीम एंड टारगेट ओलंपिक पोडियम स्कीम वेन वेयर विल द नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड यूनिवर्सिटी गेम्स बी हेल्ड इन ट्वेंटी सो इट विल बी हेल्ड इन जॉम हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट इज प्लानिंग टू बिल्ड अ डैम ऑफ 4.5 किलोमीटर अपस्ट्रीम फ्रॉम द डैश बैरेज इन यमुनानगर डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो यू हैव टू नेम द बैरेज सो हथनी कुंड बैरेज इज द राइट आंसर एंड दिल्ली वाज रिसेंटली फ्लडेड राइट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू रिमेंबर एंड व्हेन दिल्ली वाज फ्लडेड द वाटर वाज रिलीज फ्रॉम द हथनी कुंड बैरेज ओनली ओके सो रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ द हथनी कुंड बैरेज एंड द स्टेट इन व्हिच इट इज लोकेटेड मैक्सिकन स्टेट न्यूवो लियोन has signed an mou for investment in tourism infrastructure pharma and medical sectors with an indian state which is that state so it is uttar pradesh kuldeep yadav has become the fastest indian to pick 50 wickets in t20 international previously yuzvendra chahal was the fastest indian who picked 50 t20 i wickets in 34 matches sri lanka's ajanta mendes Holds the record for picking 50 wickets in 2016-20s. In how many matches Kuldeep Yadav has achieved this feat? So in 30 matches, he has become the fastest Indian uh, bowler to pick 50 wickets in 30 matches. Okay. The Quit India movement, also known as the August Movement or Bharat Chhodo Andolan, was a significant civil disobedience movement launched by Mahatma Gandhi on 8th August 1942 with the aim to and british colonial rule in india and achieve full independence kampun swaraj this year marks the 81st anniversary of the quit india movement a famous slogan do or die was given by mahatma gandhi who coined this term okay so here yusuf mehrali mehrali is the right answer india's defense ministry has adopted maya os for enhanced cyber security okay so the name of the operating system is maya the ministry has decided to replace the microsoft operating system on internet uh, connected computers with a new os called maya developed locally based on open source dash name the open source so here guys abantu is the right answer okay The World Trade Statistical Review 2023 provides a detailed analysis of latest developments in world trade. This WTO's flagship statistical publication, released on an annual basis, provides data on merchandise and services trade. Uh, categorized by uh, geographical origin, product groups, and sector, India ranks dash among the exporters in the world merchandise trade. So here India ranks 18th among the exporters and 9th among the importers in this World Statistical Trade Review. <coughs> Interpol Global, sorry, uh, Interpol Global Academy Network launched in 2019 is. Aimed at supporting academic collaboration among different law enforcement training institutions across the world, CBI Academy has recently become a member of the IGAN. How many members are there in this network now after India has joined? So now the network has a total of ten members. Interpol is the intergovernmental police, and it is headquartered in Lyon, France. Okay. So guys, your spotlight session is. completed now i have covered your months of september october and august the important questions that i uh, found i have put in this slide now the next set, set of 250 questions will be covered by manish sir and those questions belong to your esi section so there was one person who was saying that my statics are not clear i haven't touched the esi statics so please pay attention to the remaining 250 questions as well because they will help you a lot in your nabard upcoming examination so see you guys i hope all of you would do good in your examination all the best to uh, for your upcoming exam prepare hard don't take stress because stress lene se kuch nahi hoga right now guys i am going to give you a break of 20 minutes after that manish sir is going to take over the session and you guys will cover remaining uh, 250 questions I hope everything is good till now. Okay, there is no confusion or anything.
so So guys, take a break if you want to have your lunch, if you want to have your uh, breakfast, whatever you want to do. If you want to stroll, if you want to rest, do whatever you want to do. You have 20 minutes, right?
हाँ जी सो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन सो प्लीज कम बैक सो दैट वी कैन स्टार्ट दी क्लास प्लीज गिव मे थम्स अप इफ एवरी थिंग इज फाइन इफ एवरी थिंग इज क्लियर देन वी विल रिज्यूम दिस क्लास आई होप यू गाइज एंजॉय द जी ए मैराथन एंड नाउ इज द टाइम फॉर ई एस आई मैराथन राइट सो टोटल फाइव हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्रॉम बोथ जी ए एंड ई एस आई and i should not tell you that how much important this class is right to kafi zyada important hai i hope aap sab ko pata hai and as uh, neha ma'am conducted this will be a quick fire round because we are not here to waste your time theek hai ji aapka time waste karne ke liye hum yahan pe nahi baithe hain ek second Yes, I think it is working fine now. So please give me a thumbs up if uh, everything is fine. If you guys can see me properly and can hear me properly, there was an internet connectivity issue. That's why there was the video was stuck. But now it is absolutely fine. Please give me a thumbs up if everything is clear to you. <coughs> Come on, guys, jaldi se bata do that. Uh, you guys can see me and hear me properly then we will resume this class okay i think it's it's good to go now let me check on my phone as well all right it's fine now so let's start with it and let's uh, do the two another 250 questions from esi and let me explain you uh, what type of questions will be there so the questions will be from all the areas of esi from indices and reports from annual surveys from government schemes from pib and from the static right every dimension of the esi will be covered through these 250 questions and let me again explain you this this will be a quick fire round you guys just have to uh, i will throw questions in front of you and you guys have to answer all the questions right wherever required i will explain as well and the objective is to quickly revise everything uh, we are not here to waste your time uh, we are not i am not going to wait for your answers because that will definitely waste your time because youtube mein i don't know if you guys know it or not thoda sa lag chalta hai jab main bolunga to uske 10 second ke baad aapko dikha sunai dekhta hai to aise agar hum 10 10 second jodenge to bahut zyada ho jayega so we are not going to do that we are here just to just for your benefit right so let's start with it without any delay and let's talk about the question number 251 250 questions already uh, done already taught by neha ma'am and now it's time for esi and let's talk about the question number 251 so pehla question aapka static se aa jata hai ji the first question is from the static <clears throat> all right question number 251 one second let me just Take the pen. All right. The cognitive ability to develop skills and knowledge to enhance one's life is called what? 
so in health there are various types of health and uh, this this question is is you know based on the types of health so the what is the cognitive ability to develop skills and knowledge known as it is known as intellectual health of course you can easily uh, identify if you even if you haven't uh, read about this question you can easily identify through the options because here we are talking about cognitive ability right so cognitive ability cannot be from social emotional environmental and spiritual it can only related to the intellectual health so option b is the right answer ठीक है जी आगे चलते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर 252 मिशन ऑर्गेनिक वैल्यू चेन डेवलपमेंट फॉर नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन इज अ सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम एक्चुअली इट इज अ 100 परसेंट सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम सो इफ इन एग्जाम यू विल गेट सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम देन डोंट वरी देन डोंट वरी इट इज अ सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम बट पीआईबी में कभी कभी दे दे यूज दिस वर्ड सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड बट इट इज हंड्रेड सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड विच मीन इट इज अ Central sector scheme only, right? By concept, it is uh, central sector, but they also call it 100% centrally sponsored. I don't know why, but हाँ, ऐसा बोलते हैं ये लोग. ठीक है, वो थोड़ा सा उनका problem है. Question, all right. It is a submission under National Mission for Sustainable Agriculture. When was this mission launched? Right. So, Mission Organic Value Chain Development for North Eastern Region, as the name says, it is specifically for the North Eastern Region to develop. the organic farming right it was launched in the year 2015 16 by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare headed by narendra singh tomar option d is the right answer aage chalte hain question number 253 according to the nabad annual report 22 23 the performance of agriculture has been impressive in the last few years the estimated real agri gva of 22.3 lakh crores in rupees of course not in dollars In financial year 2023, accounted for how much percent of total GVA, which is 12.7 percent higher than the pre-pandemic level. So it is higher than the pre-pandemic level, and it is 15.1 percent. 15.1 percent of the total GVA. Very important question from Nabad, directly from Nabad's annual report. 15.1 percent is the right answer. Ministry of Education has launched an indigenous IT platform for hosting the massive open online courses, which in short is MOOCs. right in 2017 this platform aims to take the best teaching learning resources to all including the most disadvantaged what is the name of this platform very easy question it is swayam the name of the platform is swayam and swayam stands for study webs what is the full form study webs for active learning study webs for active learning for young aspiring minds that is the full form for young aspiring minds all right option d is the right answer to this question identify the poverty in which the income needed for consumption expenditure of a section is distinctively below the average income level of the society we are comparing the income of a person with the average income level of the society which means we are talking in relative terms and hence the answer is relative poverty what is absolute poverty when the person does not have the basic necessities of life like food shelter clothing then that person is identified as an absolute poor person option c in this case is the right answer niti aayog has released the third edition of export preparedness index for states and uts for the year 2022 consider the following toppers with their respective categories so you need to identify the incorrectly matched toppers so in terms of district it was not surat it was jamnagar it was jamnagar not surat in terms of uts and small state it was goa and not delhi in terms of overall category it was tamil nadu and then followed by maharashtra maharashtra was not at number 1 so these three are incorrect among himalayan state it was uttarakhand and among long land rock state it was haryana and that is why three pairs are incorrectly matched that's why the right answer is option c Rakesh is a daily wage laborer who recently got to know about the X government bank life insurance scheme launched in the year 2015 the scheme is being implemented by ministry of finance see three hints are already there it is a life insurance scheme it was launched in 2015 it is being implemented by ministry of finance right he found that the scheme X aims to provide life insurance coverage of 2 lakhs for a one year uh, period at an affordable premium theek hai bhai ek aur hint char hint mil gaye and i think you guys can easily identify which scheme is this it is pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana kaun si hai bhai 
प्रधानमंत्री जीवन ज्योति बीमा योजना विच इज अ लाइफ इंश्योरेंस स्कीम लॉन्च इन 2015 बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस प्रीमियम पूछा है द राइट आंसर इज 436 वेरी रिसेंटली द प्रीमियम ऑफ पीएम जीवन ज्योति बीमा योजना एंड सुरक्षा बीमा योजना बोथ वर इंक्रीज्ड फॉर जीवन ज्योति बीमा योजना इट इज 436 फॉर सुरक्षा बीमा योजना इट इज रुपीस 20 ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर इंटरनेशनल एनर्जी एजेंसी इन कोलैबोरेशन विद पेट्रोलियम प्लानिंग एंड एनालिसिस सेल हैज लॉन्च्ड the oil 2023 medium term market report which is titled as indian Ener international energy agency oil 2023 supply and demand dynamics to 2028 right according to it the growth of global oil demand is set to slow down almost coming to a halt by 2028 but at the same time around 3 quarters of this period 22 to 28 oil demand increase will come from asia With India surpassing China, this is very important point from this report. India will surpass China as the main source of growth by the year 2027. Right? Option A is the right answer. 2027 तक we will surpass China as the main source of growth. Where will India for the first time host Global Food Regulator Summit 2023 as a G20 event to bring focus on the crucial aspect of food safety? It was conducted in the capital New Delhi and a new a global regulator platform sangrah named as sangrah was launched new delhi is the right answer ministry of education has launched ullas which stands for understanding life Le lifelong learning for all in society initiative and ullas mobile app on the sidelines of akil bharatiya shiksha samagam 2023 it will impart basic education digital and financial literacy and critical life skills to the citizens who are aged 15 years and above 15 years and above and who have lost an opportunity to go to the school 15 years is the right answer and it is a part of new india literacy program of course new india literacy program ka hi ye part hai theek hai pli scheme national program on advanced chemistry cell battery storage aims to achieve manufacturing capacity of 50 gigawatt hour of acc that is advanced chemistry cell and 5 gigawatt hour of niche acc it was launched by the minister of heavy industries in the year 2021 with a total outlay of 18100 crore 18100 crore ka iska outlay tha and that is why the right answer is option e 2021 18100 crore there are three well defined stages of population growth in all countries around the world which of the following statements is correct with respect to the stages of demographic transition so if i talk about the stages of demographic transition so in stage 1 There is high birth rate and high death rate. In stage two, there is high birth rate and low death rate. Low death rate. While in stage three, there is low birth rate and low death rate. ठीक है जी? So let's identify the correct statement. Then stage one refers to high birth and low death. No. Stage two, low birth and high death. No. In fact, stage two refers to uh, stage two is the stage of high birth rate and low death rate. Stage three high birth high death rate no stage two high birth rate and high death rate ये भी नहीं है तो option E is the right answer stage three which is the low stage of low birth rate and low death rate option E is the right answer Ministry of Labour and Employment recently has extended the unemployment scheme Atal Bhimit Vyakti Kalyan Yojana which is an uh, you know insurance scheme for the insured insurance scheme for the insured right insured under ESIC scheme has been extended up to june 2024 this fact is very important you need to identify the incorrect statement about this scheme it provides relief in the form of cash compensation up to 180 days no pehla hi galat hai the cash compensation is provided up to 90 days to the insured persons who have become unemployed theek hai 90 din tak uh, unemployment allowance diya jata hai taki 90 din mein usko koi problem na ho aur 90 din mein bhi naukri nahi mil pa rahi hai to iska matlab gadbad hai bhai right? तो पहले ही इनकरेक्ट है दैट मींस ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स गाइस हैव बीन ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन पीआईबी मैराथन इन गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स मैराथन इन गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स क्लासेस सो टुडे इट विल बी अ क्विक फायर राउंड ओनली मेगा प्लांटेशन ड्राइव फॉर ऑयल पाम कल्टीवेशन हैज बीन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड अंडर नेशनल मिशन फॉर एडिबल ऑयल्स ऑयल पाम अक्रॉस इंडिया इन जुलाई एंड अगस्त 2023 टू फर्दर इंक्रीज द ऑयल पाम कल्टीवेशन इन द कंट्री नेशनल मिशन फॉर एडिबल ऑयल ऑयल पाम was launched in the year 2021 with an aim to increase oil palm production area to 10 lakh hectares to 10 lakh hectares 
and boost the crude palm oil production to 11.20 lakh tons. 11.20 lakh tons by the year 25-26. And therefore, the right answer is option B. Option B is the right answer. What is the name of India's one-stop platform developed by Niti Aayog to provide near real-time data on the energy sector, climate and related economic data sets based on government published sources? What is the name? Just, just the name has been asked. The name is India Climate Energy Dashboard and the objective of this dashboard is already mentioned in the question and which organization has launched it, it is also there. So, option E is the right answer. Top 5 agricultural exports exported from India in US dollar in correct order. In correct order are. Okay, top 5 hai, top pe sabse pehle aata hai, marine products. Marine products, then non-basmati rice aata hai, then sugar aata hai. Then it is basmati rice. And then last mein spices. Right? This is for the recent release of PIB. Okay, so what is the right answer then? Option C is the right answer. Alright? Difficult question hai, but aasakta hai. Which of the following targets is correct with respect to the National Health Policy 2017? Life expectancy at birth shall be increased to 80? No. 70 by 2025. Under 5 mortality shall be reduced to 23? Yes, it shall be reduced to 23 but not by 2030 but by 2025. Maternal mortality rate shall be reduced to 100 by 2025? Yes, it shall be reduced to 100 by 2020, not 2025. Achieve and maintain elimination status of leprosy, not by 2019, but by 2018. And that is why option E is the right answer, because that is the only correct statement here. Option E. Which of the following articles of the Constitution of India ensures participation of women in Panchayati Raj institutions by mandating not less than one third reservation for women out of total number of seats to be filled by direct election and number of offices of chairpersons of Panchayat? Women reservation basically, you have heard that the government has recently passed a bill to give reservation to women in Lok Sabha, Legislative Assemblies and Legislative Assembly of Delhi, right? But in Panchayats, there is already a provision of giving reservation to women in elections, right? So, which article mandates this reservation? It is Article Number 240D and it was mandated by 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act, alright? And why this question is there? Because Nabad has a tendency to ask questions from articles of the constitution related to the social issues. So, when Nabad ka notification came to Nabad, I told you all about it that you guys have to cover some chapters from, uh, uh, you know, from the point of view of articles like fundamental rights, fundamental duties, directive principles of state policies and Panchayati Raj. These four chapters you have to do. Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying has launched the first ever credit guarantee scheme for livestock sector under Animal Husbandry Infrastructure Development Fund. Now, can you tell me what is the corpus of Animal Husbandry Infrastructure Development Fund? Write down in the comment section. Okay, it aims to strengthen credit delivery system and facilitate smooth flow of credit to MSMEs engaged in livestock sector without hassles of collateral security. For operationalizing the scheme, Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying has established a credit guarantee fund trust of 750 crores. 750 crores ka fund trust banaya hai. Option A is the right answer. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is implementing Rashtri Kishore Swasthya Karikram. Okay. And which is a health program for adolescents which focuses on age groups 10 to 19 years with universal coverage. Which of the following are the focused areas of this health program? Difficult question but कुछ दिन पहले इन्होंने पीआईबी में जिक्र किया था इसका ठीक है ना बट इट इज अ डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन 15000 करोड़ है एनिमल हस्बेंडरी का आर यू श्योर गाइस व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर द फोकस्ड एरियाज ऑफ दिस हेल्थ प्रोग्राम ठीक है तो क्या-क्या फोकस्ड एरियाज है मैं बता देता हूं इंप्रूव सेक्सुअल एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ हायर एजुकेशन एनरोलमेंट नहीं है मेंटल हेल्थ सब्सटेंस मिसयूज एंड इंप्रूव न्यूट्रिशन 1 3 4 एंड 5 इज द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन सी Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizers is converting retail fertilizer shop into PM Kisan Samriddhi Kendras in a phased manner. How many PM Kisan Samriddhi Kendras were dedicated recently to the country by Prime Minister Modi? 1,25,000 is the right answer. 1,25,000. According to the State of Forest Report 2021, what is the percentage of forest cover of the total geographical area of the country? Only forest cover has been asked. 
it is 21.71 when the trees are combined it is 24.62 only forest it is 2 uh, 21.71 dpiit has recently organized logistic data bank project meeting to review the measures taken by port authorities to improve port performance ldb project aims to make india's logistic sector more efficient through use of it it is a joint effort of india and which country india and japan are implementing this project india and japan are implementing this project option c is the right answer consider the following statements with respect to agriculture census 2015-16 because abhi 2015-16 hi hai iska agle wale ka data collection abhi chal raha hai for 21-22 for 21-22 agriculture census the data collection is going on uh, so we need to rely on the data of 2015-16 the total number of operational holdings has decreased from this to this. No, it has in fact increased from 138 million hectares to 146 million hectares. So this is incorrect. Uttar Pradesh has the highest number of operational holdings. Yes. The percentage of female operational holders has increased from this in 2010-11 to 13.87 in 2015-16. This is correct. So incorrect only one is the right answer option B. ठीक है करेक्ट और इनकरेक्ट याद रखना कि क्या निकालना है अकॉर्डिंग टू नाफी सर्वे व्हाट वाज द एवरेज एग्रीकल्चर हाउस होल्ड इनकम पर मंथ इन द ईयर 2016-17 नाफी सर्वे 2016-17 के बाद आया ही नहीं है सो दिस इज द लेटेस्ट वन ओनली एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस सर्वे इट वाज 8931 द एवरेज एग्रीकल्चर हाउस होल्ड इनकम वाज 8931 इन 2016-17 Niti Aayog has released the National Multinational Poverty Index Progress Review 2023. Which of the following statements are incorrect about the findings? India has registered significant decline in the number of India's multidimensionally poor from 24.85% to 14.96%. This is absolutely correct. Urban areas have witnessed fastest decline in poverty. No, in fact, it is the rural areas which have witnessed the fastest decline. So, rural areas saw reduction in poverty. From this to this, this is the these are the percentages of urban areas, while these are the percentages of rural areas. Yeah, so these two are incorrect. Bihar has registered larger decline in number of poor with 3.4 crore people escaping multidimensional poverty. It's not Bihar, but it is it's Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh has registered the largest decline. But if anyone asks you that which state has the highest number of multidimensionally poor, in that case the answer would be Bihar. Okay, what about the lowest? It is Kerala. India's intensity of poverty has reduced from this to this between this period. Yes, this is correct. So, 1 and 5 are correct, but we need to identify the incorrect statement. 2, 3 and 4 will be the right answer. Option C. Central sector scheme for formation and product promotion of 10,000 FPOs aims to enhance economic strength and market linkages of farmers for enhancing their income. 10,000 FPOs will be established and promoted. It was launched by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare in the year 2020 with a total outlay of 6865 crores till financial year 2027-28. Option E will be the right answer to this question. PM Gram Sadaq Yojana, the third edition, was launched in 2019 with an aim to consolidate 1,25,000 kilometers through routes and major. Uh, rural links connection habita habitations to Grameen agricultural markets, higher secondary school and hospital with an estimated cost of 80,000 to 50 crores. Uh, till when the projects will be completed under the third edition of Gram Sadak Yojana, 2025. So various projects have been recently extended like Smart Cities Mission, June 2025, Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana, 2024, Gram Sadak Yojana, uh, 2025. So please do not get confused here. Option C is the right answer. With respect to sex ratio in India, you need to identify the correct statement. As per census 2011, there are 940 females per 1000 males. Yes. Correct. In states like Kerala and Puducherry, number of women is more than men. Yes, this is the right answer. Due to equal gender relations, North Indian states have lower sex ratio than Southern states. They go. North Indian states mein lower sex ratio to hai, but that is not due to equal gender relation. Very easy question actually. So, 1 and 2 is the right answer, option B. The second Narsimhan committee was set up uh, by the then finance minister in 1997 to review the banking reforms of 1992. Which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to the recommendations of Narsimhan committee? 
ठीक है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन द कमिटी रिकमेंडेड फॉर मर्जर ऑफ लार्ज इंडियन बैंक टू मेक दम स्ट्रॉग इनफ फॉर सपोर्टिंग इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड दिस इज करेक्ट नैरोइंग बैंकिंग वॉज अलाउड टू पार्क फंड बैंक फंड इन शॉर्ट टर्म एंड रिस्क फ्री एसेट्स दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट लेस ऑटोनॉमी आर मोर कंट्रोल ओवर पी एस बी इज नो एक्चुअली द नरसिम्हन कमिटी रिकमेंडेड टू रिड्यूस दी ऑटोनॉमी एंड कंट्रोल फ्रॉम द पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक टू इंक्रीज देयर एफिशियंसी राइट सो दिस इज इन करेक्ट विच मीन ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन How many microsites projects have been launched by National Health Authority under Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission to promote digital health adoption and to make health care more accessible to all? So it is hundred. Uh, so microsites project will be made. Hundred and the very first microsite has been established, has been opened in Mizoram. PM Awas Yojana Urban was launched in 2015 with an objective to provide pakka houses. to all the eligible households in urban areas by 2022 the duration of, of this scheme has been extended till 2024 i just told you option b ministry of social justice and empowerment launched smile scheme which is support for marginalized individuals for livelihood and enterprise with an aim to provide welfare measures to the transgender community and the people who are engaged in the act of begging it has two sub schemes one is for transgender and one is for beggars Which of the following are the components under transgender sub scheme? कौन कौन से component है transgender sub scheme में? Scholarship will be provided to the students from class ninth till PG. Yes. Convergence with Pradhan Mantri Jan Aarogya Yojana and giving them the health insurance. Monthly pension of three thousand. No. Monthly pension will not be provided. There is no such provision. Housing in the form of Gari Magra. Yes. And skill development and livelihood under PM Daksh. ये भी ठीक है. So one, two, four, and five will be the right answer. Option C. One, two, four, and five. The premature withdrawal of children at any stage in primary classes before completion of an education cycle. So if a children prematurely withdraws at any stage in primary classes before completion of an educational cycle is known as educational wastage. Then there are two other terms: educational relevance and stagnation. Educational relevance. is the is defined you know when when we have studied something and that is that has some significance right that is known as educational relevance and what is educational stagnation when when a child repeats one class twice right then that is known as twice or more when a child remain more than a year in a class then that is known as educational stagnation here the right answer is option b Which of the following is the cause of stagflation according to supply shock theory? All right, stagflation occurs. I will tell you. Stagflation occurs when there, when the economy is facing a sudden increase or decrease in the supply of commodity or a service. Okay, stagflation means what? When there is a sudden increase or a sudden decrease in the supply of commodity or service, right? And uh, the definition is there in option D. Stagflation occurs when a when economy. Faces a sudden increase or decrease in the supply of a commodity or service. D is the right answer. PM Swanidhi scheme is a special micro credit facility launched in 2020 by uh, Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs, headed by H S Puri, Hardeep Singh Puri, who is also the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas. For providing affordable loans to street vendors, it facilitates free uh, collateral, free working capital loans up to rupees 10,000 in first instalment. And on the repayment of ten thousand, uh, the the beneficiary becomes eligible for second instalment of twenty thousand, and after this, he or she becomes eligible for fifty thousand. Okay, for one year tenure, एक साल के लिए दिए जाते हैं दस हजार पे, and interest subsidy of seven percent is provided. Okay, option A will be the right answer. Option A. What is the total livestock population in the country as per the twentieth livestock census? Important question. Is, as per this census, the total livestock population is five thirty five point seven eight million. Five thirty five point seven eight million is the right answer. Kishori Shakti Yojana is being implemented by Ministry of Women and Child Development, headed by Smriti Rani, with an objective to improve the nutritional health and development status of adolescent girls. Promote awareness of health, hygiene, nutrition, and family care. Link them to opportunities for learning life skills, going back to schools. Help them gain a better understanding of their social environment. 
it seeks to empower adolescent girls in the age group of 11 to 18 years when we are talking about adolescent so the uh, adolescent age group according to the ministry of health and family welfare among girls is 11 to 18 and the right answer therefore is option d which of the following articles of the constitution of india prohibits traffic in human beggings beggar or forced labor and other similar forms of forced labor direct from the fundamental rights it is article number 23 which prohibits all kinds of forced labor in the country pradhan mantri shram yogi mandan is a government schemes meant for old age protection and social security of unorganized workers which of the following is are not the eligibility criteria to avail benefits of this scheme so criteria ka bas do criteria hai minimum age should be 18 years maximum age should be 40 years and income should be 15000 or less 15000 or less so this is correct this is incorrect and this is incorrect not pucha hai so b and c is the right answer option e किसको बोल रहे हो भाई 11 क्वेश्चन किसके गलत हो गए सूरज चलो आगे चले 291 पे आइडेंटिफाई इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट रिसेंटली अप्रेज्ड स्कीम फॉर क्रिटिकल केयर एंड सपोर्ट फॉर एक्सेसिंग जस्टिस टू रेप गैंग सर्वाइवर्स एंड माइनर गर्ल्स हु गेट प्रेग्नेंट दिस स्कीम इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट राइट इट हैज बीन रिसेंटली लॉन्च्ड टू प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट एंड असिस्टेंस टू प्रेग्नेंट माइनर विक्टिम्स ऑफ सेक्सुअल असॉल्ट who have no family support or who do not want to go back to the family okay this is correct any girl below 18 years of age who is a victim of the relevant sections of poxo act and ipc are the beneficiary abtk it is mandatory for the girl child to have a copy of fir no it is not mandatory how you know kitna buri hogi ye baat ki kisi aise victim se fir ki copy mangi jayegi isse puri baat koi ho hi nahi sakti is duniya mein राइट तो सरकारें इतनी सेंसिटिव तो होती ही हैं इसलिए इट इज नॉट मैंडेटरी फॉर द गर्ल चाइल्ड विक्टिम टू हैव अ कॉपी ऑफ एफआईआर ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू मिलेट प्रोटेक्शन इन इंडिया एज पर नबार्ड एनुअल रिपोर्ट एंड यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इंडिया इज द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ मिलेट्स इन द वर्ल्ड आफ्टर चाइना इनफैक्ट इंडिया इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ मिलेट्स इन द वर्ल्ड फॉलोड बाय चाइना चाइना इज एट द नंबर सेकंड पोजीशन In India, millets are primarily a kharif crop, mostly grown in rain-fed conditions, demanding less water and agricultural inputs other than staple crops. Bilkul sahi baat hai. The maximum area under millet cultivation is in Rajasthan. And India is among the top three exporters. Nahi hai. India is among the top five exporters. Hai. India is among the top five exporters of the millets in the world. So this is incorrect. So correct batana hai. Two and three is the right answer. Option C. Option C. According to the fourth India, fourth all India handloom census, four states of India account for 18 lakhs of all weaver households in the country. Which of the following states has the highest number of weaver households in the country? Very important question. It is Assam. Assam has the highest number of weaver households in the country. Which of the following schemes is our, uh, the component of central sector scheme? Khadi and Gramodog Vikas Yojana being implemented by KVIC. The scheme has three components, Gramodyog Vikas Yojana, Khadi Vikas Yojana and Khadi Grant. A, B and C is the right answer. Schedule M of Drugs and Cosmetic Act of 1940 will soon be made compulsory for MSME pharma companies. What does Schedule M, Schedule M deal with? Schedule M kiske saar deal karta hai? So it deals with good manufacturing practices. Option B is the right answer. Identify incorrect statement about PM Pranam scheme which stands for PM program for restoration, awareness, generation, uh, nourishment and amelioration of mother earth. Okay. So let's identify the incorrect statement. It was announced in budget 23-24 for the promotion of alternative fertilizers and balanced use of chemical fertilizers. This is correct. It has a budgetary outlay of 368,000 crore. No, it in fact does not have any kind of outlay. This scheme will be implemented from the savings of fertilizer subsidy scheme. Fertilizer subsidy dene ke baad jo paisa bachega that will go to PM Pranam and that's why the right answer is option B. The term dash refers to a situation where the rate of tax on inputs purchased is more than the rate of tax on outward supplies. Inverted tax structure. Static question hai ye. Inverted tax structure is the right answer. Option A. 
50th meeting of the GST council has decided to uh, tax to you know tax casino horse racing and online gaming at the uniform rate of 28% to impose okay to impose a 28% GST on tax uh, decided to impose tax on casino horse racing and online gaming at the uniform rate of 28% is the right answer identify incorrect statement about fishery sector in india as per the recent pib release indian fishery sector has made record fish production of 162.48 lakh tons during the year 2122 yes this is correct inland fisheries and aquaculture production nearly doubled from this to this this is also correct average annual growth rate of fishery sector is around 9% fish is around 7% and uh, inland fisheries and aquaculture is around 9% this is also correct so d hona chahiye ya fir e hona chahiye fishery sector contributes around 5% to national gva it's not 5% it contributes to it contributes around 1% to national gva option d is the right answer dpit has launched the one district uh, one product awards on rashtri puraskar portal which of the following is are eligible for these awards so all states and uts district administration and indian mission abroad everyone uh every organization is eligible for this award given in the option that's why option e is the right answer national education policy 2020 envisages to achieve ger in higher education to 50% by the year 2035 a national higher education regulatory authority nera national higher higher education regulatory authority will be set up to regulate the higher education in the country NEP 2020 has targeted to spend how much percent of GDP? Six percent of GDP as public investment in education. Option D is the right answer, guys, to this question. Option D. Ministry of Textiles is implementing demand-driven and placement-oriented umbrella skilling program for scheme for capacity building in textile sector that is summers with an aim to incentivize and supplement the efforts of the industry in creating jobs in the organized textile and related sectors. it was launched in the year 2017 for the duration of 3 years but it has been recently extended till 2024 right so option e will be the right answer to this question option e very important question there are three distinct functions that operate through the fiscal policy of the government static ka question hai ye uh, which are allocation function distribution function and stabilization function you need to identify the incorrect statement the government takes on the responsibility of providing goods and services which cannot be provided by the private sector due to the lack of possibility of making any kind of profit from them is known as distribution function this is actually not distribution function this is the allocation function this is the allocation function and dhyan se bahut tentatively bahut bahut carefully attentively aapko sunna hai theek hai ji this is allocation function distribution function of the government reduces inequality within the society yes this one is incorrect this is correct how it reduces in inequality within the society because under distribution functions what government does is government uh, you know charge government charges the tax on the rich and with that money it gives subsidies to the poor right so it is taking money from the rich and it is giving uh, to the poor that is by creating a balance uh governments need to correct fluctuations in income employment prices inflation and it does through its stabilization function yes so incorrect badana only one is the right answer option e option e arrange the given five states in ascending order of forest cover area wise as per the state of forest report 2021 uh, ascending order mein lagana hai yes ascending order mein lagana matlab sabse kam wala sabse pehle So, इन सब में सबसे कम था महाराष्ट्र टॉप फाइव मैंने याद करने के लिए बोले थे हमेशा से महाराष्ट्र से ऊपर था उड़ीसा उड़ीसा के बाद था छत्तीसगढ़ छत्तीसगढ़ के बाद अरुणाचल प्रदेश एंड सबसे ज्यादा फॉरेस्ट कवर हमारे देश में एरिया वाइज है मध्य प्रदेश में एंड ऑप्शन ए दैट्स वाई इज द राइट आंसर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एरियाज आर बींग टारगेटेड फॉर कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव डेवलपमेंट ऑफ आइडेंटिफाइड वन हंड्रेड अंडर एस्पिरेशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्रोग्राम Which are the areas? Health and nutrition, है, education, है, skill development, है, financial inclusion, है, social inclusion जैसा कुछ नहीं है. Because when we are giving, when we are talking about health, nutrition, education, social inclusion is already there. ठीक है? One, two, three, and four is the right answer. 
from which Indian state first methanol consignment was flagged off to Bangladesh. It could be either Assam or West Bengal. In this case, it is Assam. Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment is implementing Atal Bayo Abhyudha Yojana. It is a revamped version of National Action Plan for Senior Citizens. We all have discussed the scheme a lot of times. Aimed at ensuring healthy, happy, empowered, dignified and self-reliant life to senior citizens along with strong social and intergovernmental bond, intergenerational bonding. When was this scheme launched? It was launched in the year 2021. Which of the following consequences of deficit financing is correct? Deficit financing whenever there is a deficit in budget. Whenever there is a deficit in budget, that deficit has to be fulfilled. And that fulfillment is known as what? Deficit financing. Okay? And that is uh, fulfilled through the borrowings only. Deficit financing leads to a decrease in demand. How it can lead to decrease in demand? When government borrows money, uh, then of course it will create, it will increase the money supply in the economy, which will increase the demand, which will turn, uh, which in turn leads to increase in the production. Okay? This is incorrect. Since government finances is deficit through loan, it leads to loss of employment. No. When the production is increasing, of course, the employment uh, will also be created. It leads to negative economic development. Aisa kuch bhi nahi hai. Hai? And borrowings from RBI raises the money supply in the economy, which results in rise in the general price level over a period of time. No, it's not like that. Uh, isse inflation itna zyada nahi aata hai. So this is partially in this is partially correct. Hai? Which results in rise in the general price level. Yes. Money supply abhi jaisa ki hua tha, right? Abhi recently yehi hua tha, RBI se paisa liya humne aur uh, COVID ke baad money supply bada di, jis se inflation aaj bhi chal raha hai utna zada. So this is correct, option D is the right answer. Urea gold has been introduced for the first time in the country to overcome the deficiency of which nutrient in the soil? It is sulfur. Sulfur is the right answer. Which of the following states has topped the ranking in terms of number of people Tilling the land as per the agricultural census 2015-16. Which state is it? This state in question is Uttar Pradesh. Option C is the right answer. RBI plays a key role in development process of the country. Which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to the role played by the RBI in the development process? Okay, the Reserve Bank's role has been to ensure a timely and adequate rural credit to various sectors like, like agriculture and housing. Yes. The Reserve Bank ensures the adequate availability of bank credit to the exporters, correct? RBI has issued guidelines to lend collateral free loans to the up to the amount as decided by RBI from time to time to the MSE borrowers. This is also correct. RBI has a direct role in credit creation. No. Here you have to look at the question very carefully. RBI does not have a direct role in the credit creation. The direct role is of the banks, not of the RBI. Okay. So this statement is incorrect and that's why option D is the right answer. Consider the following statements with respect to milk production according to basic animal husbandry statistics 2022 and you need to identify the correct statement. India ranks first in the world in the terms of total milk production. This is correct. Total milk production in country in 2022 was not 251.06, it was 221.06. So this is incorrect. Total milk producing state, oh, top milk producing state in 2022 was Uttar Pradesh. Every time it was Uttar Pradesh, but this time Rajasthan, Rajasthan is the leading one in 2022. And highest growth rate of milk production was shown by Sikkim. Yeh bilkul sahi baat hai. Correct nikalna hai, 1 and 4 will be the right answer. Option B. When was MSME innovative scheme launched by the Ministry of MSME? To help entrepreneurs in developing new ventures. MSME innovative scheme was very recently launched last year. Those are wise may launch you yet. The annual procurement through government e marketplace has surpassed 2 lakh crores in the previous financial year. First time since the launch, right? This portal was launched in the year 2016, as we all know, by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, right now headed by Piyush Goyal, who is also the leader in Rajya Sabha. Option B is the right answer. Okay. Which of the following commission set up by the government of India directed that the creamy layer should be excluded from the reservation quotas of civil post? A question from the social issues. But how will answer? Kya iska? Right. 
बताइए जी आंसर बताइए इसका जल्दी से है कोई बताने वाला चलो मैं बता देता हूं सत्यनाथन कमीशन इज द राइट आंसर कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू थैलेसीमिया बाल सेवा योजना इट वाज लॉन्च इन 2017 अंडर द नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन फॉर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द अंडर प्रिविलेज थैलेसीमिक पेशेंट करेक्ट इट इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर करेक्ट इट इज फंडेड बाय एनटीपीसी लिमिटेड एज पार्ट ऑफ इट्स सीएसआर इनिशिएटिव हेमाटोपेटिक स्टेम सेल ट्रांसप्लांट प्रोग्राम दिस सीएसआर इनिशिएटिव इज नॉट ऑफ एनटीपीसी बट ऑफ सीआईएल कोल इंडिया लिमिटेड दिस इज इनकरेक्ट सो करेक्ट बताना हमें ओनली वन एंड टू विल बी द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन डी वेर अ कंट्री ज्वाइन सी आई एम एफ इट इज एंसाइड एन इनिशियल कोटा अकॉर्डिंग टू इट्स रिलेटेड पोजिशन इन द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी इट डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अ कंट्री टू आई एम एफ फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कोटाज यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ओके कोटाज आर डिनोमिनेटेड इन एस डी आर एंड आर रिव्यूड एटलीस्ट आफ्टर एवरी टेन ईयर्स नो एटलीस्ट आफ्टर एवरी फाइव ईयर्स To calculate quota of a country, GDP of the member country has been given the maximum weightage. Yes, 50 percent का weightage मिलता है GDP को. Country with lowest quota is not Zambia. It was Tuvalu. It is Tuvalu. The lowest quota that is 0.001, and the highest quota is of USA around 17 point something, 43 I guess, and India का 2 point something है. A member's quota subscription determines the maximum amount of financial resources the member is obliged. to provide to the imf this is correct and this is in correct this is incorrect and this is correct all right to hame kya batana hai correct which means 2 and 4 will be the right answer option a 2 and 4 which of the following statements are incorrect about recently launched fifth round of the regional connectivity scheme udai desh ka aam nagrik udan 5.0 it focuses on category 2 That is 20 to 80 seats and category three. That is more than 80 seats. This is correct. It has waived off earlier stage length cap of 600 kilometer. Yes. It has capped VGF at 500 kilometer stage length. It is at 600 kilometer stage length. PIB में discuss किया था हमने ये. It only offers predetermined routes proposed by airlines. In fact, it 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 will not offer any kind of predetermined routes. and it will not award same route to a single airline more than once so 3 and 4 are incorrect which means option e will be the right answer 3 and 4 only which month long campaign has been launched by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare for banks under agriculture infrastructure fund a lot of times it has been discussed bharat campaign is the right answer that has been launched by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare With which organization has Ministry of Defence signed MOU for promoting the use of millets and healthy eating practices among the armed forces? Which organization is this? It is a not-for-profit organization known as Dhan. Dhan is the name of the organization. Not Dhan actually. It is FSSAI. FSSAI. Why Dhan? Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. Which of the following theories of social movement argues that a social movement is an aggregation of rational individual actors pursuing their self interest which of the following theories is it it is the question from static esi it is olson's theory olson's theory is the right answer which of the following findings of performance grading index for districts combined report for this and this year by ministry of education is incorrect theek hai incorrect batana hai now none of the districts secured top grades dakshin utkarsh yes करेक्ट है ये मोस्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स वर इन द बॉटम थ्री ग्रेड्स ये भी सही है नंबर ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स कैटेगराइज एज अति उत्तम हैज डिक्रीज फ्रॉम 121 टू 51 ये भी सही बात है एंड नंबर ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स कैटेगराइज एज प्रचेष्टा टू हैज डिक्रीज फ्रॉम 117 टू 86 दिस इज इनकरेक्ट बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स कैटेगराइज एज प्रचेष्टा टू एक्चुअली इट हैज बीन इंक्रीज्ड फ्रॉम 86 टू 117 सो दिस इज द राइट आंसर Which mission or scheme has been launched by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change on the occasion of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav to enable a society ownership approach for participatory conservation and wise use of wetlands? Which mission is this? It is Mission Sahibagita, very recently announced by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, headed by Bhupendra Yadav. 
Mangrove initiative for shoreline habitats and tangible incomes that is MISTI has been announced in budget 23-24. It envisages to comprehensively explore the possible area for development of mangroves covering approximately 540 square kilometers spreading across 11 states and 2 UTs. Initially they were saying 9 states and 2 UTs but as per the recent release it is 11 states and 2 UTs. Which of the following statements is incorrect about Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana? Very important scheme and it has been recently extended to give 75 lakh more connections to the beneficiaries. It was launched in 2016 to provide free uh, deposit free LPG connections to adult women of poor households. It is being implemented by Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. Sarasar Galat Baat hai ye. Sarasar Galat Baat hai bhai. It is being implemented by Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Option B is the right answer. Which of the following statements are correct about Nav Bharat Sakshartha Karikram or New India Literacy Program? It was launched in 2020. Pehle statement galat ho gaya. It was launched in 2022 to impart foundational literacy and numeracy. Right? With, with five components. It is being implemented by Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Is that so? No. It is being implemented by Ministry of Education. It targets all non literates of age 18 years and above. No. 15 years and above. Ye bhi incorrect hai. It will target 5 crore learners at 1 crore per year during its implementation period. Yes. And uh, the implementation period, do remember, 2022 to 2027. And these are the 5 components. This is also correct. So, we correct badana, 4 and 5 will be the right answer. Option E. Which of the following is are the examples of capital receipts? Debt marketing, market borrowings, recovery of loans, disinvestment proceeds, external borrowings, baki do nahi hai, interest receipts or dividend receipts, these are the examples of revenue receipt. Right? What are the other examples of capital receipts? External borrowings, external borrowings, and in terms of receipts, it is provident fund receipt. Provident fund receipts. 1, 2, and 3 is the right answer. Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizers is implementing the scheme of strengthening of pharmaceutical industry with a financial outlay of 500 crores for the tenure of financial year 22 to financial year 26. That is for the period of 15 Finance Commission. Option A will be the right answer. Which ministry or ministries has have launched Tomato Grand Challenge Hackathon to generate innovative ideas to enhance tomato value chain and ensure its availability at affordable prices. It was launched by two ministries, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and Education. And that is why the right answer is B and C. Agriculture ka isme koi kaam nahi tha. Which of the following articles of the Constitution of India mandates the state to promote educational and economic interest of SCs, STs and other weaker sections of the society and to protect them from social injustice and exploitation. And that is why the reservation policy is there. That is why the reservation policy is there. This article is from the Directive Principles of State Policy, which are the mandates given by the Constitution of India to the state governments to do, you know, to ensure welfare of the people. Option B46 is the right answer. Identify incorrect statement about Web Hub Fellowship Program that is Vaishnik Bharti Vajjanik. It has been launched by Ministry of Education. Pehla hi statement, pehli line galat hai. Web of Fellowship is being implemented by Ministry of Science and Technology. Okay? Option A is the correct answer to this question. Baki cheeze bhi padh lena, PDF mil jayegi telegram pe, not to worry about the PDF. With marked answers. Which portal has been launched by Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Daring uh, to expedite regulatory process for approval of animal drugs and vaccines? The name of the portal is Nandi Portal. Nandi portal. What is the full form of Nandi portal? Can anyone tell me? Write down in the comment section. Jaldi se likke batao. Nandi portal ki full form. Chalo, mein bata deta hu. NFC approval. NFC approval for new drug and inoculation system. NFC approval for new drug and inoculation system. Option B is the right answer. DGFT. Under Ministry of Commerce and Industry has simplified and liberalized the policy for export of drones or UAVs. 
which of the following categories of drones or uavs have been covered under it drones or uavs meant only for civilian end use it is there drones or uavs covered under specified categories in scomet no it is not there okay and drones or uavs capable of a range equal to or less than 25 km and delivering a payload of not less, more than 25 kg it is there one and three is the right answer option b maternal mortality rate measures number of women aged dash dying due to maternal causes 15 to 49 15 to 49 per 1 lakh live births option d is the right answer very easy question based on definition of mmr when was muskan scheme launched by the minister of health and family welfare to accelerate efforts towards reduction of preventable maternal mortality and morbidity by improving quality of care during the delivery and immediate postpartum period when was muskan scheme launched it was in news few months back and that's why this question is there it was launched in the year 2021 as per the annual report of nabad india's overall exports grew at 14.8% to 776.4 billion dollars in the previous financial year what was india's agricultural export in the previous financial year as per this report it was 52.5 billion dollars option e will be the right answer national land record modernization program was launched in 2008 it was revamped as digital india land records modernization program in 2016 as central sector scheme it aims to develop a modern comprehensive and transparent land record management system with the aim to develop an integrated lmis lims sorry which ministry or ministries is are implementing the scheme it is being implemented only by ministry of rural development ठीक है जी only by ministry of rural development a option is the right answer asia pacific plant protection commission workshop on systems approach for the management of fruit flies on mango has been held in navi mumbai maharashtra under which organization does a triple c uh, triple pc function it works under fao food and agricultural organization of united nation and this is located in headquarter in rome which is of course in italy which initiative has been launched during recently conducted g20 agriculture ministers meeting under india's g20 presidency to encourage the consumption and production of millets which initiative it was it was maha rishi initiative don't confuse between maha rishi and maharathi maha rishi is the right answer central government has decided to extend soft loans through banks up to 30 september 2023 under scheme for extending financial assistance to sugar mills for augmentation of ethanol production capacity under the scheme the central government extend financial assistance in the form of interest subvention at 6% per annum or 50% of the interest rate charged by banks whichever is lower okay so 6% comma 50% is the right answer dgci has approved indigenously developed omicron specific mrna based booster vaccine gemcovac oil for emergency use authorization under mission covid suraksha which ministry is implementing this scheme very easy it is ministry of science and technology because department of biotech is the nodal organization to take care of all the vaccine related stuff in the country and department of biotech works under the ministry of science and technology which variety of short grain winter aromatic rice cultivated in the northeastern region of india is effective in lowering the blood glucose and preventing diabetes onset and hence effective in diabetes management it is joha rice joha rice is the right answer which ministry has been awarded as a winner of kret vikret kret vikret means export import export import gorav samman samaro 2023 organized by gem in highest single bed procurements in the previous financial year it was ministry of health and family welfare okay ji ministry of health and family welfare which of the following statements is are incorrect about cdri which of the following statements is are incorrect about cdri that is coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure it was launched in 2019 by pm modi at united nation action climate summit correct it is the first major global initiative launched by india 
it is not the first isa of the already have international solar alliance it is headquartered in geneva no the headquarters are in new delhi india is providing financial support of 1000 crore over a period of 5 years this is correct and till date it comprises of the, it comprises 39 members uh, which includes 31 countries and six international organization and two private ones this is correct so 1 4 and 5 is the right answer okay but we need to identify the incorrect 2 and 3 2 and 3 will be the right answer all right ministry of power has come out with a comprehensive energy sector report titled national energy data survey and analysis 2122 it is the maiden report of energy data management unit set up by bee that is bureau of energy efficiency this report has been prepared by the bureau in collaboration with niti ayog in collaboration with niti ayog Ministry of Education has launched Nippon Bharat program in the year 2021 to cover the learning needs of children who are in the age group of 3 to 9 years. 3 to 9 years is the right answer. Option C. How many critical minerals have been identified in the recently released first ever report of the country on critical minerals for India prepared by the Ministry of Mines? How many critical minerals? So very important question it is 30 30 critical minerals have been identified as per the 20th livestock census which state has seen the highest raise highest rise of 15 percent in the cattle population very important question the highest rise uh, was seen in west bengal 15 percent west bengal is the right answer which of the following states has registered highest increase in forest cover as per the state of forest report 2021 it is andhra pradesh andhra pradesh is the right answer highest increase kis mein hua ye pucha hai highest cover to mp mein hai area wise wo nahi pucha hai andhra pradesh is the right answer the rangrajan committee for poverty estimation was set up by the government of india in 2012 it submitted its report in the year 2014 that's this committee used a method of calculating urban and rural poverty separately this committee estimated poverty on monthly expenditure of a family of five. According to this committee, persons spending below dash a day in cities and dash a day in villages are considered poor. 47 a day in cities and 32 a day in villages are considered poor. Right. So, 2014, 5, 47, 32, option B is the right answer. Okay, so we are done with 100 questions. Now, if you have any prop, if you guys are facing any issues then please tell me in the comment section otherwise we will continue it otherwise please give me a thumbs up if everything is fine if you guys are enjoying this session or if you are facing any issue please tell me बताओ भाई कोई इशू कोई समस्या कोई परेशानी कोई दिक्कत और नहीं है दिक्कत तो फिर आगे चले सौ तो क्वेश्चन हो चुके हैं मेरी तरफ से एक्चुअली टोटल हो गए थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन साढ़े तीन सौ क्वेश्चन हो चुके हैं गाइज इफ यू हैव एनी इशू प्लीज टेल मी अदरवाइज प्लीज गिव मी अ थम्स अप इफ यू गाइज आर इंजॉइंग दिस क्लास बताओ भाई जल्दी बताओ यार ठीक है जी आई थिंक सब बढ़िया है बाकी लोग भी बता दिए करो देखो पांच लोगों ने भेजा है मेरी शक्ल मत देखा करो ना बैठ के यार चलो स्टार्ट करते थ्री फिफ्टी वन आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ठीक है द स्टेटमेंट आर बेस्ड ऑन फिलिप कर फिलिप कर क्या है फिलिप कर हमें इन्फ्लेशन और अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट का इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप बताता है ठीक है इन्फ्लेशन और अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट का 
Philip Kerr says that there is an inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment. And therefore, the right answer is option E. ठीक है जी ऑप्शन ई इसका सही जवाब है द फिलिप कर्ज इज एन इकोनॉमिक कॉन्सेप्ट दैट विच स्टेट दैट इन्फ्लेशन एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट हैव एन इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप अकॉर्डिंग टू द आइडियल एज पिरामिड द परसेंटेज ऑफ पॉपुलेशन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ पर्सन ऑफ एज जीरो टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स शुड बी हाउ मच परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल पॉपुलेशन इट शुड बी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल पॉपुलेशन फिफ्टीन टू सिक्सटी फाइव शुड बी सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल पॉपुलेशन and people having age more than 65 years should be 10% of the total population so 25 65 and 10% is the right answer option b the scheme x has been launched in 2015 to achieve convergence of investments in irrigation at the field level and expand cultivable area under assured irrigation it is being implemented with the total outlay of 93068 crores भाई इरिगेशन की बात हो रही है कौन सी स्कीम है प्रधानमंत्री कृषि सिंचाई योजना ठीक है ना प्रधानमंत्री कृषि सिंचाई योजना फॉर दी एक्सटेंडेड पीरियड ऑफ 2021 टू 26 ठीक है ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन आइडेंटिफाई द इनकरेक्ट मैच ओके जननी सुरक्षा योजना लॉन्च इन टू बाय मॉडिफाइंग द नेशनल मेटर्नल बेनिफिट स्कीम सही बात है पीएम स्वास्थ्य सुरक्षा बीमा योजना हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस टू न्यूली बॉर्न चिल्ड्रन नहीं स्वास्थ्य सुरक्षा बीमा योजना इज फॉर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग एम्स लाइक इंस्टीट्यूशन अक्रॉस द कंट्री एंड आल्सो फॉर इंप्रूविंग द एग्जिस्टिंग मेडिकल कॉलेजेस ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर बिकॉज दैट इज द इनकरेक्ट मैच मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन हैज लॉन्च द इंटीग्रेटेड स्कीम फॉर स्कूल एजुकेशन समग्र शिक्षा इन ट्वेंटी एटीन बाय सब्स्यूमिंग दर्स्ट वाइल सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम सर्व शिक्षा अभियान राष्ट्रीय माध्यमिक शिक्षा अभियान एंड टीचर एजुकेशन इट हैज बीन एक्सटेंडेड फ्रॉम 21-22 टू 2025-26। ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर विच मोबाइल एप हैज बीन रिसेंटली लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेयरिंग टू स्ट्रेंथन फार्मर बेस्ड डिजीज रिपोर्टिंग सिस्टम एंड टू इंप्रूव द रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ अक्वेटिक एनिमल डिजीज इन द कंट्री विच मोबाइल इज इट इट इज रिपोर्ट फिश डिजीज एप रिपोर्ट Fish disease app. India, USA recently have agreed to resolve six outstanding World Trade Organization disputes between the countries through mutually agreed solutions. As part of market access, US Department will clear how much percent of steel and how much percent of aluminum uh, aluminium applications for product originating in India. For steel, it is seventy percent. For aluminium, it is eighty percent. Option C is the right answer. If a person may be able to read and write simple words, but cannot apply these skills to tasks such as reading a medicine label, balancing a checkbook, or uh, filling out a job application, it is known as functional illiteracy. पढ़ना तो आता है, लेकिन basic दिन भर के काम नहीं आते, medicine की दवाइयों का नाम नहीं पढ़ पा रहा है, checkbook नहीं भर पा रहा है, job application नहीं भर पा रहा है. It is functional illiteracy. Functional illiteracy. National Mission on Edible Oils (Oil Palm) was launched in 2021 with an aim to enhance the edible oil seeds production and oil availability in the country by harnessing oil palm area expansion. It will be implemented till the end of 15th Finance Commission period with a total outlay of 11,040 crore, 11,040 crores. Option E will be the right answer. Swami Fund was launched. by ministry of finance we all know this it is for housing in the year 2020 uh, 2019 as an alternative investment fund with a corpus of 25000 crores to revive affordable and middle income housing projects in the country option b is the correct answer which of the following states had the highest level of indebtedness among agriculture households as per the nabard uh, as per the nafis survey okay so the state in question is telangana telangana is the right answer which of the following acts grants equal rights to women over parental property after their death okay social issues ka question hai it is hindu succession amendment act of 2005 so if you are a girl and now you are married you have also the equal right uh, uh, e- equal right uh, on the parental property ठीक है जी तो आप में से जिसकी शादी हो गई है 
अपनी मम्मी को बोलो जब अपने मामा से जाके पेरेंटल प्रॉपर्टी मांग ले क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री सिक्सटी थ्री एग्रीकल्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फंड वॉज लॉन्च इन दू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर टू प्रोवाइड फंडिंग टू फार्मर्स एंड एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक एफ पी ओज फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड फॉर ओवरऑल पीरियड ऑफ थर्टीन ईयर्स इनिशियल कुछ पीरियड होगा लोन देने का और बाकी जो पीरियड है दैट इज फॉर द रीपेमेंट दो हजार बीस कॉमा तेरह ईयर्स इज द राइट आंसर विद रेस्पेक्ट टू बॉटल लेक इन्फ्लेशन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट बॉटल लेक इन्फ्लेशन क्या होता है जब सप्लाई बहुत तेजी से नीचे आती है वेन सप्लाई फॉल ड्रास्टिकली एंड डिमांड रिमेन्स द सेम डिमांड सेम रहे और सप्लाई फॉल्स ड्रास्टिकली सो टेक्स प्लेस वेन द सप्लाई फॉल ड्रास्टिकली येस ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन According to Agriculture Census 2015-16, small and marginal farmers with less than two hectares of land account for how much percent of all the farmers in India? It is 86.20 percent. Very very important question. Option B. Which of the following features of cooperative banks is incorrect? Cooperative banks are registered under the respective state cooperative societies act or multi-state cooperative act. Yes, this is correct. The state cooperative banks and district cooperative banks are regulated and supervised by NABARD. No, the state cooperative banks, in fact, all the cooperative banks are regulated by RBI. Regulation in की RBI ही करता है, but these are supervised by NABARD. ठीक है, so only supervision is being done by NABARD. Option B is the right answer. Which of the following risk coverage is not provided under Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bima Yojana? एम दैट प्रोवाइडिंग एक्सीडेंटल इंश्योरेंस टू द वीकर सेक्शन रुपीज ट्वेंटी प्रीमियम हैज टू बी गिवन दो लाख का एक्सीडेंटल डेथ मिलता है बिल्कुल सही बात है टोटल एंड इन रिकवरेबल लॉस ऑफ वन साइड ऑफ आई और लॉस ऑफ यूज ऑफ वन हैंड और फुट वन लैक इन केस ऑफ बोथ हैंड्स और फीट और इन केस ऑफ वन आई एंड वन हैंड और वन फीट वन फुट इट इज टू लैक मेडिक्लेम फैसिलिटी दैट इज री इम्बर्समेंट ऑफ हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन एक्सपेंसिस इट इज नॉट अ मेडिक्लेम स्कीम इफ यू आर एडमिटेड इन दॉस्पिटल ऑल दी एक्सपेंसिस विल बी बोर्न ऐसा कुछ नहीं है मेडिक्लेम जैसा कुछ भी नहीं है ठीक है एक लाख रुपए मिलेंगे अगर एक्सीडेंटल डेथ हो जाती है आपका हॉस्पिटल का खर्चा नहीं मिलेगा एक आंख चली जाती है या एक हाथ या एक पैर चला जाता है तो एक लाख रुपए दोनों आंखें चली जाती है या एक आंख चली जाती है और एक हाथ या पैर चला जाता है तो दो लाख That's it. Hospital का खर्चा नहीं दिया जाएगा Option D is the right answer. Which of the following articles of the Constitution mandates the state to promote the welfare of the people by securing a social order permeated by justice, social, economic and political, and to minimize inequalities in income, status, facilities and opportunities? It is Article number थर्टी of the Constitution of India. एट्टी सेवन परसेंट वो एट्टी सिक्स पॉइंट टू जीरो को राउंड ऑफ करके कई लोगों ने बोल रखा है कई जगहों पे एट्टी सेवन विद रेफरेंस टू द फोर्थ नेशनल वाटर अवार्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू अवॉर्डेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति कवरिंग इलेवन कैटेगरीज हाउ मेनी पेयर्स आर करेक्टली मैच बेस्ट स्टेट वॉज नॉट उत्तर प्रदेश बट बाय बट वॉज मध्य प्रदेश बेस्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट वॉज नॉट इंदौर इट वॉज गंजम वेर इज गंजम डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज इन इट इज इन उड़ीसा गंजम डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज इन उड़ीसा ठीक है बेस्ट अर्बन लोकल बॉडी वॉज चंडीगढ़ बेस्ट विलेज पंचायत वॉज जगन्नाथमपुरम एंड बेस्ट इंडस्ट्री वॉज बरौनी थर्मल पावर स्टेशन टू पेयर और थ्री पेयर आर करेक्टली मैच ऑप्शन सी आर्टिकल डैश ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया अबॉलिश इज अनटचेबिलिटी एंड फॉरवर्ड इट्स प्रैक्टिस इन एनी फॉर्म इट इज आर्टिकल नंबर सेवनटीन आर्टिकल नंबर सेवनटीन इज द राइट आंसर Ministry of Finance in consultation with RBI has decided to issue SGBs in two tranches in 23-24. Which of the following statements is incorrect about SGBs? NRIs are eligible to subscribe SGBs with a maximum limit of two kgs. NRIs are absolutely not eligible. Then who are eligible? Resident individuals, trust, universities, and charitable institutions. That's it. Option A is the right answer only. What is the total purpose uh, of capacity building fund? Social stock exchange created with funding contribution from NABARD, SIDBI, BSE, NSE, and others 
for awareness creation and capacity building of stakeholders such as npos profit enterprises investors ye sabhi theek hai it is 100 crores 100 crore is the right answer which portal has been launched by infrastructure finance secretariat under ministry of finance for promoting and facilitating public private partnerships in india and bridge the gap between public and private sector which portal is this it is ppp in india portal ppp in india with respect to the impact of increasing population and growth on development identify the incorrect statements theek okay? hai in the initial stages of population savings increases with an increase in population nahi in the initial stage of uh, increasing population how can savings uh, be increased it is logically incorrect bro bachche zyada paida honge to kharcha to badega na bachche kam paida karna bhai shaadi vyadi karke high population growth rate leads to low investments in productivity enhancement of present working population this is correct worker population ratio badh jayega of course a high population growth rate means more resources required for capita which means more impact on environment yes only one is incorrect option a the scheme x the scheme x was launched by ministry of textiles to strengthen the indian textile industry by way of enabling scale operations reducing logistic cost by housing the entire value chain at one location attract investment ठीक है इट इज बेस्ड ऑन फाइव एफ्स बस मैं यहीं पे पहचान गया हूं इट इज पीएम मित्रा नाउ यू कैन डायरेक्टली जंप टू द लास्ट लाइन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन तो व्हाट इज द नेम एंड टोटल आउटलेट ठीक है तो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन सेव योर टाइम वेर एवर यू हैव आइडेंटिफाइड दैट व्हिच स्कीम और व्हिच इंडाइसेस इज इट देन यू कैन डायरेक्टली जंप टू द लास्ट लाइन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन टू सेव योर टाइम पीएम मित्रा 3445 करोड़ इज द राइट आंसर which initiative was launched by ministry of health and family welfare in 2017 to reduce preventable maternal and newborn mortality morbidity and stillbirths by improving the quality of care provided in the labor room it was lakshya labor room quality improvement initiative labor room quality improvement initiative is the right answer consider the following statements with respect to gobardhan scheme and you need to identify the correct statements It was launched in 2020 from Karnal, Haryana. No, Karnal, Haryana se launched to hua tha, but not in 2020, but in 2018. It is being implemented by Ministry of Jal Shakti. Yes, and it has four models: individual households, community, cluster, and commercial. Okay, so two and three is the right answer. Option A. Consider the following statements about Sankal, which is skill acquisition and knowledge awareness for livelihood promotion program. It is an Asian Development Loan Assistant Assisted Scheme launched in 2018. 2018 में तो launch हुआ था, but it is World Bank Assisted and not Asian Development Bank. It is incorrect. It is being implemented by Ministry of MSME. No, it is not Ministry of MSME. It is Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. ठीक है जी? It has been implemented till March 2023. Correct. institutional strengthening at central center district level is one of the three key result areas 3 and 4 nahi 1 and 2 is the right answer incorrect nikalna hai option a which oil marketing company became first in india to successfully launch pilot study on vehicles using e27 fuel and ethanol blended diesel fuel it is hindustan petroleum corporation limited hindustan petroleum corporation limited is the right answer consider the following statements about mission on advanced and high impact research and you need to identify the incorrect statement it was very recently launched by the ministry of power and ministry of new and renewable energy theek okay? hai so it has been jointly launched by ministry of power and no science and technology nahi hai power and ministry of new and renewable energy and both these ministries are headed by mr rajkumar singh it will be implemented for a period of 10 years no फाइव इयर्स के लिए इंप्लीमेंट किया जाएगा एंड टोटल एट एरियाज हैव बीन आइडेंटिफाइड फॉर रिसर्च वन एंड टू ओनली इज द राइट आंसर इंडिया सी फूड एक्सपोर्ट हैव टच एन ऑल टाइम हाई इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री बोथ इन द टर्म्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम एंड वैल्यू इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री इंडिया शिप हाउ मच टर्म्स ऑफ सी फूड वर्थ हाउ मच रुपीज 
इट वॉज सेवेंटीन थर्टी फाइव टू एट्टी सिक्स मिलियन टन कभी कभी नबार्ड पागल हो जाता है और इसलिए ऐसे क्वेश्चन पूछता है वर्क ठीक है नहीं याद होगा तो कोई बात नहीं सौ में से सौ लेके नहीं आने दोगे राइट फेयर ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर विच ऑफ दॉरिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पब्लिश इट्स मल्टी लैटरल असेसमेंट थ्रू द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक आउटलुक एंड ग्लोबल फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी रिपोर्ट ऑन सेमी एनुअल बेसिस वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन इससे आसान क्वेश्चन हो नहीं सकता इस दुनिया में इंटरनेशनल मॉनिटरी फंड वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक आउटलुक एंड जी एफ एस आर आर दी रिपोर्ट ऑफ आई एम एफ विच ऑफ दी फॉरिंग कंट्रीज है साइंड एमओयू विद इंडिया ऑन शेयरिंग इंडिया स्टैक दैट इज सक्सेसफुल डिजिटल सोल्यूशन इंप्लीमेंटेड एट पॉपुलेशन स्केल ड्यूरिंग ग्लोबल डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर समिट India stack is the repository of all the major digital initiatives of the country like aadhar like upi and the countries which have signed mou are armenia sierra leone and suriname 1 3 and 5 will be the right answer option e abda mitra scheme is being implemented by ndma under the ministry of home affairs will train how many community volunteers 1 lakh community volunteers In how many selected high vulnerable district, districts? Three hundred and fifty. Okay, so one lakh comma three fifty is the right answer. Consider the following statement with respect to Pradhan Mantri Jan Aujdi Parijojana, and you need to identify the correct statement. The scheme is being implemented by Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Bureau of India through Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The organization is correct, but not the ministry. It is Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizers, headed by Mansur Pandavia. An incentive of five lakh is given to Kendra owners at the rate of fifteen percent of monthly purchases, subject to a ceiling of fifteen thousand per month. Is it correct? Is it correct? One time additional of two point five lakh is also provided as reimbursement for IT and infra expenditure in special categories and areas. It is not two point five lakh; it is two lakhs. Two lakhs. So. करेक्ट बताना है ओनली टू विल बी द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द फिफ्थ स्टेट फूड सेफ्टी इंडेक्स एंड यूनिट टू आइडेंटिफाई द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इट हैज बिन रिलीज बाय नीति आयोग तो पहला ही स्टेटमेंट गलत हो गया इट हैज बिन रिलीज बाय एफ एस एस एआई ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ वर्ल्ड फूड सेफ्टी डे ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर कैन यू टेल मी वेन इज द वर्ल्ड फूड सेफ्टी डे ऑब्जर्व राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन The eighth meeting of Standing Committee of ISA has been held in New Delhi in hybrid format. It is guided by towards 1,000 strategy, which does not include which of the following. It includes install 1,000 gigawatt of solar energy capacity. It includes mobilizing US dollar 1,000 billion of investment in solar energy solutions by 2030. It includes delivering of energy access to 1,000 million people using clean energy solutions. It in it it includes mitigating the global solar emissions to the tune of thousand million tons of CO2 every year. What it does not include is replacing thousand million conventional vehicles with electric vehicles powered by solar energy. Option E is the right answer. Kanya Shiksha Pravesh Utsav was launched in 2022 by the Ministry of Women and Child Development in partnership with Ministry of Education and UNICEF. It is aimed to bring back out of school adolescent girls in the age group of 11 to 14 years in india to the formal education or skilling system option b foreign trade policy is a set of guidelines and instructions for matters related to the import and export of goods it is notified by dgft ministry of commerce and industry in exercise of powers conferred under section 5 of the foreign trade act of 1992 FTP 2023 seeks to boost the country's export to dash by 2030. Very easy question. Two trillion dollars. Two trillion dollars. Option A is the correct answer. Which of the following statements are incorrect about the eighth edition of NIRF India Rankings of Higher Education Institution? It has been released by Niti Aayog. No, Ministry of Education. This is incorrect. It ranked higher education institution in 13 categories and subjects. subject domains including new ones this is correct it rank hei is based on five broad parameters of nirf this is also correct it bombay has topped in overall category no it's not it bombay it's it madras which has topped in overall category it's it madras 
so this is incorrect and it madras has stopped in innovation category no in innovation it was it kanpur iit kanpur so incorrect batana hai ki correct batana hai incorrect 1 4 and 5 will be the right answer option b total mangrove cover in the country is 499 km square which is dash of the total geographic area it is 0.15% of the total geographic area there has been a net increase of 17 km square in mangrove cover across the country as compared to 2019 assessment full stop dash has the highest mangrove cover in the country odisha has the highest mangrove cover as per the annual forest survey report of 2021 option e will be the right answer what is the total number of households in india engaged in handloom activities as per the fourth handloom census as per the fourth handloom census it is 31.45 lakh 31.45 lakh what is the per capita availability of egg in the country as per the basic animal husbandry statistics of the year 2022 it is 95 eggs per capita uh, per annum so ek saal mein ek insaan excluding of course the vegetarians 95 egg khata hai which ministry in association with meta has launched amrit generation campaign to empower and engage the youth of india by encouraging them to express their aspirations and dreams for the future the ministry in question is ministry of women and child development headed by spriti irani the atal mission one second yeah the atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation amrut 2.0 scheme was launched in 2021 by ministry of housing and urban affairs with the aim to make the cities water secure and provide functional water tap connections to all the households it will be implemented for a period of 5 years with a total outlay of 277000 crore kuch logo ko abhi bhi confusion hai ki amrut ka outlet 299000 crore hai amrit ka document jaake agar aap dekhoge to usme dono numbers mention hai 299000 bhi hai 277000 bhi hai but you know this number 277000 crore is repeated a lot of times that's why i i consider this number as the correct outlay 277000 because it cannot be clarified through pib as well because in pib also they have mentioned a lot of time 277000 crores and some other times 299000 crores so it is not my fault it is not your fault it is the government's fault Five years, comma two seventy seven thousand is the right answer. The finance commission consists of chairperson and four members. So here I can understand that the question is based on finance commission, right? So I will directly jump to the last line. And this is what you have to do during the exam. Which of the following is incorrect with respect to the minimum qualifications required to become a member of finance commission? So finance commission may con con. हो सकता है या नहीं हो सकता है बेसिकली ये पूछा है रिटायर्ड चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ हाईकोर्ट और एनी पर्सन क्वालिफाइड टू बी अपॉइंटेड एज वन चीफ जस्टिस नहीं होता है रिटायर्ड जज ऑफ हाई कोर्ट होना चाहिए ठीक है और एनी पर्सन हु इज द क्वालिफाइड टू बी अपॉइंटेड एज द जज ऑफ हाई कोर्ट सो दिस इज इनकरेक्ट एंड दीज फोर्स आर द क्वालिफिकेशन टू बिकम अम्बर ऑफ द फाइनेंस कमीशन यू गाइज कैन रीड दम Dash is implementing scheme on enhancement of competitiveness in capital goods sector, Ministry of Heavy Industries. It aims at creating a strong and globally competitive capital goods sector that contributes at least twenty five percent to the manufacturing sector. Option C is the correct answer. Which of the following is not the eligible criteria under Startup India Seed Fund scheme launched in twenty twenty one by Ministry of Commerce and Industry? Not the eligibility criteria. startup recognized by dpit and incorporated not more than 2 years ago at the time of application this is correct startups must have a business idea to develop a product or a service with a market fit viable commercialization and scope of scope of scaling this is also correct startup should not have received more than 5 lakh of monetary support under under any other central or state government scheme it's not 5 lakh this number is 10 lakh option c will be the right answer 
कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट एमएसएमई सस्टेनेबल जेड सर्टिफिकेशन स्कीम एंड यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इट वाज लॉन्च्ड इन 2022 बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एमएसएमई बिल्कुल सही बात है अंडर इट मीडियम एंटरप्राइज गेट 80% सब्सिडी ऑन द कॉस्ट ऑफ जेड सर्टिफिकेशन फॉर माइक्रो इट इज 80% फॉर स्मॉल इट इज 60% एंड फॉर मीडियम इट इज 50% ऑल राइट एंड एमएसएमई इज ओन्ड बाय वुमेन एससीएचटी एंटरप्रेन्योर्स Additional subsidy of 15% is not provided, but 10% is provided. Okay, ji. So two and three is the right answer. Option B. Question number 400. Consider the following statements about vibrant villages program, and we need to identify the correct statement. It has been launched by Ministry of Rural Development, no Ministry of Home Affairs, headed by Mota Bhai Amit Shah. It is being implemented from financial year 20. 23 to 25, 26. सही बात है. This is incorrect. This is correct. Right? It is uh, a centrally sponsored scheme with a total outlay of 14, 800 crore. ये भी ठीक है. It is being implemented across all bordering states and UTs of the country. No, it is being implemented in four states, uh, which are Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh, and Sikkim. ठीक है. This is incorrect. it is a sub component of border area development program no it is not it is not a sub component of border area development program it is an independent scheme so 1 4 and 5 are incorrect the bar correct nikalna hai 2 and 3 is the right answer option c okay so 400 questions are done so are you guys ready for the last 100 questions please give me a thumbs up are you guys ready for the last 100 questions please give me a thumbs up bravo jaldi se and i could see some of people are constantly watching this session since morning 9 baje se main dekh raha hu kuch naam abhi bhi baithe hain very well done guys मैं आपकी पेशेंस की मैं आपकी सिटिंग कैपेसिटी की दाद देता हूं आई अप्रिशिएट योर सिटिंग कैपेसिटी चलो जी स्टार्ट करते हैं रिज्यूम करते हैं सेशन को विदाउट एनी डिले क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर जीरो वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एक्सपेंडिचर इज रेफर टू द ट्रांसफर एक्सपेंडिचर तो ट्रांसफर एक्सपेंडिचर गाइस आर दोस दे ऑन विच देर इज नो रिटर्न्स ठीक है देर आर देर आर नो रिटर्न्स तो एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन सोशल सेक्टर पेंशन स्कीम नो रिटर्न्स एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अलाइंस नो रिटर्न्स एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन सोशल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लाइक एजुकेशन हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर ऑफ कोर्स द रिटर्न्स विल बी देयर बिकॉज वन द पर्सन इज एजुकेटेड ही और शी विल बी कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू द इकॉनमी ओनली दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नॉन ट्रांसफर एक्सपेंडिचर This is the part of non-transfer expenditure and expenditure on subsidy. So one, two, and four is the right answer. Option D. Adal Bhujal Yojana is a dash funded central sector scheme. It is a World Bank funded scheme. World Bank funded scheme implemented by Ministry of Jal Shakti headed by Gajendra Singh Shekhawat. It was launched in the year 2019 and is being implemented for a period of five years in seven states. Okay, ji. ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन सी है भाई डी नहीं है पॉवर्टी लाइन इज द लेवल ऑफ इनकम टू मीट द मिनिमम लिविंग कंडीशंस पॉवर्टी लाइन डिफर्स फ्रॉम वन कंट्री टू अनदर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द आइडिया ऑफ पॉवर्टी वर्ल्ड बैंक हैज आइडेंटिफाइड अ थ्रेशोल्ड इनकम लेवल बिलो व्हिच द पर्सन इज कंसीडर्ड पुअर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द वर्ल्ड बैंक्स एस्टीमेशन ऑफ पॉवर्टी यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बिफोर 2005 The World Bank estimated that a person earning below one dollar per day shall be poor. Yes, this number is correct, but not this. It was before 2008, and in 2008 it was revised to 1.25 dollar per capita per day, which means this is also incorrect. In 2015, World Bank again revised its estimation of poverty line to 1.50 dollar. No, it was revised to 1.90 dollars in 2015. So this one is correct. ठीक है जी? Only four is the right answer. Option B. Consider the following statement with respect to WTO, and you need to identify the incorrect statement. WTO was established on first January 1995. सही बात है. 
it is an organization under united nation no it is not an organization under un however it is headquartered in geneva the second part of the statement is correct general council is the highest decision making body no it is the ministerial conference to ye sahi hai ye galat hai ye galat hai and like imf and world bank wto has a one country one vote system unlike imf and world bank wto has a uh, one country one vote system world bank aur imf mein one country one vote system nahi hai 2 3 and 4 is the right answer yes now it is 2.15 per dollar very well done nilesh the employment elasticity indicates the ability of an economy to generate employment opportunities for its population which of the following statements is correct with respect to the employment elasticity theek hai ji an employment elasticity of 1 indicates that with every 1% point growth in gdp employment decreases by 1% no in fact employment elasticity of 1 indicates that with 1 every 1% point growth in gdp employment increases by 1% so option b is the correct statement theek hai ji the indian healthcare system has a number of weaknesses which of the following statements is are correct with respect to the weaknesses of indian healthcare system theek hai ji India has among the lowest public health expenditure in the world. सही बात है. Private hospitals make up more than half of the country's healthcare infrastructure. बिल्कुल सही बात है. India has very low out-of-pocket expenditure. क्या ये सही है? Of course it is wrong. Why? Because we have a very high out-of-pocket expenditure. No. तो ये तो बात बिल्कुल ही गलत हो गई. Poor coordination is there between central and state government. That is the major constraint of poor healthcare. ये भी सही है. सो करेक्ट बता रहे हैं वन टू एंड फोर इज द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन ए प्रधानमंत्री गरीब कल्याण अन्न योजना वॉज लॉन्च इन दर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ये क्वेश्चन पक्का आएगा पेपर में ये मान के चलो कि एक क्वेश्चन आपका लीक हो गया बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन कंसीडर इट एज अ लीक्ड क्वेश्चन बिफोर पेपर ठीक है एज एन इंटीग्रेटेड फूड सिक्योरिटी स्कीम फॉर स्ट्रेंथनिंग द प्रोविजन ऑफ एन एफ एस ए इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्सेसिबिलिटी अफोर्डेबिलिटी एंड अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ फूड ग्रेन फॉर द पुअर it has a total outlay of 2 lakh crores and it will be implemented for a period of 1 year initially right now abhi ek saal bola hai aage dekhi jayegi so option e is the right answer to this question which of the following articles of the constitution of india mandates the state to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard forests and wildlife it is article number 48a of the constitution of india Which of the following articles of the Constitution of India mandates the state to secure the right to work, to education, and to public assistance in case of unemployment, old age, sickness, and disablement? <coughs> Which article is this? Article forty-one of the Constitution of India. Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship recently has launched DBT in NAPS, which is National Apprenticeship Promotion Scheme, to strengthen apprenticeship ecosystem in India. Under the scheme, dash of prescribed stipend subject to maximum of dash per month. Okay, twenty-five percent of the prescribed stipend subject to a maximum of fifteen hundred per month per apprentice is shared with the employers. Option A is the right answer. This we to have discussed in the month of September very recently. Apida has recently facilitated the export of first dry shipment of which fruit to the USA through air route. Important for Nabad. it is pomegranate option d is the correct answer under which scheme has ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare launched campaign named bharat it is getting repeated ye repeat ho raha hai abhi abhi humne discuss kara tha banking uh, banks herald accelerated rural and agricultural transformation project is has been launched by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare under agriculture infrastructure fund scheme consider the following statements with respect to rrbs as per nabard annual report and you need to identify the incorrect statements as on 31 march 2022 there were 43 rrbs sponsored by 12 scheduled commercial banks with this much branches across 26 states and 3 uts ye sahi baat hai out of all the rrb branches 97% are in rural or semi urban areas not 97 but 92% this is incorrect as on 31 march 2022 RRBs had the highest share of current account and savings account deposits 
एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ दियर टोटल डिपोजिट अमंगस्ट ऑल द कैटेगरीज ऑफ एस ये बिल्कुल सही बात है वन एंड थ्री ओके इन करेक्ट बताना ओनली टू इज द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन डी स्टार्स प्रोजेक्ट वॉज लॉन्च एज सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम इन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव ईयर्स दैट इज अपू फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आइडेंटिफाइड स्टेट द स्कीम इज बींग इंप्लीमेंटेड द स्कीम इज बींग इंप्लीमेंटेड इन सिक्स स्टेट महाराष्ट्र केरला राजस्थान राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड ओडिशा ठीक है इसको इट इज बींग इंप्लीमेंटेड इन सिक्स स्टेट महाराष्ट्र केरला राजस्थान वन टू एंड थ्री ओनली इज द राइट आंसर एंड द अदर थ्री आर एम पी एच पी एंड ओडिशा विद रेस्पेक्ट टू पॉवर्टी एस्टिमेशन इन इंडिया यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इन नाइनटीन थर्टी एट द नेशनल प्लानिंग कमिटी सजेस्टेड अ पॉवर्टी लाइन रेंजिंग फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन टू थर्टी फाइव पर कैपिटल पर मंथ इट वॉज नॉट फिफ्टीन टू थर्टी फाइव इट वॉज फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी डॉक्टर वाई के अलग टास्क फोर सजेस्टेड पॉवर्टी लाइन फॉर बोथ रूरल एंड अर्बन एरिया फॉर रूरल एरिया इट वॉज कैलरी इन टेक ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड पर कैपिटल पर डे इट वॉज ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड फॉर रूरल एरिया एंड ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड फॉर अर्बन एरिया ठीक है तो दिस इज इनकरेक्ट लकड़ा वाला एक्सपर्ट ग्रुप डिसग्रीगेटेड पॉवर्टी लाइन इन टू स्टेट स्पेसिफिक पॉवर्टी लाइन ये सही है तेंदुलकर कमेटी कंक्लूडेड That all India poverty line was 446.68 per capita per month in rural areas, and it was 578.80 in urban areas. ये भी सही है. And the Rajan Committee estimated poverty on a monthly expenditure of a month family of five. ये भी सही है. ये भी हमने पीछे ही देखा है. Three, four, and five is the right answer. Option C. Which ministry or ministries have launched special skill development initiative for the northeast? Uh, Region transforming lives, building futures, skill development and entrepreneurship in North East. It is only the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. No other ministry. What is India's rank in production of horticulture crops in the world? Very important. We are ranked at second position. Technology and Innovation Report 2023, brought out by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, has ranked India at what? position in its frontier technology readiness index india has been ranked at 46th position option b digital health incentive scheme under ayushman bharat digital mission was launched in 2023 it aims to promote the adoption of digital health technologies and practices in healthcare delivery across the country how much financial incentive is provided to eligible health facilities and digital solution companies under Digital health in incentive scheme, very important question. It is four crores. Up to four crore incentive will be provided. Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports implements the scheme of Pandit Dindyal Upadhyay National Welfare Fund for sports person. Now I will skip the entire paragraph and we will come to the last line where these two fill uh, these two gaps are there, blanks are there. Under the scheme, financial assistance up to how much for outstanding sports person living in indigent circumstances? Five lakh rupees. And up to <clears throat> how much for medical treatment to sports person or family? Ten lakh rupees. Okay, so five lakh comma ten lakh is the right answer. Option B. <clears throat> Atal Bayo Abhyudha Yojana. ये तो स्कीम अच्छा वो लॉन्च चेयर का क्वेश्चन था ये कॉम्पोनेंट का क्वेश्चन है ठीक है. तो क्या क्या कंपोनेंट है अटल वायु अभ्युदय योजना के अटल वायु अभ्युदय योजना का पहले भी आया था क्वेश्चन बट दैट वाज ऑन लॉन्च यर नाउ इट इज ऑन द बेस्ड ऑन द कंपोनेंट्स द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ अटल वायु अभ्युदय योजना नॉट दी कंपोनेंट्स ओके तो कौन कौन से मैं पहले वो बता देता हूं हेल्थ एंड न्यूट्रिशन सपोर्ट है प्रमोटिंग सिल्वर इकोनॉमी है डीबीटी और पेंशन नहीं है रिहेबिलिटेशन नहीं है लाइवलीहुड एंड स्किलिंग है So one, two and five है, three and four नहीं है. One, two and five are the components. Three and four are not. Option D is the right answer. Which of the following are the objectives of recently launched digital portal of the Central Registrar of Cooperative Societies Office? Which of the following are the objectives? Completely paperless application, automatic compliance to multi-state cooperative societies act, ease of doing business, digital communication, transparent processing. All of the above is the right answer. What is the share of MSME gross value added in all India 
GDP in the year 21-22 as per the recent release of PIB, it is 29.2% and that's why the correct answer is option A. ध्यान से सुनते रहो मेरी आवाज तुम्हें गूंजेगी या एग्जाम में अभी इससे पहले नेहा मैम के 250 क्वेश्चन और मेरे 250 क्वेश्चन तुम्हें हमारी आवाज सुनाई देगी पक्का एग्जाम में इसलिए ध्यान से सुनते रहो कीपिंग इन इंडिया कीपिंग इन व्यू इंडिया विजन ऑफ बिकमिंग आत्मनिर्भर पी एल आई स्कीम फॉर डैश की सेक्टर फोर्टीन की सेक्टर्स आर बींग इंप्लीमेंटेड विद टोटल आउटले ऑफ वन पॉइंट नाइन सेवन लैख करोड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर एज पर द प्रोविजनल एस्टिमेट ऑफ नेशनल इनकम ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री रिलीज बाई मोस्पी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड प्रोग्राम इंप्लीमेंटेशन वॉट वॉज द शेयर ऑफ जीवी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड लाइट सेक्टर इन टोटल इकोनॉमी इन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू अगेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इट वॉज नाइनटीन परसेंट उन्नीस परसेंट इफ इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ इज ड्रिवन बाय बेटर टेक्नोलॉजी बट इट फेल्स टू इंप्रूव The rate of population in economy, such a growth is called jobless growth. Such a such a growth is called what? Jobless growth, and it leads to dash unemployment. It leads to chronic chronic unemployment even when there is a rise in GDP growth rate. Very beautiful concept. Option D is the right answer. आगे चलते हैं विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द ग्रोथ ऑफ एजुकेशन इन इंडिया यूनिट टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट स्टैटिक है समाउ द फर्स्ट एजुकेशन कमीशन वॉज सेटअप इन 1948 यस टू सजेस्ट रिफॉर्मेटिव मेजर्स नॉट इन द फील्ड ऑफ प्राइमरी एजुकेशन ये सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन के लिए हुआ था ठीक है जी सो दिस इज इन करेक्ट द सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन कमीशन वॉज सेटअप इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी टू टू एक्सपैंड एंड स्ट्रेंदन द सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन सिस्टम इन इंडिया दिस इज करेक्ट एंड दिस फॉर दिस वन वॉज फॉर हायर education i beg your pardon here this was was for higher education the first one in 1948 under national education policy 1986 a uniform pattern of 10 plus 2 plus 3 system was initiated this pattern was observed was initiated in 1968 nep and now we all know we have 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 okay this is incorrect with 44th amendment act education was made a concurrent subject no it was with 42nd constitutional amendment act all right and uh, right to education was made fundamental right under article 21a to 86th constitutional amendment act this is correct 2 and 5 is the right answer option d according to 28 livestock census which of the following livestock has the highest percentage of the total livestock population cattle has the highest percentage of the total livestock population How many states or UTs have achieved 100% full immunization coverage as per health MIS 2223? Very important. Six states, six states. Or you know, no name, no. Bada hai six states ke. Bas six states bol diya. Ministry of Finance has recently launched Vivaat Se Vishwas 2, a scheme to effectively settle the pending contractual disputes of government and government undertakings. Which of the following statements are incorrect about this scheme? ठीक है कौन सा statement incorrect है? It was launched uh, in uh, the budget 23-24. सही है ये. It is applicable to all domestic contractual disputes where one of the parties is either government of India or an organisation working under its control. ये भी ठीक है. Cases in which arbitral courts and court awards have been passed on predefined dates are eligible. ये भी ठीक बात है. सारे ही सही लग रहे. Court awards passed on or before 30th April 2023 will be offered settlement amount up to 65 percent. नहीं. 30 अप्रैल वाला का जो ऑर्डर है दैट इज 85 परसेंट एंड 31 जनवरी वाले जो ऑर्डर से फॉर देम इट इज 65 परसेंट सो अगली और दोनों स्टेटमेंट गलत है फोर एंड फाइव इज द राइट आंसर विच मिनिस्ट्री और मिनिस्ट्री इज लॉन्च संवाद भूमि का संवाद देश का नेशनल मीडिया कैंपेन टू मेक कॉमन पीपल अवेयर ऑफ द न्यू इनिशियटिव इन लैंड गवर्नेंस and watershed development component of pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana it was ministry of rural development option b is the correct answer the foreign trade policy 2023 has four pillars which of the following is not from incentives to tax remission a greater trade facilitation through tech automation and continuous process reengineering export promotion through collaboration exporter states and districts focus of ai nahi ye nahi hai 
फोकस ऑन एआई एंड मशीन लर्निंग फॉरेन ट्रेड पॉलिसी का पिलर क्यों होगा वाई इट विल बी अ पिलर ऑफ एफ ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर सुषमा वॉज इन फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड वेन शी अनफॉर्चुनेटली लॉस बोथ ऑफ अर पेरेंट्स ड्यू टू कोविड नाइनटीन इन अगस्त ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी शी इज नाउ इन टाइटल टू गेट बेनिफिट अंडर पी एम केयर फॉर चिल्ड्रन स्कीम सो दैट शी डज नॉट सफर फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम द लॉस ऑफ रूटीन लाइफ इनबिलिटी टू गो टू स्कूल एंड फेसिंग एंगजाइटी टू लॉस ऑफ लव वन टू कोविड नाइनटीन हाउ मच स्कॉलरशिप पर एन एम एल शी गेट टिल क्लास ट्वेल्थ अंडर पी एम केयर फॉर स्कूल चिल्ड्रन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन सी ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज द राइट आंसर Which of the following statements are incorrect about Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana? It is a small saving scheme launched in 2015 exclusively for a girl child. Absolutely correct. To open account under it, girl child must be the below of age five years. No, ten years, not five years. Multiple accounts can be opened per girl child. No, only one account per girl child and maximum two accounts per family. Ye bhi incorrect hai. Under it, families entitled to open only two accounts. सही बात है. Deposits made in this account can be a maximum of one lakh fifty thousand per annum. ये भी बिल्कुल सही है. So we need to identify incorrect statement two and three. Is the right answer option C? There are several causes of inflation in an economy. Which of the following statement is not one of the causes? ठीक है देख लेते. The primary cause of inflation is excess money supply. Yes, this is correct. Printing new currency notes leads to increase in inflationary pressures. Correct. Increasing government expenditure leads to increase in employment, which in turn leads to increasing purchasing power and thereby inflation. बिल्कुल सही बात है. Rise in prices of important, important, not important, important commodities like coal, iron, etc. leads to increase in price of other goods. बिल्कुल सही बात है. भाई coal का price बढ़ेगा तो बिजली का price बढ़ेगा. <coughs> बिजली का price बढ़ेगा तो manufacturing cost बढ़ेगी. Right? So this will be the right answer because ex how can exports lead to inflation? Absolutely incorrect. During early 1970s, even after nationalisation, there were cultural issues that made it difficult for commercial banks, even under government ownerships, to lend to farmers. So the government came up with the idea of uh, regional rural banks based on the recommendation of Narsimhan Group in the year 1975. The RRBs are required to provide dash. Of their total credit as PSL, seventy-five percent. We all know this very easy. The RRBs are backed by RRB Act, which was enacted in the year nineteen seventy-six. The new ownership structure of RRB allows central government and sponsor bank to hold combined share holding of fifty-one percent, fifty-one percent, and state governments can also reduce this its share holding below fifteen percent. Okay. Option D is the correct answer. Correct answer is. स्वानिधि पे एक और क्वेश्चन है इट वाज लॉन्च इन 2020 बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स अंडर इट वर्किंग कैपिटल कोलेट्रल फ्री लोन ऑफ 10,000 फॉर अ टेन ईयर ऑफ वन ईयर इज प्रोवाइडेड रिपीट ही हो गया ऑलमोस्ट बी इज द राइट आंसर मिशन पोषण 2.0 पॉइंट इज एन इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिशन सपोर्ट प्रोग्राम इट सीक्स टू एड्रेस द चैलेंजेस ऑफ मॉल न्यूट्रिशन इन चिल्ड्रन एंड गर्ल्स प्रेग्नेंट वुमेन एंड लेक्टेटिंग मदर्स ठीक है सीधा क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर द फोकस एरियाज ऑफ मिशन 2.0 पॉइंट ओ ठीक है तो मेटर्नल न्यूट्रिशन है वेलनेस थ्रू आयुष प्रैक्टिस रिड्यूसिंग स्टंटिंग अनिमिया रिड्यूसिंग लर्निंग लॉस ड्यू टू कोविड नाइनटीन पैंडमिक बिल्कुल भी नहीं बिल्कुल भी नहीं सरासर झूठ है ये बात एंड रिड्यूसिंग वेस्ट एन अंडर वेट प्रिवलेंस वन टू थ्री एंड फाइव इज द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन ए Scheme X was launched in 2021 by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment to increase the skill levels of the target youth by providing them short-term and long-term skills, followed by assistance in wage or self-employment. Which of the following candidates in the age group 18 to 45 years are not eligible? ठीक है. So eligibility is scheduled caste, the the nomadic tribes, nomadic tribes, and semi-nomadic tribes, OBCs with annual income less than three lakhs, and EBCs. With annual income less than one lakh, so option C is the correct answer because eight lakh नहीं है, three lakh है. Which of the following state or UT has the highest we cover percentage wise? They have asked. Please focus. Area wise, it is Madhya Pradesh, 
परसेंटेज वाइट इज इट इज चंडीगढ़ ठीक है चंडीगढ़ इज द राइट आंसर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पैरामीटर्स ऑफ डब्ल्यू टी ओ लेस डाउन लीगल स्टैंडर्ड फॉर द मेंबर कंट्रीज टू प्रोटेक्ट आईपी बाय द वे ऑफ कॉपी राइट वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी इट इज द ट्रिप्स एंड दैट इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है जी सब सही चल रहा है ना कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू प्रधानमंत्री मत्स्य संपदा योजना एंड यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ठीक है इट इज बींग इंप्लीमेंटेड फॉर फाइव इयर्स पीरियड दैट इज फ्रॉम फाइनेंशियल एयर ट्वेंटी वन टू फाइनेंशियल एयर ट्वेंटी फाइव इट इंटेंस टू ऑगमेंट फिश प्रोडक्शन एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी एट एन एनुअल ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ नाइन परसेंट नॉट फिफ्टीन परसेंट दिस इज करेक्ट दिस इज इन करेक्ट इट ऑल्सो एम्स टू डबल द इनकम्स ऑफ फिशर्स फिश फार्मर्स एंड फिश वर्कर्स नॉट बाय ट्वेंटी थर्टी बट बाय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ये भी इन करेक्ट हो गया इट सीक्स टू एनहेंस प्रोडक्टिविटी इन एक्वाकल्चर From the present national average of three tons to about five tons per hectare, ये सही है. It aims to reduce post harvest losses from the reported 20 to 25 percent to about 10 percent. ये भी सही है. So one, four, and five is the right answer. Option A. Mizoram किस चीज के लिए बता रहे हो भाई तुम? Chandigarh अगर मेरे हिसाब से तो निलेश इट इज चंडीगढ़ फोर फोर्टी थ्री विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टैक्स इम्यूनिटीज इन इंडिया आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ सेंटर इज एक्सेप्टेड फ्रॉम ऑल टैक्स इंपोज बाय द स्टेट और एनी अथॉरिटी विद इन द स्टेट करेक्ट इट इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द स्टैटिक पार्ट प्रॉपर्टी एंड इनकम ऑफ स्टेट इज एक्सेप्टेड फ्रॉम सेंट्रल ट्रांसेशन बट द सेंटर कैन लिवाइड टैक्स ऑन कमर्शियल ऑपरेशन ऑफ अ स्टेट ये भी ठीक है प्रॉपर्टी एंड इनकम ऑफ लोकल अथॉरिटी आर नॉट एक्सेप्टेड फ्रॉम सेंट्रल टैक्सेशन दीज आर एक्सेप्टेड फ्रॉम सेंट्रल टैक्सेशन तो वन एंड टू इज द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन ए ट्री कवर नहीं पूछा था यार पर इसमें मिजोरम ऑप्शन में नहीं है देखो क्वेश्चन नंबर 440 में कुछ कंफ्यूजन है तो जो भी कंफ्यूजन होगी अगर ठीक है तो आई चेक इट एक स्टूडेंट को कंफ्यूजन है ठीक है मैं चेक कर लेता हूं एक बार तो ये हो सकता है कि विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग यूटीज होना चाहिए था या तो देन इन दैट केस दंसर वुड बी चंडीगढ़ ठीक है थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम है आई थिंक क्वेश्चन में ओके okay. आई विल चेक इट एंड विल मेक द चेंजेस एंड मैं आप लोगों को उसमें कमेंट सेक्शन में पिन करके बता दूंगा ठीक है इफ इट वुड बी यूटीज देन दंसर वुड बी चंडीगढ़ ठीक है ये इट इज मिजोरम ठीक है इट इज मिजोरम इन केस नाउ आई रिमेंबर इट वॉज हाइएस्ट इंक्रीज जो था ना हाइएस्ट इंक्रीज इन ट्री कवर परसेंटेज वाइज दैट इज चंडीगढ़ यस नाउ आई वुड रिकॉल इट ठीक है गाइज तो ये है यस बिजी बग ने बताया है वेल्टन बिजी बग नाउ आई रिमेंबर हाइएस्ट इंक्रीज इन परसेंटेज वाइज जो था ट्री कवर में दैट वाज इन चंडीगढ़ ठीक है तो इस क्वेश्चन को मैं सही कर दूंगा बिफोर गिविंग पीडीएफ टू यू Which of the following statements are correct about SGB? SGB repeat हो गया फिर से लेकिन चलो कोई नहीं क्वेश्चन अलग है देखते हैं इस बार क्या है माइनर कैन ऑल्सो अवेड द बेनिफिट ऑफ द स्कीम प्रोवाइडेड एप्लीकेशन इज मेड बाई गार्जन सही है ट्रस्ट कैन होल्ड मैक्सिमम फिफ्टी के जीज नो ट्रस्ट यूनिवर्सिटीज चैरिटेबल इंस्टीट्यूशन दे कैन होल्ड मैक्सिमम ट्वेंटी के जीज इन करेक्ट मैक्सिमम टेन ईयर अंडर द स्कीम इज एट ईयर्स विद अर्ली रिडम्शन ऑप्शन आफ्टर फिफ्थ ईयर This is correct. These bonds are tradable and can be held in demat form. This is also correct. The beneficiary investor of this investor gets interest of two point five percent per annum. Yeah, be ठीक है. One, three, four, and five is the right answer. Option B. ठीक है जी. चलो. ठीक है भाई. वो confusion दूर हो गई है. Don't worry. 
पीडीएफ में सही करके मिलेगा तो बेस्ट विच इनिशियटिव हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर इन 2022 टू प्रोवाइड टेली मेंटल हेल्थ सर्विसेज ऑल ओवर द कंट्री पर्टिकुलरली टू पीपल इन रिमोट एंड अंडरसर्वड एरिया दिस मिशन इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड दिस इनिशिएटिव इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय निमांस इन बेंगलुरु एंड द नेम इज टेली मारस ऑप्शन ए Which of the following constitutional amendment act provide the constitutional status to the panchayati raj institution? Very easy. Seventy third constitutional amendment act and seventy fourth CAA gave the constitutional status to uh, municipalities. The Laffer curve is a theory, and uh, by supply side economist Arthur Laffer to show the relationship between tax rate and amount of tax revenue collected by governments. Which of the following statements is are incorrect with respect to the Laffer curve? Laffer curve is a U-shaped curve. It is not a U-shaped curve. It is an inverted U-shaped curve. Okay, which explains that as the tax rate rises, there is an increase in tax revenue. This is incorrect. According to the curve, a zero tax rate would produce zero revenue, and a hundred percent tax rate would generate maximum revenue. No, zero tax rate and both zero tax rate and hundred percent tax rate would generate Zero revenue. This is incorrect. And third one is the curve explained that as the rate rises, there is an increase in tax revenue. But after reaching a maximum point, the tax revenue starts decreasing with further increase in tax rate as many people start evading tax payment. So, ये बात बिल्कुल सही है. One and two is the right answer. Option C. <coughs> This question, guys, <coughs> we can skip. Under the National Mission on Edible Oils, oil palm. Mega oil palm plantation drive was organized from 25 July to 12th of August in 49 districts of 11 states and UTs by state governments along with three oil palm processing companies to further promote and increase oil palm cultivation. Which of the following states and UTs were covered under this plantation drive? The states were Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. <coughs> Option C is the right answer. Which of the following is the top wool producing state in the country as per the basic animal husbandry statistics 2022? Okay, so the top wool producing state in the country as per the statistics 2022 is Rajasthan. Option A is the right answer. So guys, 450 questions are done. Now we are left with the last 50 questions. I hope you guys are enjoying this class. <coughs> And uh, Let's take a break of five minutes. It's fourteen five. I'll see you at fourteen ten. इतने में चाय पानी पी लो जल्दी से. ठीक है. Just five minutes.
और एट दाइज तो लेट स्टार्ट इट अगेन तो चले स्टार्ट करें दोबारा से प्लीज गिव मे थम्स अप जल्दी आ जाओ लास्ट फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन बचे हैं करके खत्म करते हैं All right, let's resume the class again. Okay, question number four fifty one. There are three methods of estimate, uh, estimating absolute poverty, which are uniform reference recall period, mixed reference recall period, and modified mixed reference recall period. With respect to the methods of estimating absolute poverty, you have to identify the correct statements. Under URP, the households are surveyed about their consumption in the last 30 days preceding the date of survey. This is absolutely the right answer. MRP considers consumption expenditure for five non-food items, which are clothing, footwear, durable goods, education, and institutional medical expenses for a 365 days recall period. This is also okay. MMRP considers 30 days recall period for these products. It is not 30 days in case of MMR. MMRP, it is seven days. This is incorrect. Only one and two is the right answer. Option A. India's LFPR has fallen to a historic low of 23.3 percent in 2017-18. It means that over three out of four women in India are neither working nor seeking work. This feature of India's employment status is known as masculinization. Masculinization. Prime Minister Jai Vindan Bata Varan. अनुकूल फसल अवशेष निवारण योजना जीवन वॉज नोटिफाइड इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन टू फेसिलिटेट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इथेनॉल इट प्रोवाइड फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट फॉर सेटिंग अप टू जी इथेनॉल प्रोजेक्ट इन द कंट्री यूजिंग लिग्नो सेल्यूलोजिक बायोमास एंड अदर रिन्यूएबल फीड स्टॉक द टोटल फाइनेंशियल आउटले ऑफ द स्कीम इज वन नाइन सिक्स नाइन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो करोड फॉर द पीरियड ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड एटीन नाइनटीन टू टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर दिस फाइनेंशियल ईयर इज द लास्ट वन तो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर जल जीवन मिशन इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति इन पार्टनरशिप विद स्टेट्स एंड यूटीज टू मेक प्रोविजंस ऑफ टैप वाटर सप्लाई टू एवरी रूरल हाउस होल्ड ऑफ द कंट्री बाय 2024 मच अर्लियर देन टारगेट सेट बाय विच यूनाइटेड नेशन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल इट इज केटरिंग टू द एसडीजी सिक्स एंड ऑप्शन बी दैट्स वाई इज द राइट आंसर Under Anganwadi services, a package of following six essential services is provided to the targeted benefic beneficiaries. Uh, <coughs> which amongst above six services are delivered under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare? So these are immunisation, health checkup, and referral services. Two, three, and four is the right answer, and rest of the services are being delivered by Ministry of Women and Child Development. Which mobile app has been developed by the Cotton? Corporation of India Limited for farmers to increase awareness about MSP rates, nearest procurement centers, payment tracking, best farm practices. The name of the app is Cot Alley. Cot Alley. Recently, government has approved an umbrella program, Genesis. Uh, uh, Gen Next support. Gen Next support for innovative startups and Genesis with a budget of 500 crores for a period of five years. For a period of five years to discover, support, grow, and make successful startups in tier two and tier three cities. Actually, कई जगहों पे ना 490 करोड़ भी लिखा हुआ है। मैं आपको ये भी बता दूँ। इसलिए यहाँ पे ऑप्शन में 490 करोड़ दिया है। तो अगर ऑप्शन में 490 करोड़ होगा, 500 नहीं होगा। तो 490 करोड़ मार के आना। ठीक है? ठीक है जी? So <coughs> option A is the correct answer. Most of the places they have written 500 crore, but in one PIB release they have mentioned 490 crore as well. ठीक है दैट्स व्हाई दिस ऑप्शन इज हियर द मेजरी इंडेक्स इज एन इकोनॉमिक इंडिकेटर क्रिएटेड बाय आर्थर ओकुन इट हेल्प्स इन डिटरमाइनिंग हाउ द एवरेज स्टूडेंट इज डूइंग इकोनॉमिकली इट इज कैलकुलेटेड बाय एडिंग द डैश रेट टू द इन्फ्लेशन रेट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट को इन्फ्लेशन रेट में ऐड करते हैं तो मेजरी इंडेक्स आ जाता है 
हेल्थ इकोनॉमी विल प्रोड्यूस अ मेजरी इंडेक्स ऑफ ऑफ बिटवीन सिक्स परसेंट एंड सेवन परसेंट सिक्स परसेंट एंड सेवन परसेंट तो ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ड्यूरिंग इज इंडिपेंडेंट डे स्पीच ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री हैड अनाउंस्ड दैट द गवर्नमेंट इज वर्किंग विद वुमेन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप विद एन एम ऑफ क्रिएटिंग टू करोर टू करोर लखपति दीदीज एंड लखपति दीदीज आर द सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप दीदीज सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप मेंबर्स हु हैव एन एनुअल सस्टेनेबल इनकम ऑफ वन लैक गवर्नमेंट हैज अप्रूव द पीएम प्रणाम एंड लेट्स कम टू द क्वेश्चन नाउ अंडर इट डैश ऑफ द फर्टिलाइजर सब्सिडी सेव्ड बाय स्टेट और यूटी इन अ पर्टिकुलर फाइनेंशियल ईयर बाय वे ऑफ रिडक्शन इन केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर कितना परसेंट जाएगा फिफ्टी परसेंट फिफ्टी परसेंट कंपेयर टू द प्रीवियस थ्री ईयर्स तो ऑप्शन ई इज द करेक्ट आंसर पीएम प्रणाम पे क्वेश्चन था ये एज पर द रिसेंट रिपोर्ट ऑफ एन एफ एच एस फाइव द प्रिवेलेंस ऑफ मैल न्यूट्रिशन अमंग ट्राइबल चिल्ड्रन इन द कंट्री हैज शोन अ डिक्लाइनिंग ट्रेंड विद द प्रिवेंट प्रिवेलेंस ऑफ स्टंटिंग प्रिवेलेंस ऑफ स्टंटिंग वेस्टिंग एंड अंडरवेट हैज रिड्यूस फ्रॉम दिस टू ओके स्टंटिंग हैज गॉन डाउन टू फोर्टी पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट वेस्टिंग ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट टू परसेंट एंड अंडरवेट थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एज पर द लेटेस्ट प्रोविजनल एस्टिमेट पब्लिश ऑन दिस डेट इंडिया पर कैपिटल नेट इनकम एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्राइसेज इंक्रीज फ्रॉम सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड एट जीरो फाइव इन ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन to how much in the previous financial year 98374 98374 option e is the right answer <coughs> growth of deposits and advances of public sector banks has improved from 8.2% and 9.8% in financial year 2122 to 9.3% and 15.8% in financial year 2223 e is the right answer Which mobile app has been developed by National Commission for Protection of Child Rights for real-time monitoring of the child care institutions and their inspection mechanism across the country? The name of the app is Masi. The name of the app is Masi, which stands for Monitoring App for Seamless Infection Inspection. Monitoring App for Seamless Inspection. Parliament has recently passed the Mines and Minerals Development and Regulation Amendment Bill to introduce major reforms in mining sector with focus on critical minerals. How many minerals have been omitted by this bill from list of 12 atomic minerals specified in Part B of the first schedule of the Act? So, how many have been omitted? Option B, six is the right answer. <coughs> Under Soil Health Card Scheme introduced in 2014-15, a massive program of soil sampling. testing and generation of shcs was shcs was launched to assist state governments to issue soil health cards to all farmers in the country the scheme has now been merged in rashtriya krishi vikas yojana the umbrella scheme as its one component under the name soil health and fertility from the year 22 23 very very important question which ministry or ministries recently notified the creation of a new category of ayush visa for foreign nationals for treatment under ayush systems or indian systems of medicine it is not ministry of ayush not external affairs it is the ministry of home affairs because ministry of home affairs look after the visa operations in the country which of the following given formulas is correct for measuring effective literacy rate effective literacy rate is measured by number of literate persons aged 7 years and above divided by total population of aged 7 years and above in 200 option d is the right answer to this question with respect to the differences between deflation and disinflation you need to identify the correct statements theek okay? hai disinflation occurs when price inflation slows down temporarily however deflation is the drop in general price levels in an economy ye to theek lag raha hai deflation can be caused by a drop in the money supply government spending consumer spending and corporate investment but on the other hand disinflation can be caused by a recession or when central bank tightens its monetary policy ye bhi theek hai disinflation continues to occur 
until the rate of inflation becomes zero. However, depletion continues to occur until the rate of inflation becomes positive or zero. Yeah, okay. All one, two, and three are correct. Okay, correct. Pravasi Koshal Vikas Yojana aims at providing training to equip potential migrants with the necessary of soft skills to compete in foreign destinations. The orientation covers various aspects including language, culture, immigration process, welfare measures and do's and don'ts of the destination country. Which of the following ministries are implementing it? It is being implemented by skill development and external affairs. Option D is the right answer. Pravasi Koshal Vikas Yojana. Pravasi means diaspora. So when there is a case of diaspora, that's why Ministry of External Affairs and Koshal means skill. That's why the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Which of the following are the pillars of Namami Gange program? Very important. The pillars, there are five pillars of Namami Gange program, which are Nirmal, Aviral, Jan, Gyan, and Earth Ganga. Option E is the correct answer. Article 15 of the Constitution of India states that Article 15 of the Constitution of State, Article 15 states that the state shall not discriminate against any citizen on grounds only of religion, race, caste, sex or place of birth. Option A. With respect to evolution of banking in India, you need to identify the correct statements. The East India Company established three presidency banks, Bank of Madras, Calcutta and Bank of Bombay. Okay, I think. Sir Osborne Smith was the founder of Imperial Bank of India. No, it was John Maynard Keynes who was the founder of Imperial Bank of India. The nationalization of banks in 1969 was done to break the nexus of industrial houses and to target inequality and poverty. Yes, sahi baat hai, ye galat hai. Nursing Committee, Narsimman Committee in 1991 recommended to increase the SLR and CRR. No, it in fact recommended to decrease the SLR and CIRR. So, this is incorrect. Uh, correct, Badana hai. 1 and 3 is the right answer. Option C. <coughs> Study in India, flagship program of the Government of India under Ministry of Education. It aims to increase the number of international students in India. It partners with educational institutes, fulfilling which of the following criteria? NIRF ranking less than or equal to 100, national assessment and accreditation uh, sto score. Greater than or equal to 3.01 and INI. A, B, and C is the right answer, all of them. According to assessment of climate change over the Indian region report, India's average temperature has risen around 0.7 degrees Celsius during this period. Which ministry has published this report in the year 2020? It was report, it was published by Ministry of Earth Sciences, headed by Dr. Jitendra Singh. Foreign Trade Policy 2023 gives focus on SCOMET. What does O stand for in SCOMET? Can you tell me what is the full form of SCOMET? Write down in the comment section. Let's see who can. Let me tell you the full form of uh, what is what is the meaning of O here. O is organisms. Okay, now you have to tell me the, uh, the full form of SCOMET. Average number of viewers per household fell from 1.28 in the third handloom census to how much in the fourth? Handloom census. It fell to 1.05. Option B is the correct answer. Which of the following states has the average, highest average agriculture household income per month as per the NABAD, All India Rural Financial Inclusion Survey, NAFIS? It is option A, Punjab. Punjab is the right answer. Which of the following states or UTs has registered the maximum carbon stock in the country as per the State of Forest Report? 2021. Which state is this? It is Arunachal Pradesh. Carbon stock is the most important in Arunachal Pradesh. Ke paas. Yes, Special Chemical Organism, Material Equipment and Technology is the form of comet. Pradhan Mantri Jai Vindan Bata Varan Anukul Fasal Avashesh Nivaran. I think this question is repeated. This question is repeated. Okay. Quality one, with respect to the Consolidated Fund of India and Contingency Fund of India, you have to identify the correct statement. Consolidated Fund of India was constituted under Article 266.1 of the Constitution of India. This is correct. To withdraw money from Consolidated Fund of India, President's approval is required. Uh, 
नो टू विद्रॉ मनी फ्रॉम कंसोलिडेटेड फंड पार्लियामेंट्री अप्रूवल इज रिक्वायर्ड ठीक है फॉर कंटिजेंसी फंड प्रेसिडेंट अप्रूवल इज रिक्वायर्ड दिस इज इनकरेक्ट कंटिजेंसी फंड वॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड बाय द गवर्मेंट अंडर आर्टिकल टू सिक्सटी ये बिल्कुल सही बात है वन एंड थ्री इज द करेक्ट आंसर Which of the following principles of WTO enables a country to treat its trading partners equally on the principles of non-discrimination? <laughs> It is the principle of most favored nation. When was Pehchan scheme launched by Ministry of Textiles to provide new Aadhaar-linked Pehchan cards to handicrafts artisans, so that the benefits of various schemes of Government of India are provided to the deserving artisans? It was launched in the year 2016. Gurmati Marketplace, the public procurement portal, launched in 2016, uh, has fulfilled 1.51 crore orders and worth 4.15 lakh crore in gross merchandise value till date. Till August, we are talking. Okay. And Nabad, me ke paper me, ye bahut achhi baat hoti hai that they mention the month. Kis mahine se wo question pooch rahe? Out of this total GMV, how much has been fulfilled by uh, micro and small enterprises sellers? Fifty-two point five four percent. Ministry of Food Processing Industry is implementing PLI scheme for food processing industry for millet-based products during the financial year two thousand twenty-two twenty-three to financial year two thousand twenty-six twenty-seven with a total outlay of eight hundred crore, eight hundred crore. Option C is the right answer. Which of the following organizations recently launched national level campaign, National Space Innovation Challenge 2023 to ignite next generation space enthusiasts to understand and contribute to Indian space economy? These are Atal Innovation Mission, ISRO, and NAVAS EduTech. All of them. A, B, and C is the right answer. To tackle hazards, cleaning government uh, has formulated a new scheme. Which is the Namaste National Action Plan for Mechanized Sanitation Ecosystem? Okay, which what is the duration of this scheme? Twenty two, twenty three to twenty five, twenty six. The scheme is being implemented by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, headed by H S Puri. Which ministry or ministries uh, launched one district one product wall at Saras Ajivika store in New Delhi to promote indigenous crafts and artisans of India? These are commerce and industry and rural development. A and C is the correct answer. Scheme for promotion of research and innovation in pharma medtech sector has been notified recently by Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer for the duration of five years with tentative cost of five thousand crores. Okay, so option D, make it five thousand crore. Initially they were saying seven hundred crore, but now they have finalized it to five thousand crore. And 700 crore out of 5,000 crore will go for infrastructure development, and 4 to 50 crore will go for promotion of research and innovation, and the rest 50 crores will be the administrative cost. Option D is the right answer. As on 31 March 2023, NABARD, which is India's largest development financial institution, recorded a balance sheet size exceeding how much crores? 8 lakh crore. NABARD ki balance sheet size jaad karke jana bhai. 8 lakh crore with a growth rate of 5.8 percent. Very very important question. The Reserve Bank of India has been taking various steps for promoting financial inclusion in the nation. Which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to the promotion of financial inclusion by RBI in the country? Engagement of banking correspondents for providing banking services in unbanked areas. बिल्कुल सही बात है. Credit guarantee scheme for small industries under which bank credit is provided to entrepreneurs. Without the assets of collateral of third party guarantee, no, boy. Financial inclusion, me loan ka to koi kam hi nahi hai na. Financial inclusion me pehle sarkar account to gulaye ki loan to wo baad me lenge na. Option B is the right answer. Credit guarantee jaisa kuch nahi hai financial inclusion me. Sachcha sarkar tu me financial include bhi kare aur credit guarantee bhi de. Which mobile app has been launched by Central Water Commission to provide real time flood forecast to public using? Uh, interactive maps flood watch is the right answer consider the following pairs and how many pairs is are incorrect arms of world banks and their function ibrd international bank for rural development 
इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ डेवलपिंग एंड पुअर कंट्रीज ऐसा ही है मीगा मल्टी इन्वेस्टमेंट गारंटी एजेंसी सेटलिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट रिलेटेड डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन मेंबर कंट्रीज नो दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ आईसीएसआईडी एंड मीगा प्रोवाइड क्रेडिट एनहांसमेंट गारंटी टू क्रॉस बॉर्डर प्राइवेट सेक्टर इन्वेस्टर्स एंड लेडर सो दीज आर इंटरचेंज दिस इज इन करेक्ट दिस इज इन करेक्ट आई एफ सी प्रमोट प्राइवेट सेक्टर इन डेवलपिंग नेशन करेक्ट एंड आईडीए प्रोवाइड लॉन्ग टर्म इंडस्ट्री लोन टू दुअरेस्ट कंट्रीज ये भी सही है तो टू आर इन करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन has issued revised guidelines for pm divine the scheme aims to bolster infrastructure and social projects in the northeastern region it was launched in the year 2022 with a total outlay of 6600 crores for the period of 22 23 to 25 26 option c is the right answer with respect to limitations on taxation powers of states identify the incorrect statement A state can levy not more than fifteen hundred tax on profession, trades, and employments. It is it is not fifteen hundred; it is twenty five hundred. A state cannot levy tax on supply of goods and services when such supply takes place outside the state or in course of import or export. This is correct. This is incorrect. A state cannot impose tax on consumption or sale of electricity which is consumed by the center only. Not only, इसके साथ साथ which is consumed by the railways भी है. The state cannot impose tax on consumption of sale, consumption or sale of electricity to railways or by railways. This is incorrect. A state can impose tax in respect of any water or electricity stored, generated, generated or consumed by any authority established by the parliament. Yes, I am. Two and four are correct, but we need to identify the incorrect statement. One and three is the right answer. Option C. Which new variety flower named Namo 108 has been recently developed by Lucknow Institute (CSIR) National Botanical Research Institute? It is a lotus. The National Mission on Financial Inclusion, properly known as Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana, was launched on this. This, how much percentage of accounts under the scheme belong to women? 56 percent. 67 percent accounts are in rural areas or semi-urban areas, right? 33.98 crores rupees cards have been circulated have been distributed 4063 is the average balance in the jandan accounts ministry of finance in association with state governments has launched invoice incentive scheme mera bill mera adhikar identify incorrect statement it will initially be launched in pilot mode for 12 months in assam gujarat and haryana and uts of puducherry dadar nagar haveli and daman and diu bilkul sahi baat hai ye All invoices issued by GST registered suppliers, registered in pilot states or UTs to consumers are eligible for the scheme. This is also correct. The minimum value of invoices should not be rupees two thousand but two hundred. Option C is the right answer. Which of the following states has the highest cattle population in the country as per the twentieth livestock census? It is West Bengal. Option C is the right answer. Not Uttar Pradesh. and the last question for today which of the following statements are incorrect about recently approved pm e bus seva <clears throat> it aims to augment city bus operation by incorporating 20000 e buses on ppp model not 20000 but 10000 and uh, it will cover cities of 3 lakh and above population including all capital cities of ut north eastern region and hill states this is correct this is incorrect it Its estimated cost is fifty six thousand six one three crores. Yes, out of which twenty thousand crore will be provided by the central government, not thirty five thousand. Incorrect. Bus operations under the scheme will be supported not for fifteen years but for ten years. Correct. It has two segments: augmenting the city bus service one sixty nine cities may, and green urban mobility initiative in one eighty one cities. This is correct. So one is incorrect, three is incorrect, four is incorrect. ठीक है ना वन थ्री एंड फोर इज द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन ए ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑल गाइस ऑल राइट सो दैट इज इट फॉर दिस क्विक मैराथन नाउ प्लीज गिव मी अ थम्स अप इफ एवरीथिंग इज फाइन एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स यू कैन आस्क
so guys that was all that we that the entire team could do for you for the nabad grade a examination and now the ball is in your court and i hope that you will hit it hard so i wish you all the very best for the phase 1 jitna bhi aapne kar liya hai have faith on yourself have confidence on yourself बस अब जाओ और बस चुपचाप से जाके एग्जाम देके आओ ठीक है आई थिंक हमने सब कुछ आप लोगों को करा दिया है सब कुछ आप लोगों को करा दिया है गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स रिपोर्ट्स एंड इंडाइसेस ए रिपोर्ट्स करंट अफेयर्स पी और आज ये फाइनल महामैराथन भी ठीक है जी नो दिस भाई अगर कोई मेरे से यह पूछेगा कि दिस सेशन इज इनफ फॉर फेज वन तो आई एम रियली सॉरी फॉर दैट सिर्फ एक क्लास देख के तुम पास नहीं हो सकते पेपर इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल ऐसी बात है मत करा करो प्लीज वैसे मुझे कभी गुस्सा आता नहीं लेकिन आ जाएगा इस बात पे एक क्लास देख के तुम एग्जाम थोड़ी ना पास हो जाओगे यार दिस वॉज जस्ट मेड फॉर द रिविजन लास्ट मिनट रिविजन ठीक है जी तो चलिए फिर मिलेंगे एग्जाम एनालिसिस में अब मंडे को मिलेंगे जो फेज वन का पेपर होगा उसके बाद जैसा भी होगा उसको एनालिसिस उसकी एनालिसिस करेंगे ठीक है तो मिलते हैं फिर मंडे को आई होप यू गाइज एंजॉयड दिस सेशन एंड आई होप यू गाइज एंजॉयड ऑल द सेशन एंड आई होप हमारी तरफ से जो भी हमारी पूरी टीम की तरफ से बहुत आ, हमने पूरी कोशिश करी है कि हम आपको ज्यादा से ज्यादा चीजें प्रोवाइड करा सके ठीक है तो अगर कुछ गलती हो गई होगी तो ठीक है क्या कर सकते हैं वी आर ऑल्सो द्यूमन बींग्स और राइट चलो फिर मिलेंगे किसी और दिन किसी और क्लास में किसी और सेशन में टिल देन कीप स्टार्टिंग एंड कीप स्टार्टिंग हार्ड एंड आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन गुड बाय टेक केयर एंड गॉड ब्लेस